It's that guy from Twitch, Bucket of Games. Who could that be? Beat him up. <sighs> oh, I'm just waking up, man. Names are weird here? Yeah, so, like, to change your name, you have to, like, you have to, like, change your account name. It's, like, a whole thing. You can change your, like, display name, but your account name has to be changed to be what it is. It's Olga. Played the box today? What is that, April V? What do you mean? Dude, I found out that the, uh, the stadium is dead today. <laughs> that was an interesting discovery. Is YouTube video higher, higher quality? Yes. Yes, it is. I can stream up to 50 megs per second here, but I'm only streaming at 8 megs a second because I don't need to do more. Why is your ferret just brown and how do you change it on here? I think you do exclamation point avatars will work. Pretty sure. It's like exclamation point avatars and then whatever color you want. There's like a whole command structure for it. I think you can do exclamation point commands and it'll tell you what to do. There you go. So on YouTube, for some reason, bots and bot commands are a little bit slower. So because of that, you get a, a little bit of lag throughput for that stuff. I think that their, their backend stuff for that could be better. You know, something they got to work on. We'll see. There you go. The pale ferret is the beans ferret. All right. Yeah, you gotta respect the beans. He is a goblin and has been biting his cage all yesterday. Yeah, goblin mode. It's Camille. Your name has been fixed. Man, I just woke up. My brain is sludge. Beans goes goblin mode? Yeah, he does. That's what he does, dude. He's really good at goblin mode. He's currently, <laughs> he's currently kind of goblin mode. He was just like laying in the food bowl. Oh uh, yeah, he's doing it again. Beans, what are you doing, man? Stop it, stop it. He's looking right at me, directly into my eyes. Goblin mode, dude. He's trying to drink water out of Beef's mouth as Beef is drinking water. No magical start out that weird face. Is that actually the cap of YouTube, man? I really hope not. It's like the strangest face. Beans, are you already trying to bite? Are you? Really? You're gonna break your teeth. Oh my god. So Beans has entered his terrible twos. When ferrets hit about one year old, Sometimes they start biting everything in sight, and he's done this, and he's trying to bite his cage every time he's awake, whether he's gotten a ton of playtime for the day, whether he's run around the house and he's super tired, he'll actually sit there and bite the cage while falling asleep. And this is just how he is now. So either he's going to break a tooth doing it, or he's going to stop, and I don't really know what to do about it. He's not teething. No, he's just a goblin. He's at the goblin age. Beans, you can't do that. No goblin. No. I don't really know what to do with it. What is this? Camille. Joining the crew. You've done it. Thank you for that. It's very nice of you. You know, Twitch may have given everybody 25% off subs for the last four days of September. But memberships over on YouTube are always cheaper. Mm hmm. <sighs> it's pretty good. 
pretty good. What's up, Simon? You coming to say excuse me? You're excused, yes. How are you doing? Live analytics. Nice. Yeah, YouTube stream today, dude. This is the YouTube Friday. Every Friday, YouTube stream. Would it be okay if you submitted an application for the stream team? I mean, yeah, that's kind of, that's why it's there. Oh, you accepted the duel and you said it, it said you declined it? Yeah, so there's some lag for bots on YouTube. I don't know what to do about that. Just do it again. Try it again. And if the timing is too, too long, I'll extend the timer on how long you can accept a duel for. Because I think, I think that's the issue. Yeah. Like, I'll give you an example. If somebody... If somebody becomes, like, a member, sometimes it'll be up to 30 seconds before I get the alert. Which is a long time. You need some advice. Do you get the Chips Ahoy Chunky Chocolate Chip Cookies, or do you get the Oreos? Why not both? If you don't open that Oreo, and put the chocolate chip cookie in the inside of it, and then close that Oreo, are you even living? I don't think so. Beans is goblin mode. Goblin mode beans. Fighting the cage. Why are you doing it, man? You could be chill. He's not doing it. He's not being chill. Everyone else is sleeping and beans is losing his mind. Thor one horrible dietary advice? That's not horrible dietary advice. I could I could be worse. Take that, put it in milk, and blend it. Then drink it. Delicious. It would be good. I wouldn't be wrong. Mostly. You just want to see what I was working on? Huh? 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 Wait. Is this the right stuff? It is. I was working on quests in block game. Yeah, look at this bed hair, dude. Look at it. I just woke up, and it's like slug mode hair right now. So, I made some quests in block game. Where now, when you're fishing, sometimes, rarely, you'll pick up a quest. And then that quest will be an item. And then when you find the item, it starts a quest when you use it. And then you have to do an objective, and then it gives you stuff. Which is kind of cool, and it works. I'm really happy about it. Which is nice. I'm really happy about that, actually. So Block Game has quests now. I put the first five of them in last night. I ended up going to bed at 6 p.m. because I was implementing these. And then I woke up now. So, like 10 minutes before the stream started. <sighs> so I'm kind of a slug, but we have quests in Block Game now. Yeah, I've got my water. Yes. So... With quest being in block game now, here's the thing that's really cool about this. This is a one-step quest. Do you see this? It's just one step, and it gives an amount of experience and all this kind of stuff. They're not tuned yet. Maybe they're not as profitable and good as they should be. That kind of stuff, right? Why not multi-streaming? It's allowed now? No, it's not. No. Can't do multi-streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Twitch would ban me. They don't allow that. They allow you to stream on YouTube or to stream on Twitch. Not at the same time. So they still have exclusivity. 
they're still being bastards about it. There's nothing I could do. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how it is. Ned, you've done your do job to watch at least the first few minutes of the stream. Make sure you're doing fine. And chat is tame. I'm gonna head back to sleep. <laughs> all right, Magical Star. You've done it. You've been, you've been a moderator for all of 30 seconds. I'm proud of you. And you guess it's different for different people? No, it's the same for everybody. Yeah, it's exactly the same for everybody. Anybody who is a partner that is not doing that, who is multi-streaming, is breaking TOS. Twitch made that very clear in their in their blog post about this. Let me show you. Partner exclusivity FAQ from Twitch. Can I turn off my Twitch stream and immediately start my stream somewhere else? Yes. Can I stream simultaneously on other platforms or services also known as simulcasting? We do not allow simulcasting on web-based Twitch-like services that support streaming for extended periods of time, such as YouTube and Facebook. No. No multi-streaming. No simulcasting. Not allowed. They're very clear about this. How old is that blog post? Like two weeks. Literally, this came out when they dropped exclusivity. This was the blog post for it. So when they dropped exclusivity for everybody, this is the one that they announced. This is all... This is how it is now. This is the latest. <laughs> yeah, so if, if anyone is simulcasting, if anyone is multi-streaming as a partner on Twitch, you're gonna get banned. And you're gonna lose your partnership. Don't do that. <laughs> Unless you want to. If you want to lose your partnership and you just don't care, I get it. Twitch is kind of a garbage fire right now. And uh, I can drink to that. Water, but still. Oh yeah, no, if somebody was doing that ages ago, and they were just an affiliate, they probably could get away with it. If they were a partner, they could somewhat get away with it. Like, some, some partners have just done that for a super long time, you know, and no one cared, but it was still against their contract. And if Twitch wanted to, they could, they could end your partnership as a result of that. Because they have very strict guidelines about exclusivity. And their new exclusivity stuff says you can't multicast, mu can't, like, simulcast or multi-stream or any of that stuff, whatever the words we're using for it now. But you can drop your stream on Twitch and immediately start up on YouTube now, which you couldn't before. And that's a big deal, because in the past, you couldn't even stream on YouTube ever, even if you wanted to, even if you weren't actively streaming on Twitch, you were, you were bound to Twitch. And that's a very different thing, so now, now we don't have to care about that, we can stream anywhere. So I stream on YouTube once a week, and the reason that I do this is because I want to see YouTube grow and expand and get better. And also, Twitch is kind of a potato right now, and they just keep making potato moves. So the longer that they make potato moves, the more I'm going to stream on this platform because it makes my life easier because it actually works. Most of it anyway. They still have some things to fix. The experience for you guys is not as good. Bot commands are really slow over here and that's that's pretty much it, right? You're eating three family packs of Chips Ahoy Chunkly Chocolate. Re really? Really? Three packs of Chips Ahoy. Three packs of Oreo Double stuff. When you get these, Blender... Wa and, and milk. Blender and milk. Together. Drink. Delicious. And a twin stick shooter template for Godot. You're gonna make something fun? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. And it's really awesome, actually. And ice cream, yeah. Oh yeah. Rock salt. Cream. Blender milk. Delicious. You're very proud of having made many complicated formulas to do work for me in Google Sheets? Hell yeah. I did that yesterday. Here, let me show you. I'm going to show you what I was working on in terms of Excel. Because I had to... I, I was like, dude, I need to figure out a bunch of stuff. So I have my fishing calculator and I have my defense calculator. Let me open up my fishing... Here's my defense calculator for block game. So, like, if you have... 329.6 defense and the incoming damage is like I don't know 400 like this is actually going to be your damage reduction and this is the amount of damage you're going to take so like I have my whole damage calculator system is now in Excel so I know exactly how much damage a player is supposed to be taking and then I also put all my fishing stuff in here so like 
if you're level one fishing, these are your drop rates on everything. And then if you're level like 100 fishing, these are your drop rates on everything. Yeah. Everything's in Excel now. And I just, I built all these like systems so that I know exactly what the drop rates of everything are going to be based on your level and, you know, all the stuff that goes into that. So when you're level 100, you have a 2.8% chance to drop a fishing quest, which I don't know if I want it to work that way or not. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how I want this to work just yet. I may make these static. And I may make them not scale with your level. So over time they become less of a chance to get them. But in the beginning you get a higher chance to get them. I don't know how to do this just yet. I'm not sure how I want to do it just yet. And I'll figure it out. I don't know how I want the drop rates to work just yet. Import data and VLOOKUP. And now very good friends with me and Google Sheets. Nice, dude. Very nice. Purchable, purchasable with MacGuffins? No, I don't want to buy them with MacGuffins. I want them to be like, you find it, right? Because the idea is that it's like, it's like a wet grocery list and you pull it out of the water and then you get it. it it's already in the game. Like, people already get it. Like, this one is called... What is this one called? I don't even know. This one's like damp grocery list or something stupid. And then I've got all this other stuff. Like, here's here's actually the fishing drop rates. This is what they really look like. Gross. And look, it's multiplying your level of fishing by an arbitrary value that I give it. <laughs> and that's it. That's what it does. Pretty great. It's a good time. I think I made it so that was five. Is that five? Oh, this fishing quest is broken. I have to fix that real fast. Otherwise, people will be upset. Now I gotta go restart that. One sec. Ah, <sighs> fishing quest, man. It was gonna tell them to get ten fish when they really only needed five. Nice. Reloaded. And it's hot fixed. Hot fixed on the block game server. Very nice. Wait for the YouTube spike. I know, dude, it's gonna happen. Happens. You change your YouTube name to your Twitch name? Do it. The famous Twitcher, Pirate Software Go. Oh my god, dude. Don't call me a Twitcher. That's, that's the weirdest thing any human being could say to me. And it's been said to me before. Don't do this. Don't. I, you could be any other way. Oh, let's take a look at what I've been working on. Someone found a way to make an AI-generated classical paintings of women with bedonkers. Very nice. Good job, internet. Doesn't need to be this way. Twitchman? It is him, JP Twitchman. Attorney at law. Yeah, no, the video quality is going to be really good on here. Um, and I'm only streaming at 8 megs. I could be streaming at 50 megs. So that's a thing. But I don't. I'm not currently, but I can stream up to 50 megs on here, and it's gonna be way better quality. On U YouTube goes up to 50, Twitch caps out at eight, and it really caps out at six, and they don't tell you it can go to eight, and it's a secret. So like, YouTube is literally just better video quality, 100%. Beans, what are you doing? Beans is trying to get under his water bowl right now. Da -da. Let's see if it works. This is what I've been working on the past few days. Watch this. This scene can last as long as I want it to. As long as I want it to. Now watch this. I can stop it at any time. And then... Seamless transition. Look at that. Completely seamless transition. Wow. Worked. Dynamic environment to static environment, completely seamless. Feels good, man. Almost as good as Beans freaking out. Beans, what are you doing, man? 
Higgins is losing it. Do you want to see this animal go goblin mode? Look at this. <clears throat> Everyone else is chilling out. Like, Cheese is like, calm down. Stop it. Leave the cage alone. Look at him. He's biting it. Stop biting it. No one else is biting the cage. Look at him. This gremlin, dude. What are you doing? I'm looking right at you. Beans. Yeah, whistling stopped you. Oh my god, he's he's full gremlin mode, dude. Everyone else is chill. Why are you freaking out? It's not playtime yet. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, he wants out. But the thing is, is the moment he gets out, he wants to go back in. What are you doing? What? He just, he bit the cage and he st stared at me like... Yeah. I think it's rice bin time. I think it's rice bin time. I just let Shay know. I was like, rice bin for beans, dude. Like 100% rice bin for beans. Gremlin mode, that's what he is. He doesn't need to be this way. He just started this too. This is a totally new behavior. He hasn't been like this. What is rice bin time? So we have a big rice bin, and it's like that deep of rice, and you put the ferrets in it, and then you put little pieces of freeze-dried chicken in that, and then they dig. And they dig. And they love it. And right now, Beans is like freaking out, so... I think it's rice bin time. It's time for him to get some energy out and then in the rice bin and dig and go crazy. Renard! Gifting a membership, thank you. That's very nice of you. You're red. Thank you. Is that an Alka? Here on the YouTube, tube, dude. Yeah. The YouTube tubes. Oh my god. The ferrets are excited because Shay walked in the room. And they know. They know it means playtime. All of them are like, hello? Hello? Ferret. Ferret's so excited. Beans is gonna, he's gonna jump? The gremlins, dude. Oh, he's on the floor. He's gonna touch the thing. Grabbed him. Oh my god. They're all leaping. <laughs> Off they go. Oh, beef got away. Beef got away. All the ferrets are out now. They're having playtime. No ferrets in the cage. Gremlin mode achieved. <laughs> okay. Let's go fix this. Now we're going to make it so that these guys are standing there for a minute, and they need to turn around and need to talk to each other. So at the time the position stops, when the path ends, I think when we're going to have... We're probably going to have Lore end first. No, he's going to be the last object that, gets, that locks into place. So when this stops, we need to say, start talking. Again. And we're going to do... I don't even know. I don't even know what it's going to be, man. Let me think about this. We need to have this talking object, the one that's actually controlling the thing. YouTube does not have playtime. You're right. A lot of the commands are going to be missing here. And the reason why is because they have to remake all of them manually. <laughs> it's awful and a nightmare. So... Great. Very, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to... Like, that's not YouTube doing that either. That's Nightbot. I gotta rebuild all of it. Manually. Nightbot literally doesn't have the ability to do that. I have to do it all one at a time. Copy-paste them. It's like a whole thing, dude. The whole thing. Okay, so... This 
So all of this stuff is just gibberish. All of this is gibberish. We can just leave that, at, you know. And that'll be as long as we want it to be. Whatever the turtle conversation is going to be. That can be super long, and I think that's fine. Um, I, I think I need to probably do a dialogue step system. So dialogue step allows me to switch between different conversation timelines. It will. And it makes, makes it easy for me to split these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dialogue step equals one over here. We're going to go back over to this. I'm going to say switch based on dialogue step. And then I'm going to say case one. And under case one, we're going to take this whole thingamabob. All of it. We're going to go blap. We're going to put it in here. We're going to go like that. Take this whole thing. Go like this. And then say break. Now the reason that I'm doing it this way, in such an awkward fashion, will become clear in a moment. Because now... Now I can go to this thing... And you see where this says, like, next step three? I can change that to next step one and change this to dialogue step equals two. And then this can leave this thing. Say break there. And then we can say case two. And put a break there. And put this in here. And make a new thing. Just like that. So now, I don't have to worry about how long this is going to be in the future. Because it is going to be longer in the future, right? That's just kind of the way that it's going to be. And we don't know how long this conversation is going to be. So I leave it like that for a little bit. And then, at the end of this thing, we're going to say lock environment. So whatever this one's going to be is going to be case two. And that'll be lock environment. Actually, we'll say like case 999. Next step is going to be 999. Because this, we don't know what it's going to be. And next step on this one is going to be 1. And the dialogue step is going to equal 3. And then we can build a third one here. So we, Because we don't know how long these are going to be in the future, this makes it really easy for me to set up later on. And my life is easy. Done. Done. We did it. Very good. The master of getting stars. I think you can, like, fling yourself and then it works, right? Take out the digital organs and transplant them into a clone? What What did you just say to me? Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta add that back. Here, let me add back Nightbot. How do I add playtime to this? How do I get Nightbot to use emotes on YouTube? I actually have no idea. Your name on YouTube again? Nice, dude. Yeah, no, YouTube settings are pretty weird, man. I have to say, they're a little bit strange. Just a little bit. Yeah. Let's do playtime. And then we can put... How do I do emos, man? I don't actually know. Let me try... Let me try adding a... Wow. YouTube? Really? Try to click on, like, add a reaction. The browser is slow. Like, ridiculously slow. Like, I'm trying to click stuff and it's taking like 10 years. What's going on here, man? Alright. Let's try just having it say rabid. And just submit that. You know, the, the bra I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh my page. I control F5 that it's literally taking like five seconds when I click on a button. That's <laughs> super weird, man. Uh let's try this. Rabid. Okay, the rabid did not work. Yeah, when I click on a button, it's taking forever. It's gotta be rabid, I guess, inside of the little little bricks. Let's see. Rabid. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to Nightbot. We're going to go to Playtime. And I'm going to try this instead. Submit. There we go. And now, if I do this, Playtime. Huh? 
Uh. Nope. Somehow Nightbot can post it without the without the emotes. I don't know how. I have no idea how. How do I fix it? I have no idea. I forgot the underscore. It doesn't have an underscore on my end. Wait, is it there for you? Is it working for you? YouTube shows them in the emote panel like that, but if I go to type that... If I type rabid without the underscore, it works. I don't understand YouTube, man. I don't understand how this works. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. We're gonna put the underscore in now. I'm gonna put underscore just on one of them. I put underscore just on the last one. Nope. Doesn't work, dude. How do we make this work? Yeah, dude, the chat is so terrible. I think that's the biggest thing, is like YouTube's YouTube's chat is just not good, man. Does anybody have a membership? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Oh, I thought it would be automatically because it's got a little, it's got a little wrench in it, and it's got like, maybe, it, maybe it needs it. I, I forgot on Twitch I actually set it as a permanent sub to the channel. As a result, they let us do that. I think that's probably what it is. Nightbot's not a member. Oh, oh, I need to, I need to add. Let me, let me figure out how to do that. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't think I can. Did you send the email to YouTube about feedback? I did, actually. I sent that today, so I'm going to wait to see what I have at the end of the stream. How do I fix this? I don't know how, man. I literally don't know how any of these systems work yet. I really have no idea. Which is hilarious. But it is what it is. So I will figure it out. Then they send a reply that simply says no. No, I've had a really good time with YouTube support so far. Like, here's the thing, right? I thought YouTube was going to be this big monolithic garbage fest where, like, they wouldn't interact with anybody. But every time I've reached out to their support as a streamer, they have re responded within a day. Usually within 15 to 20 minutes, too. Like, really quite fast. And that's not something I'm used to, if that makes sense. Like, ever. There's no way to type in live chat on your Xbox. Also, I need to change this because it says top chat on my screen and I need to change it to live chat. And I wish there was a way to make that like, like default. Because top chat is like the worst feature I've ever seen in my life. Legitimately. I don't think I ever, ever want to use top chat ever. I want to see what everyone is saying in real time. And I don't want top chat at all. Ever, ever at all. Yeah, top chat sucks. At the top of your chat, click on that and change it to live chat so you can actually see everyone's messages. Top chat is stupid, dude. Top chat is, is honestly the worst. Oh, yeah, no, the response time is super fast, man. The response time is super, super fast. Yeah, there's an option at the top of chat. It's weird, right? It's a weird thing. Um, but I, I don't think it's good. I don't think, I don't think top chat is a good thing. <laughs> I think it's one of the things where I'm like, I don't know about that. Why would you do that? I have no idea. I don't know why they have that. It's very weird. And it, it always defaults to top chat, too. I don't know how to change it. Yeah, it being the default is the problem. What is top chat? It, like, takes the top chat messages and then puts only those in your chat instead of everyone's chat, which is not really what chat is about, right? Now, here's the thing that's really funny is it does it to moderators, too. So if someone says some, some kind of comment in chat that should get them banned, moderators may not be able to see it. Neat. <laughs> it doesn't need to be algorithmed. Show me my chat. That's it, YouTube. Don't... Don't hide chat from me. Like, don't hide chat from my moderators. Show me everything. That's how it should work. I don't know. I don't know how it works, dude. It's really weird. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, don't hide the crowd. I, I immediately, when the stream starts, I change it to live chat every time. But if you refresh the page, it'll set it back to top chat. 
which sucks. So it's supposed to filter out, filter out potential spam. It doesn't though. So here's the thing that's really funny is if you use moderation tools on YouTube, which this blows me away. Let's get out the old the old notepad. Um, it will say like normally on Twitch, right? If you ban someone, that person's messages all get deleted from chat completely. Like they were never there. It's gone. It says message deleted by a moderator, right? That's the only thing it says. Their name is gone. Their message is gone. Everything. On YouTube, you can only hide someone. <laughs> and when you hide them, their message is gone, but their name remains. Which is really weird. Because if, if a bot comes in and it's advertising a pornography site and its name is that pornography site, then it gets rid of their message, but their name stays on your channel. And then it fills up with pornography site ads because their name is still there, which we've had literally happen every time I've streamed on YouTube. Every time. And I can't get rid of them because you can't delete messages. You can only hide their message, not the name. Because that's a good feature, right? Right? It's good. It's good. Fantastic. I don't like I just don't understand the the chat experience and the moderation tools on YouTube are like a meme to me. And I think if they fix those, this platform is like miles better than it was. I think that's it. I think that's the only thing that they need to do right now is fix chat and fix moderation tools. And when they can do that, it's just it's just absolutely more powerful than it was. Legitimately so. I think it's the only thing they need to fix right now. Oh yeah, no, thank you, Gaming for Hearts. I'm really glad that you're liking block game. Did you did you get one of the quests yet? Those are new. Those are new. I made five of them last night, and then I passed out. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So normally on Twitch I have between 300 and 350 stream, like on the stream. And here on YouTube, I think our top end was 70. But that was only the second stream ever. And it seems like the streams over here are accelerating, so I'm just going to keep doing it once a week, you know? Yes, I got two quests. I had a high drop chance. That's incredibly high. That's really high. Legitimately. Yeah. Why, hello, Waddle D. What's up, dude? On Android TV, the chat isn't deleted. Like it would be on desktop and mobile, so you see everything? No. Also, Jonathan Cra Cowley. I almost said Crowley. Jonathan Cowley, thank you. Thank you for that, dude. You're awesome. Thanks for joining the crew, man. Yeah, welcome to welcome to crew member. No, that got fixed. Now it says welcome to the crew. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why their default thing is like welcome to the name of your your tier. <laughs> welcome to crew member. Like what? I want them to be a crew member, not welcome to crew member. Like god damn it. Let me write it. Don't even say welcome to. <laughs> like get rid of that. Let me let me control all the way that it's displayed. Oh, man. It should have, like, a prefix on it and then the title. So you can put whatever you want in there. You edit a screenshot as well? Hell yeah. Let me go look. Let me go look to see what you've got. Oh, um, so something about that. You did the, f the fishing quest. So this is the one you did. Right? And it looks like you did... You did the puffer fish one. Because the puffer fish one gives 15,000 fishing XP. So here's something that's really important about this. Alestra, thank you very much. You're awesome. You're rad. So if you did a 15,000 fishing quest and you were in a, in a party, right? Is that correct? You were in a party? Syllabus? And if you were, did you guys check your fishing XP before you did it and your fishing XP afterwards? Because it will say this in chat, but it won't tell you when it's split XP with your party members. So that's something to keep in mind is I don't have a display right now that says your XP has been split. It just has a thing that says you gained this XP. And then it'll pop up on other people's thing, not in their chat, but just their fishing XP bar will pop up and they will get a split of the XP. It should have worked with this. It probably did. It just didn't say anything to you, which is arguably not a good experience. So I need to, I need to find a way to do that. What I'll probably do is I'll make it so that the split function, when we do the split function, it'll do that. They said they didn't notice anything, but they might not have checked their XP before or after. That's probably what it was. If it is, if you guys do another one of these, check your XP before and after and let me know if it's actually not splitting. You gained a ton of XP though. Like 7,500 class XP is not a small amount. So 
my idea behind progression for block game is that you guys are going to do these quests and these quests are going to give you a huge amount of XP and this is kind of like the way to progress, if that makes sense. And this is kind of a low-end quest, by the way. This is a low-end one, is one of these. Like, high-end monsters will drop quests, bosses will drop quests, dungeon chests drop quests, like all kinds of stuff. We're going to put them everywhere, so... Could I check your post in the Godot section of Discord? I don't use Godot, so I don't know if I'd be able to solve anything for you. Yeah. You forgot to put the Pally link again? No, it's actually in here. So you can say exclamation point tip. Oh, you mean in the description? Yeah, because I suck. Let me, let me figure that out. <laughs> let me solve this. One moment. Donations. Also, pay our mods. And we're going to say HTTPS pally.gg slash tip slash pirate software. Save. It's in the description now. I don't have a problem. Just share what I did so far. Oh, okay, cool. You know, I didn't know if you had like a, a specific issue and then I was like, I, there'd be no way I could fix it for you because I just, I don't know that engine very well. Let me go see what you've got in the Godot section of the Discord. Gdo. Oh wow, dude. You're working on an RTS in mobile? Let's check this out. Okay, this looks really cool actually. Look at that. You got all the different faction like troop formations that you have in there. That's cool, man. This is the bones of being something very neat. Look at that. Little archers. You've got some some horsemen. You've got a catapult. Some little melee dudes. I feel like this formation is going to get your archers murdered, but it's very cool that you have this. I think it's red. I dig this, man. This is cool. Unless they're going this way. They might be going this way. Down to the bottom red. But if they're going to the top left... Oh, it looks like they're going to the top left. Yeah, those those archers are done, so dude. Your melee are behind them. F. <laughs> oh, no, this is cool. I dig that. That's cool that you're building something like that. I haven't seen an RTS done in Godot, so that's totally new. I haven't seen anyone try something like that. It's quite cool. See the tweet about elevator chat messages for Twitch, and they already took it down because of problems? They're putting the same as YouTube's super chat feature? Show me elevator chat. I want to see this. I have not seen this. Link this in chat for me. Where, dude, I'm already over this, this cringe coin thing over on Twitch. It's so bad, man. I'm like 10,000% over it. Also, Emerald Knight, I just saw the thing that you sent me. That's terrifying. Fantastically terrifying. Elevated chat is a trip. Here, let me let me go on, let me go on the internet. Let's see. Elevated chat Twitch. Dude, they're trying everything. They're trying, they're throwing everything in the wall and seeing if it sticks right now. The problem is, is they keep doing it and it's just, it's making the site gross as hell currently. And I just don't get it, man. Viewers in, part in participating channels may take a one-time payment to elevate their chat messages. Viewers can choose from five tiers, five dollars to make your, your chat <laughs> pinned to the top of chat for 30 seconds, dude. Imagine paying $100 to have your chat at the top of chat for two and a half minutes. Holy crap, dude. What? Wow, dude. How much of that money goes to the streamer? How much money goes to the streamer out of all of that? Estimate $5 for 30 seconds, dude. Five dollars for 30 seconds. My god. Bucket of games. Thanks for the two bucks, dude. It's very nice of you. That's on Twitch, dude. That's on Twitch. Let's look. I'm going to look for the word split. Creators receive a 70-30 split of elevated chats purchased by the viewer. Wow, so you can do a 70-30 split for that, but you can't do 70-30 split for subs, which is arguably the least amount of income of a streamer? Amazing. 
amazing, dude. Absolutely incredible. Truly astounding. After taxes and fees. Yeah, taxes and fees. It says after taxes and fees. 70-30 split of elevated chat purchased by the viewers after taxes and fees. Does that mean for once Twitch is actually taking the taxes and fees out of their side too? Hmm. It also pins the messages right below the stream if your chat is closed. What? That's weird. That's like actually weird, dude. Legitimately weird. Right? I don't like this, man. I don't like what Twitch is doing. This is just like egregious, man. Hey, dude, do you want to play a, pay $100 to get your chat put up there for two and a half minutes? No. No, 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 no. This is not replacing cheer coins. They're just adding this as well. Olga. They're adding this as well. They're like, oh, man, super chats are really popular. What if we made super chats, but worse? What if we did that? What if we did the same thing as YouTube, but we did it worse than them? What if we did that? It's a good idea, right? They did it, so let's do it worse. Yeah. 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 And that's this. That's what this is. Elevated chat instead of super chat. They're even the same name. <laughs> Something that's elevated is super, right? Like, come on. Oh my god. Oh, can the streamer purge them? I don't know. Can I purge it? I don't think I have the option to remove it, right? What if somebody puts, like, some hate speech in there? What if they spend $100 to put something that bypasses the ban filter and is, like, hate speech, and then it's stuck there for two and a half minutes, and you can't bring it down, and then they charge back the $100 on, like, some, some troll account, dude? And it's just there, in your chat, for two and a half minutes. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I have no idea. This is a terrible idea. Oh my god. Where is the sub chat? Emote sub only chat? You mean on uh, on Twitch or on YouTube? I can turn off some stuff on YouTube. I don't think I can do it all. Let me see a little ham. What is this? this is the Twitter Twitter message that they have with this? Unfortunately, we ran into a bug and need to pull the experiment temporar temporarily. We'll let you know once we roll it back out. Okay. So they ran into a bug and had to turn it off. At least they turned it off. At least they said something. Which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I just don't get it. It's wild to me. I love, I love one of these top comments. Was the bug that no one wanted this and immediately turned it off? <laughs> that was the bug, guys. That's why they pulled it. Clearly. Very good. I'm liking that post. That's very funny to me. That no one wanted this. Jesus Christ, dude. Some of the stuff that they're implementing lately is just... I can't get behind it. I really can't. I really can't. So, this experiment, I guess this was a global experiment, this went to everybody? And like, if you look at this, they posted the, they posted this, how does this experiment work? And someone's like, what? And they're like, literally super chats on YouTube. It is, but it's super chats, but worse. So it's just like, they're naming it the same thing, elevated chat. It's objectively worse. I don't, I got nothing, dude. I got two and a half minutes for a hundred bucks, dude. Twitch in the deck of many things. They keep rolling randomly out of the deck. It's true. It's a hundred percent true. And I just don't get it, man. Oh. Oh. Loki wanted to go early. You're so, you're so tiny. Where are you going? You wanna, you wanna be a gamer? Is that what you're doing? Gamer ferret? Here, chef. Have this gamer. Little Loki, she's so small. She's so tiny. 
She wanted to go back. She was like, I'm over this. Playtime is too scary. This is the tech industry with copying Apple. Kind of a little bit. It's just sort of weird, right? It's just sort of weird to watch. It's like Twitch, Twitch stopped manufacturing their own L's, and they were like, what if we took our competitor and then took their feature and then made an L out of it and then produced that? And, like, that's what they're doing now, and it's super weird. It's just super weird, man. I just... I just don't get it, man. Yeah, that's the other thing, too, right? It's $100 for two and a half minutes, or $5 for 30 seconds, which you can do five times. So $25 for two and a half minutes, or $100 for two and a half minutes. Hmm. What a game plan. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, manufacture the most pristine L possible. You know what? Wait, I figured it out. I figured it out. Twitch has become a magician. They're turning good ideas into crap before your very eyes. It's a show, dude. It's all a sh it's it's a magic trick. Look at them go. They put a good idea into a hat and they pull out garbage. And that's what they're doing. It's great. It's fantastic to watch. Maybe there's a cooldown on it. There might be a cooldown on it. I'd rather it just not exist. I'd rather the cooldown be indefinite, personally. Like I'm just going to be real. Yeah. I'm not about it, dude. I don't like these changes. I really don't. I think they're pretty bad. I think the biggest one to me that's the largest change that scares the living hell out of me is the cringe coin thing. From from bits to cringe coin is just not It's just not the play, man. Like it's going to be so dangerous to streamers income. It's going to ruin so much for us. It sucks. Just taking a competitor's feature and add it to them, but with an L? Exactly. It just makes no sense, dude. I don't like my emoticons getting converted. I know, they're weird, dude. They're weird. Wait till you see the weird, the, the kappa of, of YouTube. It's like a weird moon face thing that everyone uses, and it's the, it's the kappa of YouTube, and it freaks me out, dude. <laughs> It's like one of the weirdest faces I've ever seen. It's so strange. That being said, you guys have thrown enough memberships that I think I can add another emote now. I'm pretty sure I could do another one. They're just showing everyone what not to do, how nice of them. Do you want to know something sad, King Luigi? Back when I was at Blizzard, I remember when we used to do all the things that everyone else wanted to do. And then I remember when we showed the industry what not to do. I was there. I remember. I remember watching that process, one dumb decision at a time, slowly but surely. Just, and now I'm watching Twitch do it, and it's, it's rough, dude. <laughs> it's really rough. Oh, is it rough to watch. Here's the thing, though. Maybe, just maybe, and there's a chance for this, Maybe Twitch throws a bunch of darts at the dartboard, right? And one of them hits. And the other ones fall away, but one of them hits. And then when it hits, it's actually good, and it makes up for all these L's. It probably won't happen, but I have to say positive somehow, right? 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 They can't possibly just only manufacture L's for months at a time, right? One of them's got to be a W, right? a little bit. They had a little bit of a W recently. The little bit of the W actually worked. That was a... What was that? That was that was shout-outs. The shout-out thing. The shout-out thing actually worked. That was good. That was like half a W. That was like a V. Right? It was, was kind of there. It was good. I think my favorite thing, though, is this. I'm going to show you something really funny. So based on Twitch's... No, not IV's calculator. Not Pokemon. I'm going to say Amazon. Amazon IVS calculator. So, um, based on Twitch's public information that they've posted, where they said that it would cost a certain amount of money for every stream, I found this calculator put out by the business that they do business with inside of Amazon called IVS. Because Twitch has a contract with AWS, which has a contract with IVS, because they're all separate businesses technically inside of each other, and they spread money around and it's weird, right? 
So I found out that because I stream for about seven hours to about 300 average concurrent viewers, and the average viewer watch time, we're going to say 100% because it's 100% of about 300 people, costs Twitch $329 for my stream. Which means I don't think Twitch can possibly make money on a stream. Legitimately. I don't, I don't think Twitch actually makes money on a stream. But here's something that I found that was really interesting. Watch this. Once you get over $10,000, high volume pricing discounts may be available. You see that right there? You know how Twitch posted those public, those public costs for running Twitch? You remember that? Remember that moment? Let's go, let's go find that moment. We're going to go Twitch, Twitter. We're going to pull up their Twitter. Because I think this is important. This is important to understand. Remember when I said that Twitch saying how much they were paying was bullshit? Remember that? Who remembers that? Let's go pull this up. This is from Twitch's own Twitter account. We're going to click this link. We're going to go down here. It says, lastly, we talked about the cost of our services. Delivering high definition, low latency, always available live video to nearly every corner of the world is expensive. Using the published rates from Amazon Web Services Interactive Video Service, which is essentially YouTube video, live video costs for a 100ccu streamer, so we're going to go 100ccu, for 7 hours, so 100ccu, right? Who streams 200 hours a month, so we're going to say 200 hours streamed, are more than $1,000 per month. Which technically they are, right? Let's go to basic program. Yeah, it's still, it's still, you know, about 100 hours a month. 100 CCU is 100 average viewers, right? So 200 hours, 100 average viewers, cost Twitch, supposedly, $3,400. Kind of interesting. And we'll say that 50% of the stream is delivered, just to be nice about it. But here's the thing that's really interesting. They give you the worst possible rate they can. Because this isn't the whole discussion because Twitch actually has high volume and they get discounts on that and we don't know what the high volume pricing discounts are oh so this statement is bullshit it is unequivocally Twitch is not paying that amount because they have a massive platform with thousands and thousands of streamers simultaneously and by their own calculator from Amazon, from the business they say that they're getting this video service from, discounts are available. Stop lying, Twitch. Stop it. Stop doing it. No one believes you. No one believes you at all. Also, stop stealing features from YouTube. It's getting embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing. I'm very upset. It's a true statement because it's what published, but it's bullshit. No, I mean, it's not true. No, it's not a true statement. You could publish whatever you want. You could publish a lie if you want to. They published a lie. 100%. Not even going into the monetization of viewers, not even going into the fact that they now have 2.5 million concurrent viewers, which is up from 1.5 million, actually from 600,000 five years ago. Not even going into the fact that 600,000 viewers, they monetize at a rate of $443 per concurrent viewer based on their total revenue as a platform. And now they're doing it at about $1,000 per concurrent viewer at 2.6 million viewers, which means they've more than doubled the amount of income that they've had on an individual per concurrent viewer basis across their entire platform, but somehow they're losing money now. You know, not even going into any of those other metrics that we know and we've gone into multiple times, that statement there is also a lie from them. So, I just don't believe Twitch anymore, man. I don't. I don't. It's absolutely outrageous to me. The amount of just complete complete false information that they've been releasing and it's it's disappointing it is how do you become a blue one you have to do avatars blue ferret yeah yeah they're they're ruining themselves and it's like it's like they know that they are it doesn't make any sense i mean it, it makes sense why they're ex like some of their executives are leaving right like that's that's really it we talked about it the other day one of their chief executives left in fact the chief executive the vp of what was it it was like creator relations or something. Let me pull this up. VP leaves Twitch. Yeah, Ch Twitch creator chief, Constance Knight. She left Twitch the same day that they announced the, the pay fee 
change. The senior vice president of global creators at Twitch told employees she is leaving the company on the same day it announced changes to how video game streaming platform will pay top talent. She left as a result of that. She didn't agree with the direction of the company, clearly. Like, it's really obvious, you know what I mean? Three crits by Yoka F, dude. Yeah, so it's it's really obvious that they're not doing the right thing. It really is. All right, so when this conversation starts back up, we're going to say next step equals two. I'm going to say cur message equals 999. And we're going to do the same thing that we were doing before. I don't know who I want to talk first. Twitch collecting the pieces of the W. <laughs> yeah, one piece at a time, dude. They're like, I've got one line. A new feature, maybe another line. But there's just so many L's. They're like in an ocean of L's. It's like after a shipwreck and you got this one guy that's like, like getting toothpicks and he's like, I'm going to build a boat. And that's, that's literally it. Like Twitch is building a boat out of toothpicks right now. Is Beans a goblin? Oh. Poor beans. Poor beans. Covered in fleas. Poor beans. Yeah, we got all these new, like, flea stickies now and they're working, but, like, the fleas keep hatching in droves. So they'll, there'll be no fleas for a little while and it's great. And then suddenly, like, 50 fleas and then they all die on the stickies and it's super annoying. A W is just two tilted L's. Kind of, yeah. I don't think that Twitch can turn all the amount of L's that they have into W's, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think they can just keep the L's, unfortunately, right now. And then just, like, have them. Yeah. Yeah. They're just permanent L's, currently. Okay, we have to go back and change a cutscene. Something that's a little bit important. So we're going to leave this scene for now. I'm going to get out of here. We're going to leave all of these scenes alone. Those are done. And we're going to go all the way down here. We're going to go to Deer. We're going to go to Deer Bridge. You guys remember this scene? You know, the sad one, full of sadness. And we're going to go and open... Let's see. Act 3. Turtle Home. Why, hello, Just Vincent. What's up? Thankfully, past me was a genius and made new objects for these. Deer, Deer Bridge, Obj Deer Bridge Road left, and Fern right. These are the ones that we're going to want to work with. So these ones are going to be different. Why did that open it up in dramatically different locations? Okay, we're going to we're going to do this. Game Maker Studio, you drunk? What are you doing? You've overdosed on the scene? You want to know something in important about this one, Little Ham? It's not done. You see, there was something that I've been thinking about for a long time, and it's this. If you go to lunch with Fern, right, and then you go back to the bridge, Fern says no if you did the bad stuff. And Fern says yes if you did the good stuff. This makes sense because you were interacting with Fern. But if you go to lunch with Road, and you interact with Road, right? Fern is the one that says no or yes, and it doesn't make sense because you interacted with Road. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make it so that when you do this, Road goes to talk to Fern, and Road is going to back out and say no before she asks, or go forward with it and ask because she has confidence after your conversation and then Fern will say yes. So the conversation is going to change based on how Road feels, not based on how Fern feels because it doesn't make sense as it currently stands. You interact with Road, it should be about how Road feels and Road will change interactions as a result. So that whole scene is going to be different. We're going to write it all tonight. Shouldn't take too long. Um, it's, it's already an existing scene, I just have to change some stuff, you know. I'll need to make a walk home and all this kind of stuff for Fern for this. And I'm trying to think of how the interaction is going to go with this. 
I don't know who is the one that does the talking. Ah, Deerbridge Talker. That would make life easy, just a little bit. It's going to handle conversation. We have a dialogue step in here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's think about this. How does breaking the light switch affect the entire game in the grand scheme of things? Your dad yells at you. And you break something, and you scare Baron. Because you're doing something really weird. And like it... It's not a good thing, right? So it causes a point of fear on Lore. Because he finds out he can destroy things in the environment. When you destroy things in the environment, he realizes, wait a minute. If I break stuff, maybe I can get hurt. So on and so forth. The whole point of fear is that he's learning that he can get hurt because he hurts other things. That's that stat. That's that hidden value for that. So I think what I need to do is I need to make two different Deerbridge Talkers. So we're going to make this one a Deerbridge Talker Fern. And we're going to make a new one, and we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to call this one Deerbridge Talker Road. And I need to go into this, and we're going to take this here, and I need to find out where this is actually interacted with. Let's go Deerbridge Talker. If instance exists, Deerbridge Talker with Deerbridge Talker. So that's Fern Wright animation. Yeah, this is all going to be broken now. On Fern Wright, Fern Wright is going to be updated completely. So let's think about this. On Road Left and Fern Wright, these are the two that we're going to need to be updating. And Fern isn't going to be the one who disintegrates. It's going to be Road who disintegrates on this one. Fern's going to walk away. What are you doing? Beans the goblin. Yeah, okay. So I need to find out where this actually gets created. I think that's the big problem here. With... Instance exists, instance... We don't even need these instance exists anymore. All of these are going to change. All of it. It's going to be... It's going to be completely different. Yeah. Yep. What is this one? This is Fern Left. Fern Left is going to stay exactly the same. So we're going to change this. We're going to get rid of this, because that doesn't need to exist anymore. Because they change that in Game Maker Studio 2. Fern. Because this is Fern left, which means that we went to lunch with Fern, and that means this is exactly the same. Nice. We're going to go back in here, we're going to search more. And this is Fern left as well. So that's going to be the same. Get rid of that. Dude, it feels good going back into these old systems and fixing, fixing stuff, honestly. It really does. Okay, this is going to be Fern Wright. And this is Crown Good Path? That one's going to change. Because Crown Good is going to be a completely different value. Because Fern can be on the left side when that goes good. Fern can be on the right side when that goes good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll go into the crown good and actually check this. Later. But I think for now I'm just going to leave it alone. And this is Fern Wright. So on Fern Wright, we're going to need this one to be Rhodes Conversation. And we can start digging through that and kind of rebuilding it. Road. With Obj Deer Talker Fern. Alright. Now we're going to do another search. There's still more of them. Burn right. Burn right is going to be road. Be Deer Talker Road. Road. And then. Burn left. Why is that mad? Well, I guess it's not mad, technically. 
Uh, okay. I think we're good. I think we've I think we've solved it. All right. Okay, so with all those done, let's go to Fern left, Talker Fern, Fern right, Road left. We need to have... This one's going to be Talker Road. So this one's going to go away, and I need to find out how in this environment we're actually setting that up, and I think it's this object here. I think that's what it is. So when we interact with this, when we finally collide with this object... Store the player's location, start moving camera, Rhoda's pretty nervous but agrees. This is the whole conversation here. And it looks like it's been done in this object. Deerbridge Talker Fern Step. So this thing right here is actually the thing that spawns. And it looks like it's always there. So I need this one to delete. <laughs> I need to delete when it's not the right one, and I need to put the right one in its place. Mmm. You've showered? What am I working on? I am changing the cutscene with Fernand Road on the bridge so that it makes more sense when you go to launch with Road, because originally you weren't going to be able to. But I thought it was more of an interesting dialogue experience if you could. That's what it was. So this one here, should we be here, the good cutscene, the bad cutscene. And we're going to say... Who did we go to lunch with? That's going to be the new check there. And we're going to say switch. And I need to pull up the variable for this. What day left in this job? You're hating it so much? Rip, dude. I'm so sorry. That is no bueno. Should we replay Heartbound? Do it. Yeah, this new update's gonna be a pretty big one, I think. I need to get the translators to fix all this stuff. There's gonna be so many things in here. Um, Australian bars, we're gonna say lunch. Lunch. Who did we go to lunch with? Lunch chosen. So this is gonna be lunch chosen, and if it's one, it's fern, and if it's two, it's road. So, on this object, which is the Talker Fern, who do we go to lunch with? And we say this. If it's case one, Fern. And if it's case two, it's Road. So if it's road, we're going to instance destroy. And if it's case one, if it's fern, we're going to do nothing. And the reason that I'm setting it up this way is so that I have notes for myself in the future so I know what this does. Now we're going to go and open the same thing with this new talking object that I just made. Talker road, right there. We're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to flip it. easy and so now I can go into this scene here and I can do the lazy man's mode we find out what's what what is this even on is it there Obj talker for it we're gonna go Obj talker road put it here and be like aha look at that I'm putting them both on top of each other and I don't have to care it's done so now we have two different cutscenes Two different cutscene running things. Very nice. So now we can go to the Talker Fern, and we can look at our conversation system, because the conversation system is actually setting up all the different characters and everything that's going on there. So when the character impacts this, and we start talking, this whole thing needs to be set up with Fern left, Road right. That's how it has to go. So we're going to go look at all of this, and we're going to start looking at how this was working in the first place. So who do we go to lunch with? Fern. It should only be Fern. So we're going to take this. We're going to pull this out of here. And we're going to get rid of all of this. Road moves down. Because we know, no matter what, 
this is one where Rhoda is going to be on the left and Fern is going to be on the right. Who do we go to lunch with? Fern. We're going to take this here. We're going to execute all of this code. Gone. We're going to put that there. Road slides to the left. Fade in the bridge music. Who do we go to lunch with? Fern. It's always going to be Fern in this one. We're going to take all this code out. We're going to put that there. Let's say good or bad. Good or bad is still going to be saved. Set the window caption if something is horrible. Who would we go to lunch with? We're going to take this out of here. We actually don't need these if instance exists either. So I'm going to go back through this and remove those. We can just completely get rid of this stuff. Because Game Maker Studio 2 doesn't use instance exist. You don't have to do it before you determine if an instance exists. You can just do with, and with does it automatically. In GMS 1.4, I had to do instance exists on everything or it would crash. If you tried to do with on something that wasn't in the room, it would lose its mind. So that sucked. However, I do have to check to see if Ops player parent exists, because I'm just setting a variable in it, and it won't check here, which does suck. Wait, what's up, little ham? What do you mean if also the 150 doesn't include if there's any part to replace? Wait, what? Why does having a repair guy coming for my water heater leak cost $150? Any repair person in here could help me out? Because it's a trade skill. Trade skills cost money. That's really it. The guy has to repair it. It's going to cost money to repair it. And he's going to charge you for it. It's kind of normal, right? You'd want to get paid for your work. It is expensive, but them's the ropes, right? No, I'm not actually asking, by the way. Okay. Are you just upset that it costs so much? If so, I understand. That is quite a bit. Burn puts on the crown. There we go. In this case, it's going to be Fern, so Road is going to be on the right no matter what. And Fern is going to be on the left no matter what, so we can get rid of that. That's perfect. We can go down through this. God, there's so many different timelines in this. Bad path is going to be here. Turn road upwards. This is going to be... Burn. Road is going to be on the right. So we're going to get rid of all of this. See how much cleaner this is going to be? It's going to be so much cleaner. Do you have a custom font for the game? Yes. I drew all of it. You want to see it? I drew the font. Because I'm a potato, and I like doing that. Let me show you this. Uh, we're going to go into UI, and then fonts, and then sprite font pixel. And I've drawn a bunch of it on stream, too. Like, look at this. Ah, 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 there's so much font in this font, dude. There's so much font in this font. And I added, I actually just added these ones for PlayStation, and then these ones for, like, arrow keys recently. So you can now have, like, arrow keys and PlayStation keys. If you're, like, remapping for your controller stuff. So that's kind of cool. It was not a thing that was in there before. But now it's there. Waiting for Godot 4 to try and 3D fi features? Yeah, it makes sense. I'm down. That's cool. Fern faces road. This is going to be left side Fern. Get rid of that. And this is going to be road leaves, so it's going to be right side road. Fern turns downward. This is left side fern. This is when fern disintegrates, isn't it? This is the deer disintegrate scene. I love me some deer disintegrate. 
Oh no, Dear Centigrade. Dear Centigrade, dude. Hey. I need a road disintegrating while standing in animation. Like we have four fern. Right now, we just have her curled up and disintegrated. There we go. The cats are working together to cause chaos today? That's what cats do. They're very good at that. That is exactly what they do. Okay, so, the fern side scene is now finished. Done. Oh my god. Shay says send on Discord or it's not real. Fine. I'm going to I'm going to take this. I'm going to go to Discord. I'm going to type in Shay. I'm going to click Shay and I'm going to copy paste it. Sent. Sent. You thought Shay sleeps at this time? Normally he does. He's awake right now. Okay, so... This side... No, this side is not done. This side is now finished. We don't have to worry about any of this. Let's go look at Fern Disintegrates. We don't have to worry about any of this. This is going to be Fern Left in this case. Because we've got... Deer Bridge Talker Fern, so this is going to be... We're going to get rid of the Fern Right stuff. We're going to get rid of the Instance Exists. And we're going to disintegrate Fern here. Deer Sintegration. That's right. Deer Sintegrate. And that's going to be Stop the Fade Music. It's over. We're going to get rid of this, because that's gross, and we got to clean it up. And I think that's good. Let's go look at this. We can get rid of the Instance Exists on this. That's good. Get rid of that. Look at this. Is there any instance exists? There is in here. We can just go back through and refactor all of this while we're doing this. Actually, it can be kind of nice, frankly. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is pretty chill. My Angus cat is currently sitting on the desk chair while the other two make the chair spin. Nice. Nice. Cats, dude. Not even once. They are goblins, but also the best. I have to say, they are 100% my favorite, but also goblins. 100% goblins. Deer Bridge Door Deer Yard, that's going to update it to be sad. And then also, let's see, on the Unbind camera, we don't need this. It's going to say with on that. This is nice. This is nice to clean this up. I have to say. It feels really good cleaning all of this up. Like 100% feels good. 100%. Okay, let's go write some dialogue. You guys ready to make a, a deer very sad? You guys ready to make a very sad scene full of sadness? Infinite sadness? Where you're just deeply upset. I'm ready. I'm ready to build this. I'm ready to build the ultimate upsetness. The scene where no one is happy and everyone is mad. It's time. I'm going to go to Act 3. We're going to go to Deer, ENUS, and Deer Bridge. We're going to return to the saddest scene in the video game. I am Misery Incarnate, hire me. I don't think that's how this works. I don't think, I don't think that's what I want to do. Uh, let's go to this. This is a very short scene. It's very short. It's only 27 lines of dialogue. But my god, is it painful. So, we're going to make a couple of different paths here. We've got this. 
I think we can start the intro exactly the same thing. No, we can't. And the reason why is because Road actually makes the move here, right? So this is going to be Fern's side for this. So we're going to say Fern intro. And this is only going to happen when Road is on the right side. And we're going to say Fern good. Will it be the saddest scene in the game when it's the game is finished? No. I don't think so. I feel like that's probably going to be the ending of the game. But for a lot of people, this scene is like devastating and it's about to be a lot worse. So like, I don't know, kind of excited for it. So we're going to rewrite this intro. We need to make a road intro. But there's eight endings. There are. I think the the current ending that we have is pretty upsetting. The current ending that's in the game is incredibly upsetting. I'm going to say road intro on this. It's going to be a different intro. Is there a scene where the song plays you love but we will hate? Yes. Yes. That one is... Most of the time you're going to get that at the end of the game. Most of the time. You won't always get that one. But if you hear it, it's going to suck. Do you want to hear it right now? Do you want to hear it right now? Yeah, let's go listen to it. This is the one. This is the one that's going to hurt you a lot. And that's the point of it. Do we count the broom closet? What broom closet? I don't even know what ending that is. Yeah, I prefer you experience it. You're not going to get to know until you know. And then when you know, you're going to be upset at me. That's fine. You like this song, though. You do right now. Things you like can become bittersweet very fast. Good memory in the right context is painful. You'll see. If I do it right, you'll see. this song doesn't affect you at all? It does. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I make in the game that completely does. I just don't show it, man. Feeling nothing is very easy for me because I, I know it's not real. You feel that now. It's just a cool song? Yeah, dude, just a cool song. That's all. Now, the thing is, is it's the scene is going to be incredibly emotional, and I'm kind of excited for it. 
But it's going to be one of those things where you know what you have to do. You're not going to want to do it. And every one of the leap motives from the entire game, all the rest of the music from the whole game is there in this song. The memory of everything that you've done throughout the entirety of the game, whether that was good or bad, is this song. That's the point. That's why I like this song. Because it can be really good, or it can be really bad. It's just up to you. Mix the pirate tune in there? On it, dude. Let's just end it with one of the, you know, one of these. <laughs> oh, man. 31, 32. 32, 33. So we can start the intro the same way. What's in your mind? How good at this kind of thing? What kind of thing? And then after we get to this point, we're going to say, for the good route, for road good, because we're going to call this one road good, we're going to go into this as normal. Same exact context as before. Road's going to give the flower crown over, and then Fern's going to be like, oh man, right? Like this whole thing, this is exactly the same. It's just done in a different context. So we can actually take the same text over and, and do it again the same way. Which means we won't have a big problem here. It's actually going to be quite easy. And then for the bad one, the road bad route is the only one that needs to change here. And I think that's it. Is there a Shay in chat? You sent me something? Do you already make a disintegrating road? Shay, I need access. It says request access. Boo. Wait, why am I signed in as the wrong account? One moment. No, I still need access. Uh, why don't I have access? Why isn't this in our official Discord or our official Google Drive? Why? Why? Put it in the real Google Drive full of realness. Yeah, you put it in the wrong Google Drive, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. That's all right. You'll figure it out. Turn this down just a little bit. So with this one, this is going to be the road bad route. So we're going to change this to road bad. And I think this is the only dialogue that need, really needs to change. And it's not going to be roads. It's not going to be Fern interacting with this. And we're going to change this up in a completely different way here, I think. I smell. That's right, I do. I possess a nose, and I have the ability to smell. What are you going to do about it, little ham? What are you going to do about it? Why can't you click on people's names on YouTube to see their profile? I know, dude, it's so weird. It's like such a weird thing. Hey, okay. This is weird. Um, stand disintegrate. Okay, so you have it as a you have a PNG list because we can't do it as a GIF. Yeah, that's what it is. Downloading. Chat messages have a character limit. I mean, Twitches do also legitimately. So that is a thing. Don't do anything interesting while I go make ramen. Too late. Yeah. Too late. It's happening now. Now that you've said that, I'm going to reveal the ending to Harbin while you're gone. And then I'm going to delete the VOD. Sucks, dude. Little do they know there's eight endings to Harbin. And one of them is already revealed. YouTube's is 200. You know... I'm going to be honest with you. 200 is probably fine. And the reason why 200 is probably fine is because 500 tends to fill up chat with garbage. It's going to be real. It usually does. So I don't know if 200 is a problem. Could be. 
Might be a little low. But chat over here also isn't very good yet. So they got to improve it. In fact, I kind of want to see YouTube chat feature planned updates. Do they have any planned updates for this? YouTube streaming. Chat planned updates. Let's actually just look at YouTube streaming planned updates. Are there any planned updates right now? So here's something that's kind of wild to me. When did they post this? Wow. I actually kind of want to know when they release this, but they're like live streaming API updates and they're like, we have an API now. Like this was, the update was, we have an API now. Bananas. <laughs> they just have it now, like the update command. We're going to find upcoming live streams on YouTube. Explore and tap the live des destination. That's a thing. Can you stream on YouTube without a thousand subscribers? You have at least 50. Weird. Weird. Yeah, I'm looking at all this stuff for this because I want to know. Maybe it'll be under creator updates. I bet it's going to be creator updates. Oh, yo. Okay, so they're going to allow super thanks on shorts soon as a beta? New subscriber source in YouTube analytics? Okay. It looks like they're doubling down on shorts currently. I'd be interested to see what all they, they add to shorts, to be honest with you, because shorts are pretty amazing. No, 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 no. No, they already have an API. Their API is just slow. But here's the thing, right? Yeah, Ludwig developed a streaming add-on called Truffle. I've signed up for it, and I'm kind of waiting for it, right? Um, I put in our, our community size because our community size, I counted all the people that like buy the game on, on, you know, Steam and all that kind of stuff as part of the community size, but I don't know if that's accurate to do or not. So I'm waiting to see like what their system is. Cause I'm like, here's my Twitch. Here's my YouTube. Here's my Twitter. Here's like, I make games on Steam, you know, like all these people are going to see this stuff. So I signed up for it. And I'm waiting to hear back. Man, of hoops we have to jump through to get API access for streamer bot, and now they're just making it public. It's already there. It's been out there. Minecraft animations. What about Minecraft animations, Yoko? What? Shorts are really good. Honestly, I I like the YouTube Shorts feature a lot, and it looks like they're adding monetization to them, where you can do super thanks on them, kind of like a super chat sort of thing. But um, they're also getting monetization through ads, which is kind of cool. What are you talking about, Yoko? What do you mean Minecraft animations in shorts? I don't know. What you... You're speaking gibberish, bud. Gibberish, dude. Yeah, I applied to it. I applied to it, N3O. And I'm, I'm waiting to see it because, like, dude, that, that truffle VIP thing looks sick. Like, it actually looked really good. So I signed up for this, and here's what it is. It's put together by Ludwig and his team. And Ludwig was a, a Twitch streamer that moved over to YouTube. And they're building this whole thing, and you have to join a waitlist for it. So I joined the waitlist. And it's like... It's like everything you'd want on YouTube, but built into a browser extension thing. So it's got, like, channel points and, like, a battle pass and all this kind of stuff, and you guys can get points for, like, watching the stream, just like you would with channel points. You get XP and levels and all this kind of stuff. And the idea is that, like, they, they give you access to this because they're trying to keep it limited at first. But I'd use the hell out of this, man. I would 100% use the hell out of this. And this is really cool, to be real with you. So, yeah. I don't know, man. You know Shorts recommended you things based off your interests. Yes, they do. They do. So if you're really interested in weird Minecraft animations, it's going to give you Shorts of weird Minecraft animations, Yoka. I think this says more about you than it does about Shorts. <laughs> it's kind of how it is, right? It's pretty good. Yeah, Ludwig would make this. It's quite cool. And that's it. Yeah, because I put, I put the 100k to 500k because that's about the size across all our social media plus Steam together. It's about 100 to 500,000. And um, I just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. Gotta wait and see. Waiting to see. Like would best, best hire YouTube could have made. 
single-handedly building up the platform? He is. My hope is this, right? Google has a very common theme of if they see something that's really cool, they buy the company and then integrate the technology. My hope is that Ludwood makes a, a like an extension that's so good that Google pays him millions of dollars to buy it and it integrates all of it into YouTube and then YouTube becomes God. Because that's they could totally do that. That's kind of the YouTube way, right? That's what they do. Or that's what the Google way is, rather. So, you know, let's hope for it. Do it up. Dude, that's a TikTok. I'm not clicking TikTok. I don't like TikTok. I'm not doing it. Google's robot still isn't... Wait. Oh, they're feeding you bad ads. That's funny. Yeah, Google Stadia got officially canceled. That's true. Do you want to know something really funny about it? Game developers that were launching on Google Stadia found out via Twitter. <laughs> Imagine you have a game coming out on November 1st. And then suddenly you find out on Twitter that the platform you're releasing it on is canceled. What a cool time. What a what a great day for developers. Good job. Yikes, dude. Oh yeah, no customers are getting refunded, but you know who's not getting refunded? Developers. For all the time they spent on it. When are you announcing that Harpen is cancelled on Twitter? Never, dude. Because it's never cancelled. Because I'm releasing this game. The only time that Harpen could possibly be cancelled is if I died. That's it. That's the only way. And I'm not dead yet, so the game isn't cancelled. That's it. If I do die, though, the game is cancelled, so... Don't let me die. Unless they don't check Twitter, in which case... I know, right? Imagine keep doing work and then you're like... Where'd the upload system go? Why is the website gone? I don't have any emails. What the hell's going on? Oh, there must, they must just be down for the day. It's fine. Gone. If you die, I'm teaching Shay to use GMS. Shay will not be able to continue the story. The only person who knows the entire story is me. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. When did they announce Steady was cancelled? Like yesterday? <laughs> or today? I woke up to it today. I think it was yesterday, actually. Yeah. Is there something like dark patterns for user updates, like you mentioned with UX? My iPhone has been hounding me for an update. However, the OS hasn't updated in six years. Now it's randomly crashes and... Yeah, so there's there's been a bunch of like lawsuits about that, where a bunch of different phones and other devices have reduced functionality when uh, they receive updates if they're an older model. Apple was claiming, I think it was Apple a while ago, was claiming that they were doing this specifically because they were trying to preserve the integrity of the hardware that was older. And they were doing that by artificially limiting the hardware to be less powerful. So you could either believe Apple and be like, oh yes, they're doing it to make it so my phone lasts longer. Or you can realize that that's bullshit and know that they're doing it because they want you to buy a new phone. Yeah. A little gross. Only have Cyberpunk on there, so waiting for my 40 bucks back. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I don't buy Apple products. I don't use Apple in any way. I actually dropped Mac support for our games because it just wasn't worth it. And the reason it wasn't worth it is because of this, right? So if you release a game on Windows, or on Linux, or on Mac, this is the way that it works. On Windows, you just compile the game and it's done, and you can release it. On Linux, you open a VM and you compile the game and it's done. That's it. Those are the steps. That's the total steps involved. On Mac, you have to buy Mac hardware. It's step one. This is around $800 because we got a Mac Mini for that. And it was a kind of a crappy one, it was a used one. And then you have to pay Apple themselves $100 per year for license keys. Then you have to set it all up on Xcode on that Mac Mini, and you have to compile it. And then, if it works, which it usually doesn't, if the keys actually attach, then you can release your game. Now, this whole process is $900, $100 a year. So $900 startup and then $100 a year in, yeah, you know, forever. And it was 0.02% of our sales and 100% of our costs and build problems in creating the game. So I got rid of it 
we lost 0.02% of sales, and we removed all of the costs and problems associated with launching updates. Why would I ever launch a game on Mac ever again? Like, I don't have a reason for it. Mac was awful. Like, literally, literally awful to release software for. You know, it sucked, dude. Like, I, I never want to do it again. I know that it's, like, a thing you can do, but, like, I have no reason to. Financially, I have no reason to. Sanity-wise, I have no reason to, and I just don't. You had a Samsung A30, which you didn't update for two years, ignoring the update notifications. Then when I eventually did update, the battery life immediately dropped through the floor. Rip, dude. That sucks. Yeah, easier for Mac users to set up a VM than for you to manage all that. Exactly. And I, I think that's the big thing, is a lot of Mac users end up using, like, different, you know, different systems to be able to run it on Windows anyway. And we never really had a problem with that. People are actually still buying it today on Mac because they're playing it through things like Wine, and it, it works fine. So, like, I don't have to care, right? Will Heartbound be on Android when it's finished? Hmm. I don't plan for it to be an Android, and here's the reason why. It feels like garbage on the phone. I've tried it. It doesn't feel super good. The, uh, the screen is just too small for it to feel right. I would have to change kind of like the framework and, and like formatting and scenes and all this kind of stuff specifically to fit on a phone to make it look good. And it's just not that great. And like the, the play experience is really not good. I could do it, but the play experience is not very good on a phone. Legitimately. Like really legitimately. YouTube keeps doing this weird thing where it keeps spiking viewership into the floor and then spiking it back up and then auto-correcting. It's probably one of the weirdest things I've seen. Where it's like, you have 10 viewers, now you're back up to 50. Now you have 5 viewers, now you're back up to 50. And I'm like, what are you doing? I think it's just like updating awkwardly. It like doesn't know how to query itself. It's very strange. Yeah, if you have Switch, we'll be launching it on Switch as well once, that's, once the game is finished. So that is a thing. That is a thing. Okay, so conversation bad is going to end from what kind of thing? And it's going to be it's going to be here and we'll say road is going to be the one that says this. You know what? Road's just going to lose confidence here. It's not going to be as extreme as what happens when Rode actually asks out Fern and then Fern says no. It's going to be Rode losing confidence. And I think that just that little moment after you understand who the character of Rode is through going to lunch with Rode is going to be more impactful than anything else. And we're not going to have Fern disintegrate here. We're going to get rid of all of this. to put this here. And we're going to put this here. And I think that'll be the whole scene there. Wasn't that with the new update correcting correcting viewership stream tech? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I am hoping to launch it on Switch though. Like after we launch. I'm already a you know Nintendo developer. Hello? Are you guys there? 
Can you guys hear me? My internet literally just hit zero for a second. Literally just for a second. I've never had the internet die. That was weird, man. It just went to zero kilobytes per second and then back up to 8,000. I said Nintendo dev and then cut out. Oh yeah, so we're, we're officially Nintendo developer account. I have that. Um, and I just have to wait. That's it. I wonder why I got cut out, man. It's really weird. How did it pop, feel to pop out of, in and out of existence? Never happens to me, dude. Never at all. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've, I don't know what you're talking about. Popping out of existence is something I've, I've never done before in my life. As I'm a real human being, and not a robot. Yeah. Yeah, that star is ruined, dude. Look at him. Look at that star stuck in there. Here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab... Oh! Grabbed. Into space, dude. If you get the star, you go to space. That's how it works. That's the agreement. I wonder what killed the connection there. That's really weird, man. Like, really weird. Is it still... Is stuff still connected? I'm trying to see if the analytics are still, like, actually connected. And I think they are. I think the stream just cut out for a second and then popped back in and it's still connected now. So that's good. At least it has, like, the ability to reconnect to an existing working stream. Right? At least that's still a thing. I was a little worried about that. I was hoping that wasn't going to be a problem. And it looks like it's not. It looks like it's not an issue. So hell yeah. That's sick. I'm glad. See jerky later pho photobombing? Jerky. Yeah, the star operates based on the YouTube layout. I need to make it appear somewhere else on the screen. I think it's appearing over on the right side. I think I could do that. I think I'm allowed to. Ah, oh, but I would need to disable the feature. You know what? Let's do it. Let's figure it out. Disconnect! And I'm gonna go into mini games and then jump catch star. And then periodic spawn and... Star rotates. Loot reward none. Sprite collision. Flip sprite on collision. Collides with blocks. We're gonna turn that off. It no longer collides with blocks. And now I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna reconnect. So now, it should go through the collision. You exist again. Congratulations. <laughs> so proud of you. Yeah, I think it works now. So now it should work, and you guys should not have to have the star get stuck on stuff anymore. No walking in the donation goal? I could fix that. I got rid of that before. It was there. But I think what I'll do is I'll leave it the way that it is for now. Yeah. It'll still be awkward on Twitch, though, due to the height difference? No, it won't. I'll fix it on there. Won't be a big deal. Your real ferrets climb and everything? How come your digital ones don't? You want to see how this works, actually? Check this out. Boop. These are actually the collision blocks. Look at that. I just have them over me, so I'm in a box. But I could do this, I could be like, aha, collision blocks, there they are. And it totally works, and we just have collision right there. And I could just remove them if I need to. I just need to, I need to like draw this out probably later and set it up so that it fits that little box, which is funny. 
Thor in a box. Should have a jump through platform and you can jump up but still walk under. I could do that. I can actually do that. Gives you more unobscured screen space. I guess that's true. They are going in front of the donation goal and obscuring that. I have proper collision. It's true. I have ascended. I think road should be upset here. I think road should get mad. That's what it's going to be. That's what it is. Road's going to get angry here. Yeah. It's going to be rough, dude. It's the best. This is going to be how it works. Road turns downward. Camera starts to move back. Road drops the crown as she fades out. Hey, Shay, you know, you know how, like, Fern has that, that thing where she's holding the, the, like, flower crown? You know that one? You know that one? I think that's the one. Yeah, I think that's the one where it's like... We may need that for, for road. I'm trying to think about this. Actually, no, I don't think we will. I don't think we'll need it. I'm trying to think. So if we go to that scene, we actually go to the bridge, right? Road is just going to be standing here with like her arms crossed, right? But like looking kind of happy. And I kind of need her looking a little bit sad as she leans over this. I'm trying to think about this. I think what I'll do is I'll have the pocket watch be... Where can we put this? Because the pocket watch can't be here, right? The pocket watch is going to be... Because normally it's right there. It's where, where Fern disintegrates, right? 
But now we're going to change it. So. Fern his mom energy? I guess that's true. Originally, she was supposed to be an old lady, and we changed it because it was weird. It just didn't work right. The pocket watch under the bird? No, it's got to be somewhere that the person automatically picks it up when they try to walk past. Like, there's no other route for it. You have to have the pocket watch. Road gives Fern the crown. This is going to be Fern intro. So no matter what, this Fern intro is going to happen like this. And then Fern good is going to be there, and Fern bad is going to be this. So Fern intro never changes. Road intro is... I'm hoping to run into you. And then... What's in your mind? I'm not good at this kind of thing. What kind of thing? And then good. This kind of thing is Road has the confidence to do it. And then Road doesn't have the confidence. This so is, you know, don't worry about it. And Fern's like, are you all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. You sure? I said, don't worry about it. Pissed. And then Fern fully leaves. And then Road turns downwards. And there's a long pause. And then the pause and the camera starts to come back. And then Road drops the crown as she fades out. And I think what we'll do is we'll put probably the pocket watch over on the right side. Because I think the pocket watch is actually summoned there. The crown floats, doesn't float for a moment in the sink under the water anymore. It just stays there. Yeah. This is going to be so grim, dude. <laughs> I think this is so much better of a scene. I think this is so much better of a scene. This is going to be so messed up. Alright, let's do it. Let's build this scene. Okay, so... Talker Fern is going to be exactly the same. This actually doesn't need to change. We can close it. Talker Road is going to be this new one. And we'll go into here. And we're going to change the way that this sets up. Yeah. Of all your characters, Fern and Road are your current babies? Yeah. They deserve, they deserve this change. They needed this. So we're going to start going down this entire conversation here. Oh, this is a collision check. We don't need that. We need the conversation. So the handle conversation is right here. And we're going to start here. Road asks that they can talk. So this is the beginning of the conversation. And it's going to be not Fern Bad, none of this stuff. We're going to say Road Intro. So Road Intro on this one is actually going to start... Instead of current message of 1, it's going to start with 31. On the dialogue step of 1, and the talk distance is 5. So this is how it begins. Then it's going to go to 32. So this is, is everything all right? Store the player's location, grabs all this stuff. Start moving camera, all this kind of stuff here. Hey, I was hoping to run into you. That's going to be from Road. Road is pretty nervous. But agrees. What is that? Yeah, that's what it is. 33. Next step is going to be 34. And then... Who do we go to lunch with? This is where things are going to go away. We just need Road. So we don't need that anymore. It's just going to be Road moves down. And then Fern turns to look at Road so we can get rid of these. Because the scene is exact. It's mostly the same, but the context is different. So we'll get rid of the instance exists on this. We don't need any of this anymore. Don't need that. Man, this is going to hurt. So this is going to be Deerbridge Road Left. That's the one that we're working with. And Fern turns to look at Road, which is Deerbridge Fern Right. Right? This all looks same, the same. So what's in your mind? That's going to be 35 and 36. And then 37. And this is where we need to cut it. This is where it needs to stop here. So 37 is where we would normally continue the rest of the cutscene. 
which would be 17, I believe, or 7 there. And it goes to 8, 9, 10, 11, where road is giving fur in the crowd, right? We're not doing that now. And now we need to check to see if we go the good route or the bad route. Let's think about this. What do we go to launch with? Was it good or bad? This right here is where we need to start doing this check. So I'm going to remove this section here. This is the road sliding right, the music coming on, all this kind of stuff with, with this. We'll get rid of that. We won't need this. This is where it's going to break. That's the one. This stuff all needs to still happen, but it needs to happen in the, in the good route for this. And we'll do this check here on this one. All right. Time to do wizard magics uh, to move all this stuff around. Let's go back up. Let's actually make this larger, the size of the screen, I guess. So we're going to say, road is pretty nervous but agrees. Road moves down. Friend look, turns to look at road. And then that is 37. Then at 37, we need to decide which direction we're going to go. So for next step 7, say case 7. Say break there. What we'll do is we'll do the check for if lunch was good or bad. Was it good or bad? We're going to come back up here and say, was it good or bad? Hmm. So here, we're going to say next step equals 7. Current message is 37, which is that what kind of thing. We check to see if Road had a good time or a bad time during the lunch that we actually had. If Road had a good time, then we're going to continue on down this nice route. And this nice route, I have to move now. And we're going to move it here into the good path. And we'll fix all the values on this eventually. Like, this is not, this is not where it should be. Um, yeah, we're going to fix all these values. We don't have to care about that right now. And then for the bad path... So good path is going to be dialogue step two. And next step, I guess we have to change the next step to one, don't we? Yeah, I think that's how that has to go. Let's check this. Start talking is going to be room speed like that. Global keep player frozen. Because we're going to do a little bit of a, a dynamic pause there, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Where does that actually reset? Oh, because the end dialogue resets it. Okay. All right. So, now what's going to happen is she's going to walk up. She's going to say what kind of thing. And then we decide if you had a good time or a bad time during the lunch. If you had a good time, we're going to go to this route. And we're going to reset this as case 1 here. Now, the current message should not be 17. It should actually be 37 on this one. And then for this one down here, the good route, which is the one that we're going to do first, is going to start at dialogue conversation 38. And the dialogue step is going to go to 2, which is correct. Now, for the bad route, we're going to have that one go to 47. So for 38, this is going to be 38. The next step is going to be 2, and then 39. And that's going to be this kind of thing. Then we end dialogue. Road slides to the right. We fade the bridge music back in here. We're going to say current message is going to be 40. Next step is going to be 3. We're going to make this one 2. We're going to make this one 3 here. Road says, I don't know what to say at the end of this, which is good, because the music fades in and everything's cool. 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then this is going to say next step is four. Current message is going to be 41, because now it's what do you want to say? I think that's correct. Make sure. 38, 39, 40, 41. And this is going to be next step is going to be four. I got to fix all these five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're good. This is so much less complicated than I thought it was going to be, dude. I thought this was going to be like a mess. Like legitimately, I thought this was going to take me forever. But I think it's going to be pretty easy. 42 is pretty sure you know the answer to that. Why has this got so many pauses in this? I think this one gets removed, actually. Yeah, that one gets deleted. Noise. This one's going to be five. Next step is going to be six. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-six. And then we're done. And that's it. That's correct. Okay, so let's go clean all this up. Would we go to lunch with? This is if we went to lunch with Road. So we delete everything else. What does this one do? Oh, did we crash it? It's like freaking out. Burn right and alarm two. That's putting on the crown. Fern puts on the crown. There we go. That is correct. We just got to fix the steps here. So this is going to be next step is going to be six, seven, and then eight. Excuse me. Eight. There we go. Not 89. Jesus. Nine. And then we're good to go. So with this, road is going to be on the left. Fern is going to be on the right. Road leaves, Fern leaves. Fern right. There we go. We did it. That scene is done. What are you doing? Step numbers? Yeah, so what this is, is I'm setting up a cutscene. And the way that I set up my cutscenes is, is pretty easy. Like, it's really easy to set these cutscenes up. And what I do is I set up a set of steps where it's going to go to those each one of those steps and run a line of dialogue. In this case, it's running a line of dialogue through this one timeline. This timeline here is the good path if you went to lunch with Road and specifically did everything in the positive way. So that's what I'm going through right now. On my other monitor, I actually have all the dialogue that's going to be in this scene. And on this monitor, I know exactly which steps it needs to go to because it goes step one, right? Step two, step three, step four, step five, and it just goes in order. So we know how the progression works. And if I need to go from step four to step seven or step four to step 50, I can. So I can change timelines and make them merge and diverge in any way that I need to based on the player's choices. It makes it really easy for me to manage all of those different branching paths. And it's it can be kind of complicated, but I've been doing it so long at this point that it's really easy for me. So we've got seven there. Next up is going to be eight on this one. That's going to be current messages 45. That's going to be the let's go home. So Fern puts on the crown and then said, let's go home, you big dork. This is going to be 46. Sounds good. And the next step there is going to be nine. And we are finished with this timeline. So let's take a step through it real fast just to take a look. This is the good timeline, which is 39. This is going to start at 38 here in dialogue step two. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And we're done. Yeah, that's it. 
Good timeline is finished. Good timeline is finished. Alrighty. Fern Road's front door now has a note on it. Fern Road are now home and happy. There are ants now blocking the path in front of Fern Road's place. Road leaves, Fern leaves, slide the camera back, fade music back. Perfect. So the bad path is going to be case three. And case three goes from here, dialogue step three, and current message 47. So it's going to start at 47, which is Road saying, you know, and we're going to put like facial expressions with that, which we haven't done yet. A good timeline was had by all. Yeah, that one was a good one. Now we're going to do the bad one. This is going to be bad path. So this one's going to start at a different section. Original current message 18. Let me look at this. This is going to be when Fern says we've been friends for a really long time, you know? This is if you have a bad time with Fern. Moon's haunted? Dude, Moon's definitely haunted. Moon's 100% haunted. I've played enough, enough Destiny 2 to know that. So instead of doing current message 18 on this, we need to do current message 48. And it's still going to set the window caption like it, it would normally. That's part of the ARG, so I can't get rid of that. We'll say, you know, don't worry about it. We're going to say medium pause. I want to make sure that that road actually moves down to the edge of the bridge. Road moves down is here. Is that inside of the good timeline? No, it's part of the intro. Perfect. Road moves down. Burn turns to look at road. Keepler frozen. Was it good or bad? Okay. All right. If you ever feel sad, look up two minutes of happiness on YouTube. What does that even mean? If you ever feel sad, stop. That's that's the best advice right there. There it is. That's how it works, right? Isn't isn't that how that works? Clearly, you just stop. <laughs> I've heard so much bad advice like that. Why don't you just stop being sad? No, I. I refuse. Yeah. We're going to have to fade the music out before this, I think. I think I want to fade the music out probably here. So we have the conversation. And when Rode says, you know, don't worry about it. The don't worry about it, when she says don't worry about it, I think that's where we fade the music out. I think that's the one where it goes away. And I think it's it. Yeah, sadness equals false, dude. Done. Thanks, I'm cured. Exactly. What is this, Kingdom Con? What's that? Oh, give it to the ants. Yeah, um, pop the top of that open. Thank you for the dollar. It's very nice of you, dude. You're super red. Did you do that through Pally GG, by the way? Looked like you did. Maybe you did. I don't know. Yeah, dump it through the top of that. Uh, it's going to be stuck, so turn it, you know. Don't, oh, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to help Shay real quick. One sec. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So we gave we gave a frozen mouse to the ferrets and thought it out first because ferrets are obligate carnivores and they love eating meat. And they love eating small rodents. So we do that sometimes. It's healthy for them. It's very good for them. Loki doesn't eat the tail. She refuses to eat the tail. She'll eat everything else, but she won't eat the tail. So I took the tail and I gave it to my ants and I'm waiting to see if they'll eat it. No, not a squeaky mouse, like a frozen mouse. A full-grown frozen mouse. Not a live mouse, because that's messed up. A frozen mouse. And then you thaw it, and you give it to them. It's a whole thing. It's grim. Deeply grim. 
but it's good for them. So, hello, little cheese. You. Look at this. Look at this wiggler. What are you doing? Oh. Good. It's so small. Oh. I've returned the worm. Return the worm. Oh yeah, exactly. That's the thing, is like I'm not There's some people that do like live feeding stuff, dude. I think that's messed up. I'm never gonna do that. That's, ugh. Ugh, you know. It's just not the play. I think it's really gross, personally. Global.player frozen equals one. And we're gonna say set up next dialogue. What? Oh, I hit that stupid Windows key again. Stop it. Set up next. Dialogue. We're going to set this up for current messages 50. And then we'll do start talking. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be real with you. I like eating me some bacon, so I'm not really going to complain too much. But I'm not going to eat the bacon live. You know what I mean? That's it. That's just. That's kind of how it is. Well, beans is activated. I can see his brain almonds going. It's become a monster. Bacon is delicious. But imagine eating a live pig, right? Like, that's the difference. That's the difference. I just couldn't do it. There'd be no way, dude. There'd be no way. I wouldn't do it. Nope. I need to make shaky text. I have shaky text, but I don't remember what the flag is for it. You guys want to see beans? This one is wild. He's huge. Look at him. Look at him. What are you doing? So big. What are you going to do? Oh, 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 oh. Activated. You're so full of claws. Hello. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> uh, I tried to just pet him a whole bunch. Just like bother him, but he's all full of claws, dude. Oh my god, he's a monster. He's smelly, too. He smells. He smells like beans. He smells like beans, dude. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I smell like beans. <laughs> One moment. Oh. I can't believe there's a ferret sleeping on my head. Can't believe you've done this. I'm back. Oh. Yeah, Windows Shift S. I just randomly accidentally hit it because I got fat fingers, dude. Fat fingers. Whoa. I got big hands. That's the problem. And I just, like, smash all over the keyboard, right? My hands are... I mean, clearly, as you, as you know, I have very large hands. 
immensely big. So it makes it really tough, you know, using such a small keyboard. It's, uh, it's a tough thing to do. Yeah. Is it a cutest sleepy thing? Yeah, a little bit. How dare you? You call my hands disgusting. They're not tiny hands. I'll give you a slap, Alex. I'll do it. Alexis. Alexis. I'll slap you. I'll d you wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Would you? This is my full power. Maybe not even my full power. Probably just part of my full power. That's right. Be afraid. Be afraid. Yeah. Yeah. My hands don't have hands. They're perfectly normal. Perfectly normal hands. Yeah. Dude, I love Ghost of the Shell. <laughs> oh, it's one of the secret bosses in Harbound. It might be, dude. We can rotoscope it. Done. Rotoscope my perfectly normal human hands. That's how we do it. It's the pirate software way. So this one doesn't actually need this. We don't need that. We've already faded the music out. We don't need to do this. Set this up like that. <sighs> Activate dialogue. Good. We don't need to do anything like this from here down. Burn faces road. None of this. Road leaves. Fern turns downwards. Blah, 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 blah. We don't need any of that. All of this can go away. Actually, I think that one stays, but everything else in between is garbage. It's garbage. All of this is garbage. We'll throw everything here away. Because this scene is going to be completely different. Completely and totally different. So now we have to tie this up with this. So 51 is just going to go into here. We're going to make this one 5, 5, 6, and 52. And then five, 6, 7, and 53. And then we're going to do a long pause in the next one. So the next one is going to be 7. I'm going to say end dialogue here. Because we want to we wanna have a big, long pause between this, because this is right after Road freaked out. Do you predict that speedrunners will break your game when it releases? They've already broken the game. It's awesome, actually. Um, one of the things that I, I make very, very clear, is something that I always do, speedrunners find bugs. They find insane, wild, awesome bugs, dude. And what I do is if a speedrunner finds a bug, and it doesn't damage gameplay for anyone else, and it doesn't crash their game, I don't fix it. I intentionally leave it in. If a speedrunner finds a bug that crashes their game, or makes it really awful to speedrun the game, I fix that one. Yeah, I fix that one. You say fix bugs, not glitches. A glitch is a graphical bug. A, a glitch is not anything other than that. So don't use the term glitch. A bug is anything that goes wrong. A glitch is specifically graphical. So with the bug, if the bug doesn't result in a crash or a soft lock or anything like that, I don't fix it. The speedrunners get to keep it. And I think that's the most important thing. I, I want them to have those tools that they discover. And they found them in the past, dude. Like, there were some bugs that speedrunners found that were outrageous. Like, one of them made Baron Moonwalk off the screen forever, and then the game would just soft lock. And I was like, okay, great, you know. It's quite funny. You never do that? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's an old thing. Makes me laugh. It's kind of like when people, like when Amazon says hotfix and they bring the servers offline for New World. Which is not what a hotfix is. Because a hotfix means the servers are still hot. Meaning you haven't taken them offline. And yet they continue to call it a hotfix. We're bringing the servers down for an hour for a hotfix. It's not what that means. Stop using that word that way. Oh my god. Makes me enraged. It makes me enraged, dude. Yeah, I know they do, Ren for Zan. It always makes me laugh. Glitch is a graphical. Graphical bug. Graphical only. 
You notice that I hotfix block game a lot? I do, actually. I hotfix block game where you guys don't actually have to log out. In fact, I hotfix it at the beginning of this stream. In fact, I'm going to hotfix more content into it at the end of this stream. Yeah. We're going to be working on it after Heartbound, actually. Hotfix? More like hot mess. It's true. 100% true. I hate it, dude. I, I hate when they say hotfix. It's just so stupid. Fern fully leaves. Fern's gonna look sad there. I don't know if Fern has a sad face. Fern has a sad face. Ah, yawning to death, dude. Okay, so. 54 is gonna be there. It's a long pause, medium pause. We're just gonna say pause. Oh, no, we're gonna do long pause. Long pause is there gonna be a full one. And then we'll do the same thing. Set up dialogue. We'll do the same thing for the next one, which is going to be all, uh, see you around. Yeah, see you around. Because that's very, that's a very fern thing to say. We'll put this in here. And we're going to say, what is this? Seven. This is going to be next step eight. This one's going to be eight. And this is going to be next step nine. And the messaging is going to be 55. And it's going to be room speed times 0 0.5. And then R Fern is going to turn on the end of this one and walk away. So after this one is done, I think Fern is going to leave. Did you hotfix the quest for the Bluesfish? Yes, that was a hotfix. Because the server didn't come offline. There's patches where the server comes offline, and there's hotfixes where the server stays online. If someone is calling it a hotfix and their server is going offline, they're morons. And that's exactly what they're doing on New World every time they bring the servers offline. They're like, hey, we're bringing the server down for four hours for a hotfix. That's not what that means. That is, that is not what that means. And as someone who's been in the industry for almost 20 years, it, oh god, it's enraging. It's, <laughs> that's not what a hotfix is. Oh god, it's enraging. I got a question about where to start with approaching programming as a beginner. Oh my god, I didn't see that. I'm so sorry. Um, so if you want to get into game development, you wanted to ask you how to approach programming from a complete beginner. So here's the biggest thing, Winter Knight. What you should do is not approach programming. Instead, I have a website called develop.games, which you can find here. And if you look at this, it'll have my stream at the bottom, but I'm not currently streaming on Twitch, so it's not going to be doing anything. But um, come up here and see that, first off, you don't need any skills to start. None. Zero. None skills. Read through this whole section and understand that. Under the skills required, you don't need anything. The second thing you should understand is go to tools and then engines. There's no best programming language and there is no best engine. It is based on the kind of game you want to make, right? So if you want to learn programming for game development, don't. Instead, learn about what tools are involved for making the kind of game you want to make. So I made a section in here called picking a genre where you pick what kind of game you want to make, right? And, you know, the games that we made first before making Heartbound. So, pick the kind of game you want to make, write it all out on paper, say the things that you want to put in the game, and then go, well, what engine works the best for this game, right? If you're making a 2D pixel art game, you'll want to choose an engine that makes 2D pixel art games really well. Game Maker Studio and Godot are pretty good options for that. If you're making a 3D game, you'll want to choose something where 3D games work really well. Maybe Unity or Unreal or Godot. If you want to make a visual novel, maybe you'd use something like RenPy, right? RenPy is great for visual novels. But here's the thing that's important about this. Each of those engines uses programming in a different way. So learning programming first isn't going to get you anywhere. You choose the kind of game, then the engine that supports it and your studio the best financially and also technology-wise, you know, for the kind of thing you want to make. And then you find out what languages work with that engine, and then you start building stuff and learning it along the way. You're not going to know what you're doing at first, and that's okay. But do it in the right order, and things are going to get way easier for you. Like, way easier. Anyone who tells you that there's a best programming language, or a best engine, or you shouldn't use anything else but this, they're lying to you, and they're either trying to sell you something, or they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Legitimately. 
tools like engines and programming languages are tools like a hammer or a screwdriver or a wrench and they don't do each other's jobs very easily they can you know you want to choose the one that's best for the thing you're trying to do yeah absolutely so go to develop.games that's the website so you know if, you, if i'm not around or anything like that you can absolutely read it here um that's my website that i put out with all this information there's no ads on it there's no anything like that it's just a free resource for game developers on the internet because i want you to make games I do. 100% I want you to make games. I'm going to probably use RPG Maker MZ for my game. Do it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Game Maker is pretty good. It's got a $5 a month price tag on it. Um, you don't have to do that at first, though. It's only when you start exporting, which is really interesting. Which website was it? Hmm. Potato basket. Dude, I hate that Kappa face. Of all the faces they could, they could accept as the Kappa of YouTube, they choose this weird, like, super bright, I can barely see his features moon face, man. <laughs> that's the cap of YouTube. <laughs> I really hope that's a troll, dude. I don't know why it exists. Everyone's, people have been telling me that's the cap of YouTube, and I don't know if they're trolling or not. Because if it really is, it's horrific. It's like... I can't even see his eyes, dude. I don't even know what expression it is, because it's just bright. It's just blindingly bright. It's outrageous, dude. It's like me when I go out in the sun. Which I never do, because I'm a vampire. Yeah. Yeah. Being a programmer turns you into a vampire, by the way, so... So that's a, that should be a disclaimer for you. It's not you should. Yeah, it's part of the process. That it was just going to be text capo, but they actually put this, and it's super weird, man. What is actually... What actually is this? What is the, what is the command to do that? What is the command to make that face? I don't even know, dude. I don't even know how to write that. I'm just copy-pasting it. Let me actually find out. Here, let me put it over here. Okay. I just tried to take that face and copy-paste it in text to see if it write text, and it did this. What the hell is that? What? What is that? That is horrifying. It's even creepier. You just write Kappa, literally? Let me write Kappa. Oh my god, it actually is Kappa. It looks like... It looks like Pip-Boy made out of cheese. It does. That's literally Pip-Boy made out of cheese, dude. There's no way around that. I didn't realize you could actually just write Kappa and it was that face. That's the worst Kappa I've ever seen. The point of Cap is that you can see his features, you two. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Pip-Boy Cheese. That's what that is. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Can I? No. Wait. Is it F8? It is F8. But when I do it, it makes it expand dramatically. There we go. Look at it. Look at that thing, dude. It's Cheese Pip-Boy. It is Cheese Pip-Boy. Tell me I'm wrong. From Fallout? 100%. That's exactly what that is. That is 100% cheese pit boy. I can't unsee it. <laughs> oh wait, there's two of them now. Okay, let me grab these. Oh god, no. It's cheese pit boy and inverted cheese pit boy. Fighting to the end of time. I can't believe that's the cap of YouTube, dude. That's actually upsetting. I, I'm actually amazed that that exists, though. I thought Kappa was like a uniquely Twitch thing. I thought it was a uniquely Twitch like meme. Why is it on YouTube? Are they just absorbing Twitch? Slowly but surely. Weird. Weird. Dude, those Kappas are weird. I don't like those Kappas. I wholeheartedly reject the Pip-Boy Cheese Face Kappa. 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. Rejected. I reject it. That's true. Yeah, that's it. I reject it, dude. I hate it. Thingy should be a thing? What is thingy, dude? What? 
No, dude, none of those are good. We need a new Kappa face. Been a WikiHow article explaining why the Dark Moon face means? What do you mean it means? See, there's the thing. Let's read it together, link it. Because here's the thing, if it's something like racist or bad, that's going to be like people co-opting an image on the internet. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Make Ferret Kappa? What if I just made one of my own faces Kappa face, dude? I think we actually have another emote unlocked. Let me go look. YubeTube. Give to me the YubeTube. Give to me the YubeTube. Now I have to go to monetization. Memberships. Membership levels. Or customized default perks? Is that the one? Emoji. There we go. I have another slot. No, I don't. I don't. Once we get three more members, then I'll have another slot. Soon. Not yet, but soon. It's not offensive, it's awkward. Link, 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 link. I can't wait to see it. Usually write the name of the emote and not just text. It's being replaced. Yeah, it's no, it's weird, right? It's weird that they just replace stuff on YouTube. I like don't like that. You sent the link? Where'd you send it? Did you? Why can't I see it? Where'd you send it? I don't... Oh, no, it switched my chat back to top chat. I swear to God. YouTube. Cut it out. I don't know where it is, dude. It's gone. Post it again. I got nothing, dude. It filters it? Yeah, I can't see it. I can't even... I'm the broadcaster. I want to see it. YouTube? You filter that, but you don't filter the porn accounts that come in and blast websites on me. All right. I understand. I see how it is. Yeah, I don't see it, dude. I don't see anything. Send it me on Discord. Yeah. Send it, send it on Discord and I'll find it there. It's weird, man. YouTube's got weird stuff. I, I honestly believe that their chat experience is just trash. I think that's the biggest thing. They need to fix that. YouTube chat feature sucks. Let's see if... YouTube's, YouTube chat sucks. We fixed it ourselves. Hyper chat by LiveTL. What is this? What is this? Did they actually manage to fix this? YouTube chat sucks. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into this, dude. Cause yeah, YouTube chat does suck. Send it to you on Discord. Let me go check it out. I really don't like YouTube chat. We gotta find a better way. Oh no. What does it mean? Why is there a whole wiki how on this? The eerie feeling you get when you feel like something's not right. If you're sent a black moon emoji, it could mean the sender is getting weird vibes. That's weird, dude. Alright. I don't associate that with feeling weird vibes, man. I don't. It's just a weird face. Like, I don't actually associate that. Like, faces on Twitch are really highly emotive. They are. There's a lot of, like, emotes that have high, you know, high amount of emotion in them. So you know what emotion it is. The, the black moon face and the light moon face don't... They don't have emotion to them. Is that a blue one? What is that? Okay, that's just the dark one. I th th there's no emotion to that. It's just weird. It's it's the face is so small. You know what it is? I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. This is what it is. It's the tiny face meme, dude. That's why I can't get behind it. That face is this. And I can't unsee it now. And now you can't either. Those moon faces are the tiny face meme. And there's nothing I can do about it now. Like, I don't... <laughs> I hate those faces. They look terrible. They look terrible. 
it's literally this, dude. It's, it's, this is, that's what it is. It's that face. You should show the one with your face? I don't even know where that one is. <laughs> it's the one that says neat on it. Let's see if you can find it. I want to find the one with me. It's in my me memes folder. It should be under streaming. Wait, wait, wait. I think I may have found it. There it is. There it is. It's this meme, dude. It's this meme. It's the it's the same meme, dude. That's what it is. That's that's what it is. It's very cursed. I can't get around that. That face is weird as hell, man. YouTube, you are something else. You're weird, man. Definitely weird. Maybe one day they'll be less weird. Not yet, but like one day, you know? Yeah, thanks. I hate it. Exactly. <laughs> neat. You know? How neat that is. You know? Neat. How's your stream on YouTube been going? It's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's normal stuff. We're talking about YouTube and like the features are a little bit awkward, right? We're making fun of this weird moon face. If you type in Kappa with a capital K on YouTube, it makes this face. Look at it. Let that thing like burn into your soul. Why... Why is that a Kappa? What? <laughs> it's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> what is that? Well, my my anticipation is that it's this. Yeah, that's... I feel like that face is this meme. Because the face is so tiny. And the head is so big. Which is weird. But even better is if you take it, and you copy it, and you paste it into, like anywhere it turns into a little pimp boy made out of cheese which is you know great really it's got me it's coming for me it's too late it's so weird dude it's so weird oh it's so weird dude does it work on mobile rip i can't i can't even handle it i'm gonna start naming variables this and be like equals five yeah. <laughs> just, complete, just completely ruined all of my code readability man oh god this is awful oh it's so gross you can see other people's but you can't see your own yeah it's like yeah it's mobile doing it it's gonna be your password everywhere now not a bad choice just do the moon face thing right that's super weird man it looks like cheese, too. Oh, God, it's so gross. I'm not a fan. I'm super not a fan. Also, Kind Wolf, did you see the updates into the block game? Huh? 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 What is this? good to see people get get banned on the discord it's quite funny yeah you did it you finally remove villagers so the way that i remove villagers is quite funny first i put a world guard region that makes it so that they can't respawn then i wrote a command block that deletes all of them so every time a new one loads up it dies so all the ones that exist in the world will die on unloaded chunks and all the ones that don't exist yet can't <laughs> gone gone forever can't look away from the double break. Oh, ignore that. Yeah, that's fine. It's gone now. Don't worry about it. I hadn't built the next section, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, in Minecraft, dude. No more villagers on our server. 
Yeah, I made me six. I made a little box that gets rid of them. They die now. Also, I added quests. Quests are actually pretty cool. Some people have found them so far. They're very rare, but they're items that drop in the world, and then when you get it, you get to do an action, and you, you do a thing, and you get XP. Should you stay in the stream or you get spoiled? You're not going to get spoiled. I'm working on older stuff right now and some optimization things. And then after this, I'm going to work on block game. Because block game is our MMO instead of Minecraft. Which is kind of cool. I'm really excited for it. It's very fun to play. Somebody put in a ticket for a bunch of stuff. Would you mind repeating yourself? What do you want? What do you want to know? Ask away, man. Cracking? Nothing. Craig, with you, man. I need to actually take a look at something on MMO Core. We have our quests. And I'm going to open up Bluefish. The Blues Fish here. Blues Fish. Amount 5. Bring 5 Blues Fish. Fisherman in Origin. That should be fine. For some reason, their thing doesn't work. Why doesn't their thing work? Yeah, I can add these really fast, dude. This is actually how fast I can make these. So what I do is I open up this. Let me show you this. We're going to go MMO items, item, and then quest. I made a new classification of items called quest items. And I just make an item that is a consumable. And when it's consumed, it says MMO core, quest start, and then the player's name, and then the quest name. Then I go over here, and I just make the quest. And that's it. These take me five minutes to make and then i just have to add them to the, the to the drop table and that's it that's all it is it's super fast man uh, but yeah that's it dude yeah super easy yaml you know yaml configuration stuff very simple very simple and then it looks good in the game but the idea is it gives them an item they consume the item they get a quest the quest they can go turn in when they turn the question, they actually get cool stuff for it. And the cool thing about this is, is check this out. This is a one-step quest. I can make as many steps as I want to. I can make an epic quest with like 15 different steps, and you have to like go to locations and interact with stuff and kill certain monsters and anything that we want to put into this, we can. So one of them that I'm going to make is when you turn level 25, you will get an item, and that item will let you consume it. And when you consume that item, it gives you a quest to go to Krogner's Bastion. When you turn level 10, it'll give you a quest that takes you to, you know, the dungeon Sunken Cells. And it's going to be really fun. And I'm really excited to do that. You've learned so much about project structure? Hell yeah, Bucket of Games. Can't find a good way to draw a capital D for my font? Rip, dude. You're drawing your own font? F. I did that. I don't recommend it. <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's worth it, but it's like, it's a nightmare. You love the dungeon quest? Yeah, no, dungeon quests are super fun. Because, like, the thing is, is I'll probably make it where it's, like, 
do the dungeon, go to this area, open up these chests, do these things, you know. Draw a big B without the division in the middle? Hmm. You're right. That does make sense. But I think, I think I'm pretty excited about this because it's so simple to implement, right? Like, it's just a simple, easy mode kind of thing to do. And it's, you know, that'll be it. That'll be simple. Simple and easy. See, case 8. Case 8 is current message 55. So Fern's going to say, I'll uh, see you around. And then Fern is going to fully leave. So after this, on case 9, we're going to do the same thing. Case 9. Fern's going to be completely gone. We're going to do the next step of 10. I think this is going to end up being 10 here. Uh, this is not going to be start talking. It's going to be Fern leaves. So when Fern leaves, we need to go see that object itself, which is going to be Obj Deerbridge Fern left. Where's Deerbridge? No, Deerbridge Fern right is going to be the one. And I think we can just do walk home. I think we can just do alarm three, because I already have that, which is easy. So we're going to say, with this fern over here, Actually, it's going to be a different one. Walk home is not going to be the same. And the reason why walk home is not going to be the same is because we have to continue this storyline here. Because that'll be anim step two. And when animation ends from transition animation, no, this here, anim step two, we went home, instance is going to destroy. We moved to the edge of the bridge. Yeah, so this one is going to be a different one. I'm going to say, we left upset. Case three. Break. And this won't just be instance destroy. It's also going to be start talking again and then clean up. The reason why I have to do it this way is because we need to have a new version of this that sets a different variable because she's not just leaving to go home. She's leaving and then awful things are happening. So when we do this, we're going to say with Deerbridge Road, and we're going to say alarm 0 equals 1. And then I can go into here. This is good. The path will get updated. Everything will get deleted. We're going to take walk home, which is this one right here. And we're going to copy it. And we're going to say alarm 8. And we're going to put it there. And we're going to say anim step 3, right walk. Not walk crown. We're going to change it to right walk because she won't have the crown on. And I don't even think it's going to be X plus 600. I think it's going to be X plus 400. So she gets right off screen. And then it deletes. Maybe 300. We'll set it to 300 and see what happens. And then at the end of this, when we clean up, it's going to be we left upset the talker starts talking again and that's going to continue our storyline here so Fern's going to leave half a second later and that's going to be line 55 is incorrect so this is going to be line 56 now and that's going to be Road being completely upset yeah yeah, I think that's going to be what it is. Let's go look at Rode's face real fast, because I think Rode has a couple of other animations that we can pull on for this. There's no case 10. There doesn't need to be yet. We haven't cleaned up past this. We're going to be cleaning all this stuff up slowly. That's the point. Yeah, don't worry. It'll be fixed. I promise. We go to scripts. We need sprites. We need act three. Burn and Rode. Rode standy. Special. That's the injured one. We don't need that.
This is the stand injured transition. If you saw that, I'm not going to be evil. Have you never seen this animation? Have you never seen this one? This one right here, this grim one. It actually plays like kind of slower than that, but it'll actually play like this. Road crying into her paws. You've never seen that? The breakdown animation? This one? I don't know why it's playing backwards, but... Yeah, it's pretty bad. She goes like this. And then she starts shaking. And then it transitions from that to this. We open this one. And she goes like this. And then she's like that afterwards. And then it's like this. And then she has a walk for that. Where she like shuffles forward. And then... She tries to fight you. And she got her claws out. And then she just has her claws animated there. She has that out. And then she collapses. And then she's then she's like collapsed and it's sad. And then and then And then we don't have to worry about it anymore. It's not a problem now. See? No longer an issue. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. That's not for this scene, though. That's a different scene. And that's already in the game, by the way. Yeah, so if you haven't found that, it's probably for the best. Yeah, she's just logging out. For a while, you know? It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, that, that scene is already in the game. Those animations you already saw, those have been in for months. And if you have seen that scene, you deserved it. And if you haven't seen that scene, that's fine. I understand what kind of person you are. So Fern is going to leave here. And then after Fern leaves, that's line 56, we're going to go to 11. Or actually to 10 now. So that's 10. We keep the player frozen. We slide the camera back, and Fern is going to disintegrate. Fern is not going to disintegrate now. The road is going to disintegrate. And that's going to change this. So on this, we're saying Alarm 4. Alarm 4 is not going to be Fern disintegrates anymore. It's going to be Road disintegrates. And this can't be Fern left, Fern right. It's actually going to be different entirely. We're going to take this and do road left and we're going to change the sprite. Sprite fern sprite road down disintegrate Sa sound animus disintegrate obj deer bridge crown bad and we're going to create the crown at the location of road left which is going to be fine. And I may need to change the crown location a little bit there. We'll have to see. Yeah, the dissolve animation is super clean. In fact, we're adding a new one right now. So I need to duplicate this, actually. And we're going to call it... Sprite Road Down Stand Disintegrate. There we go. This is going to be the new one. And we're going to delete all of these frames. Those are gone. And we're going to add these new ones that I just got from Shea. I'm going to go to storage and then downloads. Where is this? Pull these out. Put them into a new folder real quick. Dump those in here. And we will delete this last frame in this. So we got to edit this image. We're going to delete that out of there. We're going to take all of these and throw them up here. Uh, resize the canvas and center those, and we'll apply to Origin as well. And of course, it didn't actually resize the canvas because Game Maker Studio is a potato, so we're going to go and do this again. I don't know why it didn't do that, but thanks, Game Maker Studio. Why do you even have that option if you're not going to do it? So let's edit this image. We're going to resize this canvas now to resize it to 
200 by 200 and then just hit go. And then after we do that, we're going to delete this and then dump all of these in. Huh? Don't resize it. We're cool. There we go. And then we can scrunch this back up. We can scrunch it back up. And we need to move all these frames. So we're going to take this, put it there. Take this, put it there. 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 And just be like, boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. 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 Gone. That'll be that. We did it. So now, I have to go over here to image, and we're going to say... Auto trim all frames. And now we actually have the proper animation. It looks like it's going to work. Guys, we're not actually deleting road. Okay, we're we're building a new one. See? Not deleting. This is wrong. We're building one. Bu building. Not deleting. Building. That's how it works. It's like pouring sand back into place. Right? Not a problem. No problem at all. Okay, so now, now I need to choose an actual center location. I'm going to say middle center, and this is not correct. We need to go find where Rhodes Downstand is. Rhodes Downstand actually goes at this location right here on her wrist, it looks like. So we're going to need to find that exact location here. No, I don't want that. I accidentally hit spacebar. That's not good. Let's go back here. I don't want to hit spacebar in that. I need to find this. We're going to take that back up. We're going to put it... Where do we put that? It looks like it's on the second pixel in. We'll put it there. There we go. So now it's going to be exactly lined up with where it should be. The origin point is the same across both of them. And uh, we should be good to go. That should be good. So now, when we fire this, road is going to disintegrate. Down... Stand, disintegrate. Deerbridge Road left. Down stand, disintegrate. We disintegrate in place. We start playing the disintegrate sound. We stop updating the depth. And we create the crown. Lock depth is something that I need to check. Let's go look at... That road object. Because I think road left is going to be a problem now. Because I don't know if we actually do a lock depth thing on there. Yeah, let's look at this. If lock depth equals equals zero, that's going to be in there. And then draw sprite. If visible equals true, draw that. Very cool. I don't know why if visible equals true is in there, but like who... Whatever, you know. And we're going to take this into here. We're actually just going to copy this. We're going to copy that event. We're going to paste it up here. Uh, no, I just want to just want to paste it. Paste the event. Thank you. And then inside of our init variables on this, I need to go add another one. And that init variable is going to be this right here. So we're going to pull lock depth. And lock depth is going to be here now because we need this one to disintegrate now. We don't want the depth to change. And I think we're good. I think we are actually... Good, this cutscene may just work. It's probably not going to have the right emotional impact yet, but it's probably going to work. That's kind of how I feel about it. So, next thing we need to do is play the game from the beginning so I can get it back to this point and then debug save it because we want to have a clean save file to make sure that everything is functioning appropriately. Do they scream as they disintegrate or do they accept their fate? They make a sound. Do you want to hear it? It's upsetting. It's this sound. Here, let's pause this. Pretty good. I like that noise. All right. Looks like everything here is okay. Burn and rotor now gone. We slide the camera back. Alarm two is going there. We move the camera and everything is good. That should be it. We start doing that, we lock the depth, we set the animation to that, we create the crown. Let's go take a look at this on 
Transition animation. Bad path. We're going to grab this. We're going to go up here to animation and tradition, transition animation. So we don't actually have that on here. We're going to copy this. We're going to paste it up here. Because we need to have this as well. We're going to get rid of that. And we're just going to say when this animation is over. Sprite. Road. Down. Stand. Disintegrate. We delete the object. And now we're clean. Now it's done. So the only thing we have to do now is go test the scene. And make sure that it feels correct. But from an emotional standpoint. And if it does, we're good. And if it doesn't, which it won't. We'll tune it. And we'll make it better. The most I know how to do is make synth beep boops. Yeah, that makes sense. What is your opinion on Mr. L from Super Paper Mario? <laughs> I feel like he has the largest of L's. And as such, has become Mr. L. Otherwise known as Twitch. I think he's Twitch's actual mascot now. That's right. True. Mr. L is actually Twitch's mascot. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Okay, we're going to forget. Yes, we want to forget. We're going to start over. Mr. L is actually cool. Uh, he's Luigi. How can he actually be cool? Tell me I'm wrong, dude. Tell me I'm wrong. Luigi, by definition, is not cool. Mr. L is super awesome. Nah. You wish Twitch won by doing absolutely nothing? Unfortunately, Twitch has lost by doing absolutely everything that they shouldn't do. That's kind of, that's sort of where they're at right now. Legitimately. It's, it's pretty awful to watch, to be real with you. I just don't understand what the hell they're doing. You bet Luigi would get his butt kicked? If they ever met? Yeah, I guess that's true. I think, I mean, they are the same, same person, technically. He's the deciding factor for if the world gets destroyed. That doesn't make you a badass. That makes you the wrong person in the wrong place at the wrong time. Right? Maybe the right person if the world doesn't get destroyed. Okay, it doesn't matter if we do this. We're going to feed Viking feasts because we're not terrible people. Doesn't matter which direction we take this. So we're going to do it the nice way. Going to try to sketch Bebo. Do it. Throw the garbage. We'll take the axe so we can make this go faster. Hey, what's up, dude? Okay, go back to sleep. Now we can skip all the dialogue. Skip it all. Skip everything. Yeah, I'm doing a playthrough of my own video game, dude. I always wanted him to play it. All right. Did you see this? It's a Slayer of Champions, dude. That's actually the enemy from Champions of Breakfast. It actually kills champions. That's what it does. It's true. It's true. Playing a game called Heartbound? Never heard of it, dude. Heartbound? That game stinks. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely haven't worked on this game for years. Nope. Not me. Never seen it before in my life. Blind playthrough? 100% blind. So blind you don't even know, dude. Do you know how many people get stuck on this? This was actually one of the first interesting bugs that I solved for Heartbound. Is people would come to this room... And they'd walk against this. And originally, see how the character just kind of stops? How Laura just stops up here? Originally, you would walk against this and it would do the same thing. And people would be like, I'm stuck. It's soft like. I'm like, go to the bottom of the tree and push it to the left. Right? And they're like, oh. So then what I did was I made it so that when you go to walk to this, Laura does a pushing animation. And when I changed it to a pushing animation, people stopped reporting the bug because they go up here and they push against this. And they go, oh, I can push it. And then they go down here and they're like, oh, I can push. They moved away. Which is really interesting. 
it just ended up being a thing where people were like, oh, I can I can push because there's an animation now. So that's how I ended up teaching people. I didn't put a little sign or anything like that. I just made a pushing animation. Reach, reach one of the happier endings in this playthrough? No. No. We're doing a terrible thing later in the in the play. Oh no. The fireball. Oh no. Oh god no. We're actually planning on, on updating this boss's animation, by the way. Maybe. I don't know yet. We're planning on making it creepier. There are no happy endings in Heartbound? No, there's one. Is that happy? Maybe you're right. There might not be any happy endings. Hmm. There's an ending that is happy, but it's not what you want. One of the endings is one that is happy, but it's not in the way that you want it to be. It's not in a good way. All the endings that are sadder are the happier endings. I don't know how else to describe that without ruining anything. <laughs> it's not what you want. Just remember, sometimes when you win, you lose. That's it. Do developers ever play their own games and beat them? Yes. I play my own games constantly. You should. If you're not playing your own game, you're not learning what it's like to play your game from a player's perspective. You're going to find so many things that suck when you play from a player's perspective that it's going to change your entire outlook on your game. Like, dramatically so. Absolutely, absolutely dramatically so. Why are you going to be so cryptic? That's my job. You're crying and you're dreading these endings? Oh no! You're going to sob so hard at all of them? Steets knows one of the endings. It's true. If you don't play, how do you get to know it's fun? Fun is subjective, so that's kind of hard to determine anyway. But, that being said, even with fun being subjective, right, you can still determine if something sucks. If something feels bad, right, you'll know. You'll know if it feels... You like the art so much? Thank you. Yeah, Shay does all the art and animation. And uh, he kicks butt on it, dude. Vom, 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 vom. Very nice. We're gonna go do this because it's a secret. And I don't want to not do it. Do 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 You had to listen to my opinions of Mr. L? That's fine. That's fine. Have you never found Gizmo before? That's Gizmo, dude. Uh, Boop. Boop. Did you know you could talk to these? Who here didn't know you could read this? Are you not allowed to curse on my Discord? I have an Autobot that turns off cursing because people were saying, like, horrific, horrific words. That's it. It's not that big of a deal. Let me just do that one. Oh, wait. That one. Well, if you knew that, what about this? Did you know you could read this one? Did you know that if you hit this right here, it cuts through it because it's a laser? And then when you do it, it doesn't light up and then you can't read it anymore? Oh. Oh. Amazingly, when you shoot things with a laser, you can't read them anymore. Which is quite funny to me. You did not? Now you know. Now you know. Boop, 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 boop. Do you get trophies for those little things? No, but the game remembers everything you did. All of it. And it changes the storyline based on what you did. How you did things. It's true, Kind Wolf. It's true. I am, in fact, doing this. Even the fart index? There's no fart index. You may have one, based on the number of times you have farted, personally. But, unfortunately, the game does not remember how many times you've farted, as it doesn't have smell-o-vision. That'd be the thing that it needs. 
Yeah. Unfortunate. But if it had smell of vision I'd make you smell farts every time you play the game. So, it's not what you want. Oh, I know, they did. Yeah, they did. That one's not blocked in the way that that person wrote it. <sighs> it's not my filters. They're Discord's automatic filters. It's automod. Yep. There's no... I didn't set up the filters. It's automod. Have the game ask for your credit card number as the seed? What is this? Like an NFT game? Is that how that works? Jesus. <laughs> it's outrageous, dude. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't want you to do it. You could say WTF, though. WTF works. Hey, look, it's creepy. Where'd he go? What the dog doing? What are you saving for today with the donations? You mean the donation goal? Is that what you're talking about? Why is that there? It's very sad. Are you sure you want to know? It's going to make me sad. Um, my cat Gadget had a stroke uh, about two, three months ago. And I rushed her to the emergency vet. She survived. She had a lot of care. Had to, after about a week of her being in intensive care, I took her home. And I had to hand feed her and take care of her while she recovered. She was blind and deaf and couldn't walk. It was horrible. She survived. She survived for about another two months, fully recovered. She was running around, jumping, doing all the kind of stuff she normally does. And then she had another one. And I had to put her to sleep. And it's because it turned out to be a brain tumor and there wasn't anything we could do. She was 20 years old, so she lived a very long time. But that is the vet bill for it. And it's... It's quite a lot of money. I'm an AD dev. I don't make a huge amount of money at the end of the day. So I put it up as the donation goal whenever I'm streaming. And it sucks, man. It sucks. I didn't actually stream or work for 20 days. I think in this month, I, I maybe streamed five days total. When I normally stream six days a week, every week. And I, um, I just couldn't do it. Every time I sat at my computer, I just turned into like a ball of potato. Because she, come, she came up every day and got up into my lap and sat here while I was working. And now she doesn't. And that's it, you know? It just feels really bad. It just feels really bad, man. No, it sucks. It sucks. It really does. And it's, it's hard for me, too, because I had her for 18 years. She was a 20-year-old cat, but I had her for 18 years of her life. And I'm only 35, so that's more than half of my life. You know, I, I got her when I lived in Colorado before I joined the gaming industry I um my whole career at Blizzard my whole career at Amazon Game Studios working for the DOE making my studio everything you know it um everything she was there for everything you know and now she's not and it's it's tough it's really hard it's really hard I'll be okay, man. It's just... The thing is, is you don't... People always say, like, get over it, get over it. You'll get over it, it'll be okay. You'll be you'll be fine eventually. You won't. You don't ever get over it. You don't. You're different afterwards. And it's just... You just stay different. You know? You just... You stay different. And that's okay. It's It's fine to be different after something like that. But... You have to recognize that you're not the same. And I'm not the same. I'm different now. But that's all right. You know what I mean? Not going to be the same. And I think that's okay. Oh, I don't need to save there. Save. Yeah, it's one of the hardest things I've ever dealt with, too. You know, you... It's just rough. It's really rough. And it's funny, too, because I was telling myself for months, I was like... There's no way she survives this. Like, there's no way, because it was so awful. And then she did. And then she didn't. And it's just like, God damn it. Like, it's a complete roller coaster, man. Really messed me up. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really interact with my family either. Like, I, I talk to my dad and my grandma, and I think that's basically it. And, um... So my pets are like my family to me, man. So it just sucks 
It's like the worst it could be. It really is. So yeah, it's tough. It's super tough. Did that do a ton of damage to that? Oh, I guess it's doing the normal amount. We're good. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, most of the time I'm just trying not to, like, think about it, but dude, you just can't stop thinking about it. There's no way. Like, there's no way around it. So I'm just getting... I'm trying to get used to it. That's about it. And I was thinking the other day, I was like, man, what if I got, like, another animal, right? Like, what if I got, like, a, a cat or maybe a dog or something? Like, a more cuddly animal? Because the ferrets are awesome, but they're not cuddly. You know, like, they... <laughs> They're rabid. They want to go crazy, crazy all the time. And I kind of want to... I want another companion animal, you know what I mean? But I thought about doing it, and I was like, I'm not ready for that. There's no way. Like, I'm just not. No, you don't apologize for bringing it up. That's totally fine. People ask all the time, and I talk about this all the time. And to be honest with you, it kind of helps to talk about this stuff. I don't think it's, like, a bad thing at all. I don't think you've done anything wrong whatsoever. I think, like, legitimately, it's, it's something that I need to do. It helps a ton to just talk about this stuff. If you ever feel like you can't talk about, like, emotional stuff, like, you should definitely talk about it. Legitimately. It helps so much. At least for me, I found, you know. Lost your in-laws to COVID? That's rough, dude. I lost a lot of people to COVID. A lot of friends. And, yeah, it's just... It sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. What is tough to talk about at first become easier with time? I don't know if that's true... I don't know if it gets easier to talk about. It gets less emotional to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I, I'm less emotionally unstable when I talk about that stuff. But I don't think it's easier. I don't think it gets easier. It's kind of weird. It's a weird thing. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good cat. She was. She's the best, man. I missed. <laughs> F. Failed my own video game. Yeah, no, it sucks. It really sucks, dude. I'll be alright, though. It's gonna take time. Alright, I'm gonna put this off screen so you don't get spoiled. On this run, we throw the axe. Done. Ugh. <sighs> Now what for the dialogue? What, what could the dialogue for when you lose possibly mean? You mean, you were right. Your story isn't over, but his is. You mean that? Da -na 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 -na. Isn't that fight in the demo though? Why would that be a spoiler? Some people haven't played the demo yet. Some people are waiting for the game. And that's it. When your HP drops to zero, the glyphs? What about them, here is? Huh? Extended family of critters and fungus? Fungus is doing good. You don't like what the glyphs translate to? Yeah. It's kind of rough, isn't it, here is? It's almost done. Cutscene's almost there. Alright, now we can do this. We're good. Yeah, Yoko, I mean, it's just kind of how it is. If you don't like it, then I'm worried. Translate the glyphs. Alright, now we go to Animus. And we're going to go through Emilio's storyline. It doesn't matter which way we do Emilio, so I'm probably going to do the normal way, the positive way. Because I think that way is faster anyway. Hope it felt good. Enjoy this moment. Yeah, this is the new transition cutscenes, too, between the different environments. These are totally different now. I know, the out-of-order sign is almost done, dude. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. The YouTube streaming up is tough. I can't play you in the corner like I normally would. Oh, yeah, no, dude, their their whole interface is bad compared to Twitch. It is. Yeah, I like the new interaction between the worlds as well. I think it turned out really nice. Boop, 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 boop. Off he goes.
All right. Let's see here. Do 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 do. You can right-click the video twice and then choose picture in picture. What human being is ever going to right-click something twice? Double right-click? <laughs> what? I swear to God, YouTube is made by aliens. I really... YouTube is actually made by aliens. Legitimately. Negative ending with a tower, the next pre-world interaction, scary? Yeah. I like that interaction. A lot, actually. It's bright! It's bright and shiny. Wait, how many of you guys have actually interacted with all of these signs? Who here has done this? By the way, they have sign it, like, icons now. So that's cool. That's a thing. These have little sign icons. I just thought it was cool. Who named these? I mean, honestly, I did. I named them. Me. Actually, wait. I need to check to see if this one is a sign. Uh. There we go. Perfect. So all the signs are in there. This is good. I remember Shay making that sign, like talky, and it just, it just ruined him. Like he didn't know what he was doing. It was really funny. Bam! Socked in the face. Now here's something interesting. I felt the monster. Amelia, your head is harder than your hammer. This thing isn't a monster. I see. I made an error most grave. I'm fine. He didn't even hit me that hard. You see that line right there? That changes based on how well you've done in combat. If you've never been hit before, lore is way more shocked here. If you've died in combat, lore is like, it's not that big of a deal. I've had worse, trust me. There's all kinds of different lines based on how much damage you've taken. Anyway, I need to find Baron and get back home. Yeah, there's a ton of dialogue that changes like that all throughout the game. Try it. Try it sometime. Yeah, it's just small stuff. Small stuff everywhere. <sighs> Alright, now we got the pocket watch and we can start moving. Going from the demo, were you originally going to keep Lore knocked out after Emilio hit? Or is it only going to be from the demo so you could cut off the preview of Animus? That was only for the demo to cut off the preview of Animus. Originally. From the original demo, yeah. Anyone knows if there's an add-on or something? To have YouTube player... Oh, look, it's this thing again. Uh, YouTube player kind of maximized. Would chat still next to it? I have no idea. I don't know if there is. See that? See that weird bot? See that? I have to hide the user on this channel. See how its name is still there? Now I have to put the user in timeout, and it doesn't do anything. It's still there, and then I have to report them and be like, unwanted commercial content or spam, report. And like, the bot is still there. You can't see them? It actually deleted it for you? Good. That means that Nightbot is actually working. That's good. Good. Advantage for you this time? That means Nightbot is actually banning the account. Moderators can't do that, and I don't know why. Only Nightbot can. And we have no idea why that's happening. Emilio's big and he means the best, but he's also big and scary. Whap. Like that. He knocks you out. He hurt you again. Hurt him back. How do you feel, guys? He didn't mean to? Or you want to hurt him? He didn't mean to or you want to hurt him? Huh? Huh? Uh? Uh? I gotta be nice and a hurt him. You got two hurt him's. He didn't mean to. Two and two. He didn't mean to. Okay, we're gonna do he didn't mean to. First to three, dude. Also, watch this. New feature. Oh. You can actually just do that in the middle of anything. Kinda cool, right? Even in the middle of conversation. Hey. 
And if I have a controller plugged in, which I don't, it would switch to controller instantly. All right, so this should work now. Snapback works. Oh, have you not heard the sound before? Every character has their own voice. Each character has a voice. Yeah, and you can do this in the middle, so we can be like... If you want to. And it pulls everything from that room into it. Do 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 do. Do 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 Yeah, the opening effect is center in Laura, so if I'm standing out here, it goes whoop, yoop, and it comes out of his body, wherever his body is. Carries the best music of the game. Cut seems like this one where you follow them? What do you mean? This is not a cutscene. I'm walking around, man. Not a cutscene. Walking around. Should work. Good. Me and the homies love Theory? Dude, everyone loves Theory. Sort of every horror movie I've ever seen. Great. Mushroom horror. My favorite. Good. Did I get the Oh, I didn't get the I didn't get the graffitied whale. Fail, dude. Fail whale run. It's a fail well, dude. Alright, here we go. Amelia was hurt. Pretty obviously. Do we help him or not? Do we help him or do we not help him? You have to choose. Okay, I got three helps right in the way. Looks like he needs it. You just saved this whole man from getting deleted. You know that? You just saved him from... By the way, if you say you're going to hurt him and then you don't hurt him, then that changes things too. And if you say that you're going to help him and then you hurt him, that changes things too. If you say you're going to help him and you do help him, or you say you're going to hurt him and you do hurt him, see, there's all these different paths now. And that's how it works. From being deleted? Yeah, and Terry would have died. It would have been awful. You would have you watched Terry wither away in sadness. And that's not a joke. That actually, that would have happened. Yeah. You haven't played this chapter bad? Oh, it's bad. It's bad when you do it bad, dude. By the way, you see this? See this room? It's a fire flower from Mario. <laughs> Hidden fire flower. Are there achievements for all these? There's not achievements for each individual route. And the reason why I didn't do achievements for that is because I didn't want to force a player to take a particular route. Because um, they don't need to, right? It's not something they need to do. And I don't want them to have to do that to get all of the different achievements. There are achievements for different activities that are quite tough. But there's no achievement for a specific route only. Although there are achievements for difficult things inside of different routes. So it's kind of similar, but not the same. You know all the dialogue throughout the entire game that's like that? You'll see it. You always do in the end. You should probably pay attention to those. Look inside! Misery and Mania, my favorite characters in the game. Can't wait for the end of Animus. As you do the vignette effect, you're talking about the... the limb darkening around the sides? Limb darkening was quite easy to do. Yeah. Yeah, you're on YouTube today. You're an ad. You're in an ad. If you're talking about the limb darkening, it's actually just a radial circle that follows him, and that's it. And it's... Uh, white at the center, black at the edges, and then I replace white with transparency. That's it. <laughs> Don't 
Don't forget about me. Where are you? Wherever I like. Well, nobody said you could talk. Stop me then. I don't know how. Good. <laughs> oh. The artifact's the best, dude. Honestly, the best. My favorite. You're an ad now. That's the attack, yeah. Who needs to see the same thing twice? Okay, so... Storyline is done. We go back to Emilio now. We go talk to him. Alright. The final choice. Heard him. Fix your mistake. Do you play along and become the squire? Or no more games? Play along or no more games? Play along, no more games. Squire, squire, two squires, three. All right. This is the worst animation in the entirety of the game, but also the funniest to me. So watch this. Pathetic. I've completed our quest, my lord. <laughs> you have? I found this strange thing in the mines. A glorious turns of events, squires. Of course. Glad I could help. To the forge. This right here. There it was. That's... It's the worst animation of the game, but my favorite out of all of them. And it's because I didn't want to animate him getting out of bed, and I thought it would be funny to just do that, and it was. So that's just how it works. How did you do that? With gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy developer. He just flings, dude. He flings and he spins the whole time for no reason. I am in fact Thor. That's true. Keyword, keyword, keyword. Or am I? I am. I've got an axe. It's for you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Glorious. I can't fix the wood backing in the pocket. Much. However, burn most definitely can. She lives west of there. New time. See? Now he's happy. And when we come back in now, it'll just be like this all the time, and it's very happy and nice. And now Terry is happy about it. And by the way, you see that line where he says I wouldn't be around with him without him? Did you see that? He meant it. If you kill Emilio, Terry dies. And that's actually a timeline that you can do. If you're an awful person. Yeah. Yeah. The storyline is pretty forgiving, though. Why am I like this? Why are you like this? You're the one who did it. Sad boombox noises. So here's where we actually have to save it. So I'm going to save it here. And now we're going to treat this like we would like a normal run like a normal player from now on. Actually, no. We have to debug save inside the house. So we can get past this cutscene. Ignore all of this stuff. None of this matters. I'm rude. I got claws. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Being awful is better than being good in this game? I think that tells me more about you than it does you about me. You know? Like this. It's a little, a little rough. Hey, it works. Said you were throwing the axe away? I got the axe back. You get the axe back because Emilio makes you a new one. Debug save. So we're debug saving it here. The first thing we're going to do is we need to go to Rhodes, New... We have to test all four sides of this. So we're going to do this. She's in pain. Don't involve us. Uh, not my cougar, not my forest. I forgot I wrote that. That's quite funny. Yes, we're going to go with Rhode. I'm not scared. Why would I be afraid? You're on the internet. 
not afraid of the internet. I live in the internet. It's literally where I've, my whole life, dude, spent in this, this place, whatever this is. Let me go to my save file real fast, and we're going to allow it to be updated. There we go. Now we have to go do this whole thing. Am I doubting your existence? No, you definitely exist, but you exist in this confined space on the internet. So, dramatically less scary. Yeah. You love the little bird? Wait for this. Wait for this. What's this? What's this? What are you, little frogman? So you guys want to see a magic trick? You want to see a magic trick? Who wants to see a magic trick? <sighs> yes, lots of magic. All right. Check this out. There it is. You got that achievement, but did you see this? Because now he's there. Forever. In your menus. No matter where you are in the game. He's just... He's doing it. And when you click on him, when he's here... He makes frog noises. <laughs> yes? No, you didn't, because it's not out yet. That'll be in the next update. <laughs> also, when you save... That menu's not even out yet. When you save the environment... And we rest on the floor. When you go back to your bedroom, he's also there. Out behind the environment. Out behind your room, just flying around. There he goes. Off he goes. Little frog, dude. He told you he was going to show you a magic trick. He's doing a pretty good one, I think. You sent, you seen in the room? Yeah, no, he's everywhere, dude. Everywhere you are. I can't even click him. Why can't I click him? That's weird. There might be a bug. I think there's an offset bug. There is. There is an offset bug. One sec. Yep. There is an offset bug. Okay. Let's think about this. Let's go to the frog and we'll find out what's going on here. I need to debug save it here. We're going to close this. I'm going to turn my stream music back on and we're going to fix this bug before I forget about it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Spotify. Stream Deck. Spotify. Why are you not working? Oh, now you can work. Okay. Very cool. This is kind of weird. I wonder if it's like this. Um, let's go into global. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go ob settings frog. And this right here, left press click frog, that's the problem. Where's our camera currently? Did we click the frog? Mouse X minus cam X is object index. Play the sound. So that's not working. Increase frog clicks. So something is wrong. Minus cam X minus cam Y. Let's go to when we click on another button in here. I think it's going to be plus. I'm pretty sure it's a plus. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go grab Ob Settings menu. Or Ob Settings full screen. That'll be better. And we're going to go look at this. We'll say Ob Settings full screen. We instance create that at that location. But when the button index is I'm settings full screen, let's go grab this. And we'll look at this here. It's 
stop animating all of our buttons. If we hit accept, menu is now activated. So that is not correct. We need to actually look at this. Mouse X minus Cam X, mouse Y minus Cam Y. If the position meeting is over that, then it works. So what's gone wrong? Because it works fine for the buttons, but it's not working fine for this. Hmm. Next curse, next curse quest is replace the frog with Thor's face. Do it, dude. Do what you want. This is a little bit weird because I'm doing the exact same functionality. There's got to be something that I'm doing differently here. Um, yeah, there's 20 clicks on the frog. That's why I need to fix this. Something's wrong. Nice spring rolls and sweet sour sauce. Nice. I love spring rolls, man. Sweet sour sauce is the bomb. You know what I ate today? Hamburger. Actually, yesterday, I ate hamburgers. I took beef patty, like uh, like ground beef, and I mixed it with cumin and garlic and paprika and um, combined all that together and then smash burgered it. So I smashed it down real thin on the pan as, as thin as I could so it'd cook really fast and it'd, it'd like kind of crisp up and flip it over a few times and put a big thing of sharp cheddar on it I made burgers out of that, it was so tasty okay so let's see what's going on here I'm gonna open this and what I need to do is I need to These are working. So we'll leave this environment. We'll go out here and we'll go down. We mouse over this. That's working. And it's working perfectly. So why is that one not working? Why does he not work? That's really weird. Because his object should be working. We should be getting the offset between those two. So what's happening here? I wonder if this is not actually capturing left press. I wonder if left press has to happen when you left click. That may be the problem. You have to be left clicking on the object for this to fire. I bet that's what it is. I think I misunderstood how left press worked. So what we need to do instead is we need to actually find out if global.current menu. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. If we left click on this, made this into a, an actual button. What if we made the frog into an actual button? What if we did that? What if we did that? That might fix this, but I don't think I want to do it that way. Instead, I think we're going to make this into a step event. I think we're going to make it into a step event. And we're going to make it to be this, which is going to be global accept. Be all the ways down here, global accept key. So if we hit accept, there we go. Then we do this. And that should work. And then this is going to be changed into change event. And it's going to be step. And it's going to be probably begin step. It's going to be my guess. And we'll start this over. Making good progress in the Bebo sketch? Keep it up, dude. Do it. <sighs> you always could, Kingdom Con. The other one just wasn't hooked up. Now it is. So...
Yeah, it runs every frame. It's just checking to see if you press the accept button. That's all it is. So now, let's pause this music, and we're going to turn this back up. That one works still, so that's good. Oh. Obs controller settings cam X abort. Okay, so what went wrong there? Let's go take a look at this. Uh, where is our camera currently? Obs controller settings. Okay, since that's on begin step, we're going to say if instance exists, which is weird because that should actually be deleting it. That frog should not really be doing that. Actually, global accept key should be in there. Oh, this is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Let me think about this. Hmm. It's nice hearing me ramble about errors in the background. Yeah. It always is. So we're going to have to do this. We're going to take this in here. We're going to put this like this. We're going to do a check. Capture camera location. I'm going to say, does our settings controller exist? Which it should, but it doesn't for some reason. It means that the frog may be existing when it shouldn't exist, which would be stupid. So we take this and go cool, put that there. So now we check to see if the controller exists. Center's controller exists, and if it does, then we do global accept key, and then we pull information from the controller. Aha. Now we can try this. Always gotta check stuff. I mean, it's gonna break all the time, dude. Everything's gonna break. Isn't the frog in the bedroom? Might be a different object, though? Totally different object. Yeah, completely different object. Don't have to worry about that one. A magic trick powerful enough to bend your code. Yeah, that means what it is. That's what the frog is, man. 100%. Do you guys want to know something wild? My channel on YouTube is at 1.74 million views. I didn't realize that. That's kind of, uh... Kind of outrageous and eye-opening. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of views, dude. Okay, now we can pause this and... Doesn't crash anymore, that's good. It is a lot of views, huge amount of views. I'll go here and... Bug fixed. Oh. It works. Alright, fix that. On to the next. Are you a bug fixed? Yes. Finally caught up to you. Oh. Oh. Finally admit you're a robot? No, of course not. Definitely not. Not once, not ever. Now we gotta break Rhodes' heart. It's true. Chicken. Time to run after a chicken. I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail a whole bunch. In fact, I'm gonna fail so hard I'm not even gonna touch the computer. Astounding. Broke the egg, dude. Oh, that one turned into a chick. Lucky. I know, Acrux, it's weird seeing me on YouTube. I know it is. But, but, it is the better platform for some things right now. And eventually, it'll probably be the better platform for all things. That's it. Is this a fake camera fan like the forest cutscene? Yeah. 
Of course. Absolutely, dude. It's not infinite. It's fake. 100% fake. You can't unsee it now that you know? That's what part of becoming a game developer is. Yeah. They just gotta overhaul the mobile chat? No, they gotta overhaul all chat. Like, the PC chat is also terrible. Legitimately. And the idea of top chat is like... That needs to go away. It's trash. Like, you're already better. Now watch this. You see that face right there? I wanna show you something. I want, to I want you to I want you to see where this came from. All right. So when I was talking to Shay, I was like, "There's a face that I need you to make of Lore." And he's like, "Okay, what's the face?" And I was like, "Wolverine of the Beach." And she's like, "What are you talking about? Like, what the hell do you mean?" I was like, "Wolverine of the Beach." And I couldn't remember who it was that played Wolverine. And then I realized it was Hugh Jackman. I was like, "Hugh Jackman of the Beach." And he's like, "Dude, what? What?" And I was like, "And I had to go find it. Right? It's this. This is the face." Hugh Jackman whipped his hair so hard trying to get water off of his face at the beach while a paparazzi took a photo of him that his skin moved like like a sock and this image is Lore's face now that's literally the inspiration for this face is Hugh Jackman whipping his face like a glove at the beach dude like he whipped his face so hard that his lip is coming up like his nose is bent from it. Like, how do you... He's got to be an alien. But that's where the face came from. That's what it is. So enjoy that. That's yours now. Yeah, from sheer torque, dude. Like, his face... I, I can't even... There's no way I could do that. Just... And his, like, face is going, dude. Outrageous. Playing the game, knowing all these kind of things is going to make it so much better. Good. Chicken smugness. Originally it said chicken sass, but I didn't think it was funny. I didn't think it was as funny as chicken smugness, so I changed it to this. Okay. So now, you're wasting time. She doesn't care about you. We're going to take one of the bad options. We're going to say, no, I don't want to hang out with Rude. They're just a pawn. They aren't real. So Rhodes gonna be like, ah. Well, that's cool too. See you around, I guess. Sadness. Are they real? I don't know, are they? When has the artifact ever lied to you? Oh look, it's Misery and Badia. Oof, that hurts. It's even funnier when you say yes and she says the same thing and then goes, wait a minute. Good. Bad choices break your heart. They're about to break hers, though, so... That's fine, right? You know, one of the things that I really like about making this game is this. You see, the bad choices make you hurt, right? They make your heart hurt. Did you know that there's other choices like this one? Where not making a decision is actually the decision? Did you know that sometimes waiting is a choice in and of itself? Because it is. Yeah. Yeah, Jake. Watch. Oh. There's a couple of these throughout the game. Not making a choice is also a choice. Even when you feel like you don't have a choice, you do. Yeah. Yeah. And they remember that when you do that, by the way. Yeah, there's others. There's others like that. Most of them are in Animus. Okay, so... Debug save. Let's see if this works. Is 
Is everything all right? No, it's soft locked. <laughs> okay, let's see what went wrong. Oh, step one fail. Okay, so this is going to be Obj Deerbridge Tonker Road. Handle conversation. Excuse me. Handle handle conversation. Are you going to open? Are we stupid now? What's what's going on here? Is it just mad? What is happening? You know what? I bet it's open another window. Uh, because it's open another window, it's mad. Let's go all the way back up here, and we're going to look for this section here. Next, current message is two. Handle dialogue intro. This is wrong. This should be two, and this should be 32. Potato mode. Okay, so that one is done. Now we're going to create, and this is going to be 31. That's exactly what it was. Let's do it again. Do you know that Twitch Thor has a birthday today? Only Twitch Thor. Are you saying that now that I'm on YouTube on Fridays, I've escaped the birthdays every Friday? Hmm. Hmm. No, the song wasn't. The song wasn't taken from the sounds of Seinfeld. We used the same instruments. Percolator, thank you for the five bucks. Hello, Fake Thor. Nice Did you know that Twitch Thor has a birthday today? I am planning on surprise him Saturday. Don't tell him. Okay, oh. he going be shocked. What? What if the Twitch Thor is the fake Thor? What if... What if the Twitch Thor is the fake Thor, huh? By the way, did you see this yet? Uh, something about that vibration noise feels good in my bones. Like in my, my ear bones. Uh, what if I'm the real Thor and he's the fake Thor? What if both of them are fake, and I'm, like, an AI from the future? You can somehow feel that sound? Exactly. So yeah, oh hey, I was hoping to run into you. Let's see if this works. A nice fade. A good drop. Right? Well, yeah, at least I hope so. Uh, now, Rhodes had a bad time here. This works perfectly. We're good. So, what's in your mind? I'm not good at this kind of thing. What kind of thing? This is where we don't have facial expressions. You know, don't worry about it. I'm going to say don't worry about it. And then I'm going to say it's probably nothing. And we have to do facial expressions for all of these because they don't have facial expressions yet. Yeah, don't worry about it. You sure? I said don't worry about it. That's wrong faces. Alright then. I'll uh... See you around. She's gonna say I guess at the end of that. And she didn't leave. So we're gonna fix the... Her not leaving problem. Why didn't she leave there? Let's go look at the source on this. We're going to find out what went wrong there. But we're building the cutscene. It's happening. Whoop. We can turn the game off because it is now softlocked. So let's go find out why it's softlocked. So we're going to go to Bad Path. Bad Path is here. Fern leaves. Deerbridge. Obj Deerbridge Fern right. So let's go open up Obj Deerbridge Fern right. And that's alarm zero. That is not the right alarm. Uh, we're going to do alarm eight on that one. Yeah, alarm eight is the issue. So that's fixed on that one. The other thing I have to do is start adding facial expressions to this. So let's go give Talky Road. I'm going to open up Talky Road on the enums for the facial expressions. We're going to pull this over here. And I'm going to look for Road's actual facial expressions on this. Ta-da! Look how many facial expressions Rode has. Rode has a lot of facial expressions, dear God. Let's see. We're gonna have... Let's look at Nervous. I think I want to do Nervous when she's like, you know... 
don't worry about it. And Nervous is percent six. And we're going to have her be kind of sad. Is that the right one? No, we just want her to be sad. Not really sad, but sad. Five. There we go. She just looks kind of depressed. Percent five. And then Fern is going to say, are you all right? And when Fern says this, we're going to look for her confused face. And Fern is kind of smug, silly when she's confused. So we're going to do confused face there. That'll work. And do percent seven on that one. And then we're going to look at, yeah, don't worry about it. That's five. Fern is going to do, you sure? And then Rhodes is going to say, yes. That's the wrong kind of nervous. We need the, the scared nervous. Do we have a scared face? Do we have a scared face anywhere? I don't think we have... What is 16? 16 is really sad. Yeah, we'll just do that one. I think that one's really good for this. Trying to match the emotions for all this stuff with existing sprites is quite fun. I really enjoy this. Percent 10 on that one. Percent 10 on this one. Put a new, new line on that one. 16 on Fern on that one. What is Rhodes face? Rhodes face for this. We don't want to have 11 there. 11 doesn't make any sense. That's the talky crying. Let's look at crying on this and see if it's the right one. Yeah, but we need we need like really crying. Where's really crying? Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Oh. What is this one? Oh, no, that's that's what she got beat up. I don't think I have a really crying. I think I only have a crying, which is not good. Because that means Shane needs to make a new face. So we'll have a red box there until it gets made. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do a 27th face for Road. It's gonna be like ugly crying, you know? So we're gonna do percent 27 on road because she has 27 facial expressions. And we need to do not angry, but fangs. I think it's gonna be fangs is gonna be the one. Yeah, percent 14. She's lashing out there. We need to make the text shake. We need to make the text shake. And yeah, there's a blush in there. So you got a blush face. Uh, blush face. What's the distorted one? Oh, that's this one. That's when everything goes wrong. That's when everything goes wrong. We need a character who's just a red box. Making a face. Yeah, his name is his name is Oscar. He exists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna have the fangs face when she says, I said don't worry about it, and it's gonna be shaking. So I gotta do I gotta do the shaking dialogue. So I'm gonna pull this over here and we're gonna look at shaking dialogue. I forget when the text shakes what the symbol is supposed to be, and I'm pretty sure it's wiggly and something else. So I need to go pull the object for it. Because I don't remember. I don't remember which one it actually, you know what? I have a way of pulling it. Let's go to here. We're gonna go close the sprites. Actually, we're gonna open the sprites. We need to have road, talky, and we can make a new one. And the new one has to be duplicated. And we're gonna say sprite, road, talky, really crying. We'll pull that one. We're gonna go grab it in here. We don't need these because this is the wrong thing. 
we don't need this, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna dump this over there, and now we're good, so that one's finished. And I'm gonna message Shay, and I'm gonna say, hey, I need this. What is this? Where is she? Need a really crying or road. Okay. Yeah, it's Oscar, dude. There he is. That's how it works. good. Why do I have all these different messages? Stream chat is good. Live stream on YouTube via Xbox. Nice. I have all these ads right now from all this stuff going on. Oh my god, why? Why is Twitch doing all this stuff, man? I'm, I'm losing it. Twitch is a meme, dude. What they do now? This elevator chat thing. How many of you guys were here when I talked about this earlier? Twitch is literally implementing super chats. They're called elevator chats now. Or elevated chats. It's it's literally super chat. But if you pay a hundred dollars, your message goes on stream for two minutes and thirty seconds. I love how my new manager gets yelled at. Oof, dude, that sucks. Micromanaging you and it's not working because they don't care at this point. Done ranting, fake Thor. Wow, dude. Thank you for the five bucks. That's very nice of you. But yeah, this is new to to Twitch. Thank you for the five bucks. Seriously, that's very nice of you. You don't need to I do that. I love how cool. my new manager gets yelled at. It now works. she's micromanaging me. And it's not working because I don't care at this point. Done ranting, fake Thor. That's pretty good. I'm glad it works. But seriously, thank you. Like, very much. $5 is a lot of money. You're really nice, dude. So yeah, Elevate Your Message is this new thing on Twitch. Um, you pay $5 for 30 seconds. But here's the thing that gets me. $5 for 30 seconds, or $100 for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Why wouldn't I just pay $5 five times to have the same message up for 2 minutes and 30 seconds for $25 instead of paying 100 You know. I'm glad to see that Twitch can do math. That's, um... You know, it's, it's really... Seems to be working out for them. Mind-boggling to me, dude. You could also just, you know, be like me and I'm just gonna disable that feature because I think it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm just gonna be super honest with you. Um, I'm just gonna disable that. Yeah. I'm just gonna disable it. <sighs> That's how it's gonna work. They can't math? It's true. You think a hundred bucks gets you half an hour on here? I'm pretty sure it does. Let me actually go look at this. If you send a super chat, and we go mouse over this, a hundred dollars puts your message up on stream for an hour here. A hundred dollars is an hour, Super Chat. Cool, Twitch. Two minutes and 30 seconds. What a feature. What a feature, dude. A hundred dollars for two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm actually going to put that with it.
Outrageous to me, dude. Uh, YouTube needs to fix their clip feature? I haven't seen a problem with it. What's wrong with it, Maggie laughs? Because other people have used it and it seemed to work fine. I deleted the original VODs for being on here because they weren't doing super well. Like, they were, like, mostly just me bitching about Twitch, to be honest with you. So I deleted those and I deleted all the clips, too. It just didn't work? Really? Yeah, I tried again because other people have done it and it worked for them. Yeah. I know other people have done it and it worked for them because we, we had clips last time. And unfortunately, when I delete the, the source video, it deletes all the clips as well, which is kind of interesting. A little bit strange. I'm going to head off and work on some stuff. All right, dude, you have a good one. Yeah. Let me get this uh, new face hooked up. The face. Face Cerrito needs to be hooked up. Dude, I can't. Twitch is a meme. Twitch is like 10 memes. I don't understand what the hell they're doing. It's outrageous to me. It's funny, too, because I complain about them even more when I'm streaming on Twitch. Like, <laughs> like me streaming over here doesn't make me bitch more. I, I absolutely bitch more on Twitch, which is funny. Because I'm actively, like, in the poop soup that they've created when I'm streaming on there. Twitch is 10 memes under one clown hat? That is offensive to clowns. All right. Do not compare Twitch to clowns. It's They're far beyond that now. There's some other kind of entity. Maybe mimes. Because I hate mimes. I'm just going to be honest with you. Twitch has pure mime energy, dude. 100%. Creepy and ineffective. Mime energy. Hate it. <laughs> Try the clip feature on YouTube right now and it sucks. Lose my point in this live stream. And I get the clip UI instead of two separate tabs? Yeah, I don't know how it works. Someone said it was really good the other day. I think it was Olga. Wasn't having a problem with it. So if you guys talk to Olga, maybe they know? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Potato basking by, I cannot see your link. You'll have to send me a link on Discord. I don't know why. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know, dude. I don't... I'm liking Twitch less and less over time. YouTube obviously isn't ready yet. You know, we've got all these weird problems and this weird stuff, and it sucks. But, um, Twitch is, uh, Twitch is really sucking, man. It really blows. And it's become more and more of a problem. And I, I just wish it wasn't, frankly. I really wish it wasn't. You don't lose your point in live stream? When you finish the clip, it goes right back to where you fell off, so you can catch up. Really? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, being able to rewind is really cool. I make sure to turn that on. It's called, there's a setting called like DVR or something like that, so that you can rewind on the live stream. Yeah, it does feel incomplete. I think that it it's because it is, right? Like, their live stream UI stuff is not really all there just yet. Exactly. I, I want YouTube to get good because Twitch is turning into a dumpster fire, and that's, that's completely the case, right? So like, Twitch is actively just imploding and I just don't get it man I, I really just don't get it no perception are you gonna be that guy that guy that like turns everything into politics come on man get out of here <laughs> cut that out yeah I mean like I, I just don't I just don't think Twitch is going the right direction that's it I think that what they're doing sucks I'm, I'm really disappointed in them I don't like the direction they're going I don't like what the platform is. I don't like the way that it feels. I don't... And, you know, the thing is, is I know that Twitch staff feel the same way. Because otherwise, their VP of, of creator, you know, stuff would still be there. Like, here, let me go pull this up. Twitch VP leaves. What was her exact title? Twitch creator chief. The senior vice president of global creators at Twitch left the same day that they announced the, the changes to pay. The senior vice president of global creators at Twitch. That's one hell of a job, right? That's one hell of a job. Did you get Bajo? See the clip? You tried to get Bajo? Oh, F. The clip tech is awesome. You can go anywhere in the stream, but it's not easy in and out as in on Twitch. Yeah, but here's the difference. 
Do you want to know something really, really weird? This is the difference. Clips on Twitch do nothing. They do nothing. When you make a clip, the only time that it does something is when that clip is turned into a short and then put on YouTube. I'll give you an example. I had a clip on Twitch get 200,000 views. I had a video on YouTube get 100,000 views. How much money did the clip make? How much ad revenue did the clip generate? Seven dollars. How much ad revenue did the video generate? Four hundred and thirty dollars. If that clip was up on YouTube, I could have potentially made four to six hundred dollars. Do you see how that's ridiculous? Like, that is absolutely, insanely ridiculous. You're allowed to share this information? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. I've talked about it on Twitch, too. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not talking about splits. I'm talking about specific amounts that I've received from specific videos. No one can stop me from doing that. And I think that's ridiculous, man. I think that's actually ridiculous. Do you get the same amount from shorts and clips? A short, a clip doesn't make anything. A short is when it's on YouTube. Shorts are monetized. They make money. Clips are on Twitch. They don't get you basically anything. They pay you effectively nothing. And they don't really roll over to anything on the channel in any way, like new followers or anything like that. Yeah. It's it's mind-boggling. I guess you haven't been here for this, Olga. I've talked about the full breakdown of, of income on Twitch, income on YouTube, how those incomes actually work, percentages, exact values, everything. I've been doing this for a year now. So. I heard a streamer earlier share what his offer was. Not just what he got, but options he was offered. Yeah, no, that's totally a thing. If you don't sign a contract saying you can't, you can't talk about those things, then you can talk about those things. And that's it. I talked about that stuff because I didn't sign a contract saying I couldn't. Clipping makes you come back where you left on Twitch, but the stream goes on. You can still watch, listen, behind on live moments. That makes sense. That makes sense. You'd have to fast forward through it. You'd have to play it like double speed or something weird, right? Hello mods, I hope you guys are good. Yeah, there's two mods in here. Magical Star and Maggie Laughs. And you better be on your best behavior. Something has changed in the last few years, or Twitch's last night with their death grips and contracts? No, nothing's changed. I'll give you an example, right? You know Twitch has exclusivity? Did you know that Linus Tech Tips actually was streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time? Never got banned. Twitch has always been the same. They don't enforce 90% of what they have in the contract. And what they have in the contract is not as scary as what a lot of people think. The only thing they really had was death grips on percentages that were non-standard. The non the standard percentages were always out there. That 50, 60, 70%, the 50, 50%, all that stuff was always out there. The individual contracts of 70, 30%, those you weren't allowed to talk about. And they had it secret until they announced it to everyone in the world. Which is really funny. It's really funny. So like they didn't even enforce the like no multi streaming rule, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test it, right? Like this is my full time gig. I'm not gonna do that. I only talk about the stuff that I know I'm allowed to talk about, and I bash Twitch right to Twitch's face all the time. There's constantly wrenches in my chat over on Twitch, and I tell them straight up, I'm like, your company is screwing up, and a lot of the times they respond with, you're right, it sucks, and I'm like, it's not your fault, man. You're just a, an employee, but what your bosses are doing is idiotic. And that's it. Like, I'm super public about this stuff. I'm very, very public about it. I've always been that way. I've been that way for probably over a year at this point. Probably over a year. And I've been streaming for five years, so. Yeah, no, that, that's every night, though, Perception. 
every single night. I have a number of different Twitch staff that will actually come to my stream and watch the stream. Sometimes they, they chime in on it, sometimes they don't. But I'm always going to be public on this stuff because I think it's outrageous, frankly. I really do. And it doesn't put me into any danger. If Twitch bans me for talking about things I'm legally allowed to say, they're going to look like jackasses. You know? And I'm just going to move here. And I'll do this. <laughs> that's kind of a... That's the whole thing, right? Yeah, they often respond with, yeah, I know, and they're sad. And they're, they're right about it. In fact, you know, I've had them come in there sometimes and just bash Twitch themselves because they're pissed. And they vent about it. And it makes sense. Like... I'm going to be real. Yeah, you said Ludwig gave Susan a thorough roasting to her face and things significantly improved. That's good. Because that's the thing, man. Like, if you can't talk about the problems in these things, they're never going to get better. They're not. And you want to know something? I talked about the problems with peer-to-peer. -peer. Remember that? When Twitch was going to do the peer-to-peer -peer thing in South Korea? I talked about the problems in peer-to-peer. -peer. I put my foot down on that. I said, this is absolutely, absolutely dangerous for your viewers. And I've been in offensive security for 19 years so I can make that I can make that claim and I can back that claim up with facts and I did on my stream for weeks and you know what they did they got rid of the feature they not only got rid of the feature they retracted the help page for it it's gone they deleted it so like the more that people like me say things like that that say don't do this this is idiotic the more of a chance we have to actually change the thing. If no one says anything, they're just going to keep running the train into a wall, you know? And that's it. Can't name it and talk about it, you'll be stuck forever. Exactly. If there is a problem, say something. That's it. And that doesn't mean they'll listen to you. It doesn't mean they'll do the right thing. But you said something, and that's it. And I'm always going to say something. I'm never going to shut up, dude. Never going to... You can't shut me up if you wanted to. You like trains? Good. I also like trains. <laughs> trains are kind of cool. It's true. Oh, but no, really though, like, I think Twitch is going into a brick wall brick wall right now, and I think they're absolutely, absolutely, they've lost their way. Gotta give them a bit of respect for occasionally listening. Not really. And the reason why is this, right? I wanted to make a game dev category on Twitch. We wanted to have a home for game developers on there because we were trapped in science and technology. And science and technology was not searchable at all. It was awful. It took me eight months of campaigning. It took me emailing tons of Twitch staff. It took me reaching out on Twitter for eight months of doing this. It took the top voted thing of all time on user voice for Twitch to finally take notice after eight months. And the whole time it was doing this, they knew about it the whole time. And then they finally made a category. Do you want to know how long it takes to make a category on Twitch? Do you want to know? It's going to make you laugh. Let me show you. Let me, sh let me show you something. There's a website called IGDB. This is owned by Amazon, by the way. If you want to put your game on Twitch, you put it on IGDB. And when you put it on IGDB, like this, it automatically becomes a category on Twitch. That's how long it takes to make a category on Twitch. You put your game on IGDB, and it becomes a category on Twitch, usually within 48 hours. It took them eight months. Public outcry for eight months. Tons of viral videos, people screaming all over the internet, for them to do a five-minute job. Literally. A five-minute job that a third party can do through their own website that they own. So I'm telling you, I do not respect them. <laughs> I don't. I don't respect them for that. That is a five-minute job. Not an eight-month wait for massive amounts of public outcry and tons of drama. That is a five-minute job. It's outrageous to me, dude. It is, it is honestly outrageous to me. Yeah. Discuss them. Thanks for reminding me that I have to update my IGDB page. Do it. Or you won't get a, you know, category on Twitch. That's how it is. But yeah, man, like, that's that's one of the things where it's like, they, they could have just done that. They knew. Like, I understand not doing it immediately because, you know, it wasn't that big of a draw. But after three months, the ball had been rolling. People had been spamming it everywhere. There were viral clips with hundreds of thousands of views. People making stuff and, and contacting Twitch and, and making a massive commotion. 
It was huge at about three months, and they ignored it for another five. Why? Because they're slow. They're like a giant boat that takes forever to turn. And then when they do turn, they turn in the wrong direction now. So it's like, god damn it, dude. You don't have to turn in the wrong direction. You could be any other way. Oh yeah, no, development stuff is super fun. I really enjoy it, man. Saw higher ups who ignored it, which is kind of terrible. Bingo. Okay, so... I need to open my scripts. And we have to go pull the voiceover stuff for this. All these sprites. Sprites everywhere. Scripts, there we go. I gotta close some of these folders. It's getting a little messy. A little cluttered. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Shut up, fake Thor. I refuse. I'll never shut up. You couldn't shut me up if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> How's YouTube financial so far? YouTube's actually fantastic, and here's the reason why, right? So let's take a look at YouTube's new cheer coin feature. Or oh, no, not YouTube. Twitch's new cheer coin feature that we're calling cringe coin, right? So Twitch actually has a system right now called Bits. And bits costs a dollar and forty cents to get a hundred bits. hundred bits equals one dollar, right? Found my nemesis in the wilds? Nice. So this gives you $1 to the streamer. And there's no payment processing taken out of this side. It's taken out of the 40 cents that Twitch takes. Now, for cringe coin, as we call it, otherwise known as cheer coin, they pay $1. And when they pay $1, the streamer is supposed to lose 20% off the top of that to Twitch. Which means they'd get 80 cents, right? Right? You see, then Twitch takes the payment processing fees out of the streamer's side. And they keep that 20% without taking payment processing fees out of their side. The streamer gets about 58% of your donation under the new system that is replacing bits. 58%. Very cool. On YouTube's side, do you know what it is? 70... 30. While Twitch is taking 50-50 for subs, YouTube gives 70-30. While Twitch locks you into 5, 10, or, 50, or $25, YouTube lets you change it to any value you want. If you notice, the memberships over here are only $3. I set that value. I set it to $3, and here's the reason why. If you pay $5 on Twitch, because of the 50-50 cut, and then they take the processing fees out of the streamer's side, I get about $2.30. If you pay $3 on YouTube, because it's a 70% cut, I get about $2.10. You're paying $2 less, and I'm only losing 20 cents. That's a better deal for you. So why wouldn't I do that? That... That is why YouTube is better. That right there is the best. And on top of it, I have up-to-the-minute analytics during the stream. I can see everything that's going on, what all the chat revenue is, everything in real time. All your guys' chat rate, how many people are talking, everything that's going on is live in real time on this monitor. On Twitch, you don't get that. You get a report at the end of the stream. That means I can change things. I can interact differently based on live analytics. Do you know how good that is? That's awesome. What do they take the 20% for? I mean, I understand it's for upkeep. Upkeep includes your costs. They take the 20% because they can. That's why they're taking the 20%. That's why they're taking it. There's, they're not using it for transaction fees. That's coming out of my side on Twitch. So what can you see in the live stats? I can see all the analytics for concurrent viewers. Um, I can pull chat rate, views, viewer activity, stream health, stream settings, everything. All this stuff. Any stuff that you would want to see as a streamer to understand how your stream is doing, how many people are watching, what people are engaging with it. And the part that's really cool about this is, watch this. Let me show you this. You can see it in real time. Watch this. You can see the graph as you go. This is the stream. So I know exactly at what time of day more people are signing in. 
I know exactly when people in the community are falling off. I know exactly what's happening. Like, if I'm not being entertaining for whatever reason or I'm not interacting enough, I can see in real time that the viewership is going up and down based on what I was doing. And then later, I can go look at my own video, see how I was doing on that video, and go, wow, I wasn't talking to people very much, and they started leaving. Maybe I should talk to people more. This is only valuable. This is only good when you're trying to stream. This is how you get better. I can't get that on Twitch. <laughs> It's outrageous, man. You get that at the end of the stream. You can't do it in real time. The amount of data is insane, dude. YouTube has the financial systems and the backend systems. They just have crappy user interface. That's it. That's all it comes down to. The UI is bad. Everything else is amazing, but the UI is bad. And I think when they get that UI working, man, when it doesn't suck anymore, oh, man, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good, dude. I assume it's great just for starting out streamers and assuming they can interpret the data. Yeah, it's good for everybody. It's good for everybody. More, like, the thing is, is as a streamer, more analytics is always better. The more information you know, the better you can do this kind of a thing. And that's it. That's all it comes down to. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize is, like, you can't just click the camera on. You have to click the camera on after you think about what you're going to do, you have to click the camera on. After you, you know, know how to interact with people, you learn that stuff over time. It is a learned skill that takes a while, you know? It's a learned skill and it takes a while. And I think it's something that people don't get. Google does do a lot of analytics. I know. It's Google versus Amazon. But here, if you guys want to know the real, the real center of all of this, to be honest with you, this is the, this is the real, the whole the whole entire enchilada, right? All at once. This is the important thing. What is Google? What is Google? And what is Amazon? Google is an ad company. Amazon is a shipping company. That's what it is. YouTube is an ad delivery system. That is what it is. YouTube is an ad delivery system and Google is an ad company. Twitch is an ad delivery system and Amazon is a shipping company. Twitch does not align with Amazon's core goals as a business. YouTube aligns with Google's core goals as a business which means Google is always going to pour more effort into YouTube than Amazon is into Twitch. And that's it. That is the entire enchilada, dude. No? Why would I stream on that? Gross, dude. <laughs> oh my god, why you like this? But that's what it is. That's all it is, you know? And when YouTube catches up, Twitch is done. YouTube is Google's primary source of income? I don't know if it is. It might be. I could see that being the case because Google is an ad company and YouTube is one of the most powerful ad delivery systems in the world, if not the most powerful. And that's it. So, like, I think that's something to keep in mind, like, seriously, is what is what is the direction of the business? Amazon's a, a shipping company. Care about Twitch. If only people would use an advertising platform to make advertising videos. Hmm. Like YouTube, you know? What stupidity did you miss today? Not much. Not much stupidity. I've been fixing some cutscenes. That's been fun. We were complaining about Twitch a little bit. That was also fun. I do like complaining about Twitch. It is enjoyable to me. Mostly because it gets the stress out, man. Like, I don't think you guys understand how stressful it is to, like, have your boss come to you and be like, Hey, buddy. So... I know that I hired you on full-time, that's why you're a partner, um, and you weren't allowed to work anywhere else to grow in any other direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so you can work for my competitors, but not at the same time as me. You can go stream on YouTube if you like, but just not at the same time you stream on Twitch. And I'm going to pay you less. Also, we're going to take all of our current monetization features and we're going to turn them inside out so you don't know if you're going to be making enough money to pay your rent anymore. You're welcome. See you around.
That's that's what Twitch is doing right now. They're paying you less and letting you work for the other guy. And then expecting you to feel good about it. That's scary as hell, dude. And it sucks. It's exactly what it is. It's your boss coming to you and saying, I'm going to let you work for other people and also pay you less. <laughs> also, I'm going to change the entire business model of our whole business at the same time, so I don't even know if the business is going to be around in a month. But, you know, there we go. Yeah. Mr. Twitch, I don't feel so good. Why you have to diversify your platforms? Before exclusivity was removed in the way that it was on Twitch, we weren't allowed to. As a streamer, I couldn't, right? Because I'm a partner streamer. I've been a partner streamer for five years. I Normally on our Twitch streams, I have like 300, 350 people on every stream. And like, I couldn't leave. I wasn't allowed to. And now I'm allowed to. Because here's the thing. What would have happened if Twitch dropped that payment and then said exclusivity is still there? You know what would have happened? Everyone would have dropped their partnerships. They would have left. But because Twitch left exclusivity off the table, they've removed it now, and then said, we're also going to pay you less, no one's going to drop their partnership because they don't have to. That's how that's going to work. And that's a meme, dude. That's not good. It's actually really negative. It's very bad. Got to get into the ground floor, I guess. What ground floor, dude? Oh, for MLM? Why are you like this? If you aren't a partner, you still can't? That's not true. That's not true. For affiliates and for partners, it actually says so on the FAQ, you can stream on YouTube and then drop it and stream on Twitch. You just can't stream on both at the same time. Read the FAQ. The YouTube would buy on Twitch? No. I don't think that's how that would go. I remember Jack Septicai saying the reason he was allowed to stream on both is on one platform it was gaming and the other was just talking and that was a loophole that worked. I don't know if that's true or if he had a contract with Twitch that allowed him to stream on both. Because Jack Septicai is a very big name on YouTube and he does stream on Twitch every once in a while. So I'm guessing there's some lawyering that happened there because we weren't allowed to do that as normal as normal partners. What are you working on this time, Therino? I am making this cutscene very devastating to people when they go down this route. So, now, if you go down the route where you went to lunch with Road and you were a jerk face, there is different dialogue. Why is the first scene getting a bed required for debug purposes? That's the save room. The When you leave that room, it actually initializes the world based on all the things that are in your room. <laughs> You remember it being a thing a few years ago? No, it's always been a thing. Exclusivity has always been a thing. Like, I've been partnered for five years. I was an affiliate for like a year before that. It is, it has always been a thing that we had exclusivity and we weren't allowed to stream on other platforms. The only difference now is you're not allowed to stream simultaneously. We can't simulcast, we can't multi-stream, any of that kind of stuff. But now we're allowed to stream on other platforms, like YouTube. Uh, you can multi-stream to things like TikTok Live for some reason. But I wouldn't do that, because it's weird. So. <laughs> there it is. Not gonna make that shake. Uh, what is the shaking for that one? I think the shaking is wiggle text, but it's like two. It's wiggle text, but two. We're gonna go pull that out of the other dialogue. We need that to shake violently, angrily, and I need to pull it out of dialogue from Act Three, Dark World, Enus. Road Judge. And then scroll down here. And I think it's Wiggle Text 8. I'm pretty sure it's Wiggle Text 8. We'll try that again. The code is brr. It's doing it, dude. It's going. 
No, affiliates have basically the same rules. When you sign on for an affiliate, you're still... Like, they just don't enforce it. That's the difference. You can do this stuff. They just don't enforce it. Like, you should read your affiliate contract. Here, watch. FAQ. Twitch. Uh, FAQ. And Twitch. And exclusivity. Partner exclusivity. Da -da -da -da. Partners and affiliates are allowed to create live content on other platforms. This means that you have more flexibility in how to explore it. Partners and affiliates. And affiliates. And affiliates. The rest of it says majority of partners, but it's partners and affiliates. There you go. I'll link this to you guys. That's super important. Really important to understand. Unless they've changed affiliate contracts, which I don't believe they have, it does say that directly in the FAQ, and I think that's, that's really important to know. If you're ever going to sign a contract, definitely read the whole thing. 100%. Definitely read it. Because when I first signed my affiliate contract, it was, do not stream elsewhere. You live here now. We own you. And that was it. If you type a sentence and put a smiley in the end of it, it kills the message. Okay, that's really weird workshop. I think I want the dialogue to be going or the music to be going until that moment. Needs to go a little bit farther. Okay, that looked weird, but that was doing the thing that I needed it to. We're doing it. It's working. Slowly, but surely. think about this. It's not done yet, Harris, as you noticed. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of facial expressions that are wrong, characters are not turning the right ways, all kinds of stuff need to happen. So that's done for that. And the flower crown landed in the wrong spot, all kinds of things. Let's go find the flower crown for this. When this gets created, flower crown bad, path ended, We create this. We say ob instance change to ob deer bridge crown floating. Does this set the value to something else? Who who went to lunch? Vernon Road. That's got to be switched. That's what it is. Okay, so. Uh, no matter what it's going to be on the left side. No matter what. So if it's Fern, it's going to be at 780, and it's always going to be at 780. Because in the sad way, yeah, it's always going to be 780. <laughs> How do you make text move? It's game maker function? Oh, that's full custom, dude. Everything got ba made by me for that. It's an entire framework that I made, and if you look at this, it works on a system of flags. So this right here causes all the text that comes after it to do shaking text. This right here causes all the text after this to have Rhodes' 14th expression on that text. Like, 
Everything that you're seeing on that is custom. Game Maker Studio is mostly an empty box. It's a big empty box. That's it. I think Road needs to do more emotion on this on the actual body. So in Talker Road, when we do the dialogue here, go pull this up. Game Maker Studio, where are you? There we are. We're going to pull this up. This is actually the, the cutscene for this. Yeah, it's all custom, man. What I want to do is road on the left is the one that's important here. We're going to turn road upwards. We do all this kind of stuff. Walk home, walk home. Road on the left never walks home. Not in that way anyway. This is going to be gone. We don't need this anymore. Anim step three is going to be gone. Yeah, we won't need that. Because... That'll be road on the left. We went up and need to turn right. So that only happens... I'll just leave it for now. It's not even a big deal. We'll clean that up later. Because it's not actually a bug. Hey, Parko, what's up? So what I need to do here is basically we need Road to look a little bit more emotive. And the way that I'm going to do that is we're going to look through this dialogue real fast. And we're going to find out where I can make that happen. So when Road says, "Don't," I said, don't worry about it. And that's 52. Line 52 here. I think I want to change her model. We're going to go look at her different sprites. We're going to say Act 3 under Characters. No, it's going to be in Animations here. And we're going to look at Special. And we're going to look at... Breakdown. This one. We're going to have her do that and then Shake. And then I'll play this one in Reverse so she comes back out of it how that's going to go. So we're going to have to do shake and then come back out of it. And then after that happens, it'll we'll do the thing. So we're going to make that into a breakdown animation. There we go. I'm going to say set up next dialogue. Actually, do we want her to do the breakdown thing and then shake there? Or do we want her to say it first and then do the breakdown shake thing? Either way, we're going to set up the system. We'll see what it feels like from like an emotional standpoint. Let's go look at the timer on this. I'm glad you're not drunk right now. All right. Cool story. Close out of this. And we're going to say Obj Deer Talker or Deer Bridge Talker Road. This is going to be one that actually manages this. So what we'll need to do, there's Road Disintegrates. We're probably just going to say with this, Animation and transition animation. Having a breakdown case. And we'll set this. We'll say break there. And we'll say start talking again. And we're also going to do the shaking animation. We're going to do the shaking animation there. So we're going to pull our start X and start Y at that moment. Shaking. Start X equals zero. Start Y equals zero. We're just going to initialize these variables. And we're going to say, where are we? How many weeks have been streaming on YouTube? Just this is my third time streaming on YouTube. That's it. Just my third time.
Yeah. And we're going to change Shaking Active to this. I don't need any of this garbage. And start talking again. And start shaking. And we're probably going to do this as Alarm... Five equals one, and I'll handle all of this through the alarm five. So we're going to say alarm five, we're going to build this new alarm, and we'll put in here, we're going to say shaking, and this will be from this animation end, we're going to say shaking active, we'll say if shaking active equals one, so if there's actually shaking active, and else, so if shaking active is not like this, then we stop doing it, we don't have to do anything anymore. And what we'll do is we'll set us back to our original location. Reset position. We'll say X equals start X and Y equals start Y. We'll get rid of this stuff off the end. So we've reset our position back to where we were. And if shaking active is going on, then what we're going to do is we're going to say do this again. It'll be alarm 5 equals 1. And also, choose random location. X is going to equal start X, which is that binding location where we first started, plus I random range between negative two and two. So a random location between negative two and two from that location, and we're gonna do the same thing on the Y. So she's gonna be shaking violently around the location where she started and just you know, vibrating in place kind of a thing. And when this is finished, when this animation is done, and it starts the shaking, we're going to start talking a second, just a few seconds later. So she's going to have the little broke down, or breakdown, when, when Fern says, are you sure? And then, Road has a breakdown. She's going to say, I said don't worry about it. She's going to be mad. Sometimes he listens to the sound of his voice. I love talking about this stuff. It's very funny. Yeah, no, I usually listen to the same song on loop all day long. Like, legitimately. Um, I'll usually listen to one song on repeat while talking to myself and programming. Like, no joke. That's that's literally what I do every day. It makes, it makes it so much easier to program, I don't know why. I like having the repetition. It's really nice. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Shit. I accidentally just deleted all my text. <laughs> On the other monitor. Okay, now it's fixed. I was like trying to move my mouse and it would like fill the whole other monitor with spaces and then replace all the text. Uh, alarm. We're going to say with. It's fixed now though. We're good. And we're going to go back to the talking object. You're going to say alarm, start talking. Alarm zero equals room speed times 0 0.5. Now, when this stops, when shaking active is over, we need to do one more thing on this. We're going to reset the position and we're going to play animation backwards. Right? Because we had to change the animation when this hits. We got to tell it to change the animation. We're going to play this backwards. And we're going to say, I forget how I did this before. Let me go look at where stand breakdown actually is. Because I know that I have this where we, we play it backwards. I think I can just play it with the image speed of a negative value. I'm pretty sure that just works. Yeah, we have to pause the animation. That's the other thing. We start shaking with 11. Oh, I just did a random range of negative 1 to 1. I should probably change that. Oh, 
close this out. We don't need that. Negative one to one. And then when it's told to stop, when shaking active is done, we're going to play the animation backwards. But the other thing we have to do is this. Because I forgot to do this. It would have just kept animating. Good job, past me. Well done. Yeah, text is actually really dumb. It's really weird that you're having this problem. Don't tell me you listened to Lemon Demon on repeat. Of course I did. Are you kidding me? I love Lemon Demon stuff, dude. Absolutely, man. Redesign your logo is one of the ones I like listening to quite a lot, to be honest with you. It's sort of a favorite in there. What's the weirdest song you had on loop? I had a song by Crunk Witch a long time ago that I played on loop. I don't know. I play a lot of weird music, man. I play a lot of weird music. Is that what it is? Be like potato, potato, P potato. Doesn't turn mine into a smiley face. Potato works fine for me, man. I don't have this problem. I don't know what it is that you guys are doing that is removing chat, but... Sounds like a browser cache issue. I'm, I have no idea what it is. Could be anything. You were the whole thing. I tried the thing that you tried, though. F. YouTube, it's inconsistent. That works? I'm telling you, Dark Days. I don't know, man. You're seeing everything has got to be on their end? Maybe? <sighs> okay, let's see. When we go to Obj Road, Judge Road, we do this thing. We're going to start... Standing to break down. Okay, this is this is the road judge one. Standing to break down. And then shake violently. And then we have the conversation that actually causes Om's Road Judge Road to go in backwards. Break down to injured. It goes break down to injured. There's another thing that I ended up doing where it causes her to stand back up. Standing to break down does this. Animation step five. We're transitioning to breakdown from stand. So the speed is going to be 0.15. And then transition to injured idle from injured transition. We finish bringing out our claws injured. Disintegrating. All right. Yeah, this makes sense. Start talking again. I think this is the only thing I really need. We're going to change the sprites there. I don't think we need to do this as cleanly as we were before. We'll find out, though. We'll see if it looks good. This only happens if we never moved in combat. There we go. So when we do this, this is going to be at 52. Let's go pull up that scene right there. I'm going to grab this. We're going to grab this here. This is at 52. So when this happens... We need to say with, and I need to look at this. Animation end, sprite road down, stand breakdown. down. 
So this is switching on Sprite Index right now. Good think. Well, if you're another thing inside of it. And we'll say case, sprite, road, down, stand. And I'll do this. We'll say break there. Sprite road down stand. And what we'll do is we'll say if. And I need to look at the animation stuff in there. Is anim step even a thing in this? Oh, anim step is in here. That should be move step. Oh no, it's gonna be complicated. Let me think about this. Hmm. YouTube, did you borrow some Twitch code or something? Oh. Oh. That is devastating. What's going on? If you type some names message smiley face, it throws away the at end message. At Maggie laughs. Potato smiley face. What? What? At Maggie laughs. Potato smiley face potato. This is a long and forgettable sentence. Smiley face. It deletes it. Yeah, it deleted the whole thing. It just sends smiley face. YouTube, you're a multi-billion dollar company. And, um, I'd like you to act like it just a little bit for me. For just... I know that your competitor is pooping on their own ceiling right now. I know. But I feel like as a multi-billion dollar company that's trying to, like, be one, unlike them, they're not trying to be one right now. Twitch is not trying to do that. I feel like you could at least make it so that you can add someone, write a sentence, and then put a smiley face on the end without it deleting your sentence in your chat. I feel like that's... That's kind of... We'll call that the bare minimum, if you will. Yeah. I'm just going to call that the bare minimum. So, uh, do us all a favor and, and stop it. I try to enable CC. I can't. If I have the stream on this level of interaction, I cannot do closed captions. That's something that they're rolling out later. So, can't do anything about it just yet. I have to find an extension to OBS to make that happen. I don't know what to do about it. Just give me a bit. I'll figure it out. You think they've gone beyond their ceiling and they're now pooping on the roof? That's because they pooped with such force. They went through the ceiling, out the roof, and all over the neighbors. And that's that's where we're at now with Twitch. So it's unfortunate, but it is it is what it is.
Okay, this one is, we went up and need to turn right. This is gone. We can actually get rid of that. And we went home is going to be three now instead of four. So this one is, this one is gone. Delete that about. Going to this one, and we're going to make this move step now. Alarm three. And that'll be fine. So, that'll have to get updated later. Shaking is going to be... We're going to make this four. We're going to change this event to alarm four. Now remember, I have to check every one of the possible timelines on this. It's going to be a lot of work. Uh, turn road upwards. Walk home. Move step is going to be there. Shaking is going to be here. So let's look for anim step in this. Anim step. Is there any anim step in this? Is there no anim step in this? Really? Do I just not put it in there? Really? I feel like that's probably not the case. I feel like somewhere in here there's an anim step. But I might be wrong. Turn roads upwards. Slide road to Fern. This is going to be move step now. Transition animation. Path ended clean up. To the edge of the bridge. Move down. So walk down is going to be move step now. And then anim step is going to be set to this. So we're going to say with this object. We'll put it in here. Say with that. Anim step equals one. Start having a breakdown. And now we're going to run it. It's going to break. Can't wait. But we'll find out where it breaks. Use tab completion of your name. Made me proud of myself. Hell yeah. That's a weird one, man. That's such a weird bug. I don't understand. I don't understand why YouTube has these weird problems, man. Have the secret power of the mobile user and bypass the bug? Doing it. Do it. I don't know, dude. YouTube definitely just needs to completely rework their chat system. That's it. That's all it comes down to. Their chat system is like hot garbage and they need to completely rework it. And I think in the future, they probably will. Like, they're they're probably going to care about that and they're slowly making things better. But dude, this chat feature is just... It's a mess. Like, it's actually a mess. Now, let's see if this works. If you want them to throw you, if they want to throw you a few quid, you'll rework it for them. Yeah, that's usually how that works in tech, right? You just you so, so throw some random guy on the internet a couple of dollars, and they rework your multi-billion-dollar interface, right? Not how that works. <laughs> oh. working not shaking why are we not shaking the animation actually went the animation end for this. Sprite road down, stand breakdown. That's this animation here. We actually stop. So that's correct. Shaking active equals one. Start shaking. That's why. It should be set to four. Fixed. Let's do it again. Fixed. See if this works.
I'm currently rendering random skylines using JavaScript. Nice, dude. Very cool. Of a city. Very cool. I'm currently making a mountain lion disintegrate because of your poor decisions and their impact on her psyche. When NASA stream still had chat active, I remember that. People were like, it's aliens, it's aliens, it's aliens, look at that. I don't think she should have that face now. I think this works. I think Fern should turn to stare at her when this happens. But this is working. I think this is going to do exactly what I want it to do. It's working. You have no poor decisions, only learning opportunities? Very nice. So when the shaking actually occurs, let's go back into the cutscene. I'm going to grab this. Where is it? Where are you, cutscene? Cutscene manager. You're sad seeing this? Don't worry, it's going to get worse. Um, start having a breakdown. Turn, burn to face road with... Whatever this object is. Where's this object? Where's this version of road and fern? It's gonna get worse. Uh, fern right is gonna be the one that we need. With this object. Actually, we need to reopen that back up because I need to put the, the thing in it. Face right. This is fern on the right. Where's face left? Burn faces road. There we go. I'm going to say alarm four. Alarm four equals room speed times 0 0.5. So we're going to wait half a second and then have burn turn to road when this is happening. And we're going to change the facial expression where road is like, don't worry about it. I said, don't worry about it. Instead of doing it with the, the aggressive face, we're going to change that to a different facial expression here. I don't know which one yet. Let's do that. Let's do that. Another, another new road face animation? We're already doing that. That needs to happen. So I'm doing a different one. It's not going to be a new one for this. Let's go look at Glazed. Oh, that's, the, that's not the right one. That one's pretty cool, though. when you make road completely unhinged. It's quite good. Love that face. Um, distorted's not right. Broken's not good. Broken might not be good. Actually, that might work. I might use this one, maybe. might use that one. No, that's what she uses in that one scene. It's only used that one scene. What if we use the hidden face? Because she's hiding her face. I could use the hidden face or the broken face. Hidden face or broken? I think the broken face probably works. Dude. I think the broken face is probably going to be the one, man. I think it's going to be it. Yeah. Witness me, I don't think works now. That is a command that is from Twitch. Sprite road talkie broken. It's going to be percent 23. Let's do that. Yeah, we're going to use broken for this. I think it hits the, the right emotional context that I need there. So we're going to reopen this on here. Percent 23. I said don't worry about it. Burn is going to turn to face road and then have a long pause and then probably turn back down. So at 54, and then 55, this one right here. We're also going to have turn burn downwards. We're going to go grab Fern again. Where's my Fern? Where's my Fern? There it is, Fern right. 
face. Fern face is down. We're going to say with this object. We'll say alarm. What is this alarm number? Alarm five. Alarm five. And pull this back over here. Equals room speed times 0 0.5 so that it matches directly up with when she's talking there. This block game of a patch notes log? Yeah, in Discord, there's actually a channel called Block Game Patch Notes, and it'll show you all the patch notes on Discord. All of them, all of them. I may make it so paper is made out of bamboo in Minecraft. Or in block game, rather. I hate that it's made out of sugar cane. It's really annoying. I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it bamboo. I'm going to make it like nine bamboo for paper. All right, let's see. Yeah, papyrus, exactly. Okay, here we go. That that transitions a little bit long. So, what's on your mind? I go to this kind of thing. Let's um let's pause this music here, and we're gonna listen to the in-game sound. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have her say, "Actually, don't worry about it." Because I want her to feel like she's about to say something and then lose her confidence because of what you did earlier. That's kind of nice. I'm going to have her say, you sure? When she says, you sure, I think that's when Fern's going to turn. So don't worry about it. And I think after she walks away, she snaps out of it there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have... Road stand back up and go back to the normal. Or maybe we'll have her disintegrate from here. We might have her disintegrate from there because she's going to snap here and it's not going to make sense. Look so happy while walking away. That's just Fern, dude. That's Fern's normal walking animation. There's a lot of stuff that still has to get fixed here. So the timing, I think, is incorrect. There's a couple of things I want to change. So on this, we're going to set up a new one. When Fern faces to the left, that's going to happen when she says, you sure. The reason I'm going to do it on the you sure is when Road has the breakdown and Fern has the dot, 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 she's going to take a step back because she's afraid. Because I think it's going to be a better interaction. Didn't feel good to see that. It's going to feel a lot worse when I'm done because I need it to. It doesn't hit right yet. It will, but it doesn't hit right yet.
Thor's mean to us. It's true. 100% true. Always mean to you, dude. My job is to be mean to you. If I don't make you feel things, then it's not going to work. My job is to make you feel something. It's the whole idea, man. step back and this is going to be change the animation to the end of this left stand the animation step is going to be there and we're also going to change the image speed is going to equal 0.1 again I think that'll be it then what we're going to do is we're going to go to here so this is path end we need to create another path so we'll do this thing here. This is actually going to be plus 350 because it's not fitting correctly. We're going to go step back at our own animation section here. Sprite Fern left walk. Anim step is going to be or because we made the anim step in there. Let's go close this. Close, close all of this junk. Close all this. Be gone, garbage. So our anim step on this one is now going to be step four. Uh, path step is going to be here. We're going to say X, X plus. Um, let me think about this. Probably just five pixels. She's probably not going to move very far. The fern left walk, and it's going to say image speed equals 0 0.05. So it's going to be slow. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. There we go. And then we start moving. The path action stop is there. When the path ends... We'll be at this location. We'll go back to the standing animation. She's only going to move just a little bit. Just a small amount. And she'll take a step back while Road is having that breakdown. And it's just a small amount, but it'll show it'll show the uneasiness there. You might not like it, but it's going to be awesome when I'm done. I'm hoping so. Should be. We've still got a couple things to fix. Yeah, just a tad back. It's good. Basically, what I want to do is I want to show a dynamic situation, right? Like... If your friend starts holding their head and shaking, you're probably going to be like, whoa. And that's that's what I'm doing here is like, you can't just have one character moving independently of the other. They need to be moving together. That is really loud. Jesus. I'm like freaked out. They need to be moving together. As a cohesive kind of thing, you know. And off timing from each other because then it looks more realistic. Yeah, that was really loud for some reason. I don't know what caused that. There we go. Way better. The dialogue there feels a lot better. She didn't walk backwards. Why didn't she walk backwards? Burn takes a step back. Ah, it's supposed to be alarm nine. Let's do it again. Wrong alarm. Wrong alarm. Actually, let's do this again. I'm going to make that 0 0.25 there. Run it again. There's a burb just chilling on the, the bridge post while this emotional moment is happening. Just bobbing like the day is fine. Yeah, it's random. It's random which birds are going to be there. Cut. Seed was bad. Start it over. Please don't miss the cue from Let's Go One More Time. Dude, it happens. The thing is, is a lot of what I'm doing is like trying to get my characters to do the things that I need them to so that I can feel the ways that I need to feel so that players feel the way that they need to feel. 
It's like directing a movie, like all of this. Have you kind of coded so the sound is automatically timed to the text appearing? Yes. When those objects appear, those letters are actually objects. And when they appear, they play a sound. That's all it is. And when they appear, they apply whatever variables they need to <clears throat> based on the flags from the dialogue system. I'm going to change that one instead of just what is it? We're going to make this worse. We're going to make this way worse. I'm going to keep making the language softer as we go to make it so the characters have more of an emotional connection there. She didn't back up. Maybe five pixels wasn't enough. Hmm. Let's find out why. So on this dialogue line, this is 52. 52, as I said, don't worry about it. We start having a breakdown with Obj... Deerbridge Fern right, we say Alarm 9. Alarm 9 is setting up this path right here with Anim Step 4. We start moving along this path handle. Let's do 10 pixels. I don't think it's enough. Let's try that again. I don't think it was as noticeable as it should have been. Or it was. it didn't move at all. I don't know which one. It should be moving. Because Alarm 9 is the one that actually does this. You to use your full name here and not just Chainus? I go by that everyone. Why can't you use it? A little weird. Are you like limited because it's it's like too short or too long or something weird? Or is it already taken? It's hoping to run into you because she's just off screen. Hey Piker, what's up, dude? Is everything all right? Yeah, at least I hope so. Uh, what's on your mind? I go to this kind of thing. What kind of thing? You know, actually, don't worry about it. Aw, come on. What is it? That's way better dialogue there. What, about what is it on the second line? But see how that is? A little bit softer dialogue. A little bit more emotion in it. Don't worry about it. You sure? That was too fast. The timing. She actually moved back there, but the timing was too fast. So let's go into... I know why the timing's off. I think I know exactly the reason. I think it's exactly what it is. I think that the issue is that Fern takes a step back off timing from the animation step. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go into road left, which is this one right here. We're going to go look at the animation end. And when we have this for animation step, the sprite changes, change sprites right there. We're going to do Fern taking a step back here so that we know that the animation has actually started. She enraged in this frame? More very upset. Very upset. Deeply upset. Yeah, the face isn't captured that yet. We're not there yet. I'm working on the overall emotion of each one of the dialogue pieces and the movements right now. So don't worry about it. We'll get there. 
no trolls impressive for YouTube? We don't allow that kind of stuff, dude. Like to be real with you. Anytime I see that kind of stuff, I just I just ban them. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my problem, right? You were doing updates to this cutscene? Oh yeah, this cutscene's being completely updated. This isn't the only like this is just the timeline in which you are you go to lunch with Road and then you treat Road badly. Because it didn't make sense in context of the story. And let's watch this real quick. Actually, don't worry about it. Oh, come on. What is it? Don't worry about it. You sure? You said don't worry about it. This is not going to be the right one. I need to do probably the growly, growly voice. Yeah, the right path. And all right. You can witness so many troll waves on, you, on YouTube in the past. I just, you just ban people. It's not a big deal. It's not as dangerous. Like, it's like hate raids, that kind of stuff. It's, it's always been kind of a meme, to be honest with you. Like, we have so many tools to moderate stuff that it's, it's sort of whatever, man. Like, it really is. Whether it's on YouTube or Twitch or anything else, it's, it's not hard. Like, it's really not hard to handle. It never has been. Like, on, on Twitch, I'll get them like 300 plus, and it takes seconds to delete it. Here on YouTube, it's, you just, you know, hide all their comments. Not a big deal. And then they're permanently gone from the channel. So let's think about this. I think Ferd still needs a bit more delay before walking back there. I think so, too. I think it's, I think it's too soon. So what we'll do is we make that 0 0.5 seconds. And I think the biggest thing is this facial expression doesn't fit with the dialogue. So we need to go back into our dialogue phases and kind of find another one in here. I think we might actually use this face. I think that's going to be the one. Yeah, it feels too extreme. I think it's just going to be the crying face. So we're going to do percent 11 into that. So we'll go back over here and we'll change this from this to percent 11. And instead of that, instead of screaming like that, I said, don't worry about it. And it's going to be shaking like it was before. Um, so to say, I said, don't worry about it. It'll be lowercase. She'll be crying and it'll be shaking like she's wavering in text. And I think that'll, that'll work better. So let's go try that again. The timing on that needs to be important. The feeling of that needs to be important. Um, I'm trying to think the music may fade out at a different point. Cause I think the music fades out a little prematurely on this, which leads to the kind of the sad scene. I think the music needs to fade out at the moment. Yeah, you know what? Let's change that real fast. Can we change it? Actually, wait. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. We're going to do handle conversation on this. We're going to pull the conversation piece over. There is a moment in which the music fades out. And we fade the music out on the bad path here. But that's at line 48. But the music fades out before that. That is where it's supposed to fade out. What the hell is it fading out at? Fade music out is happening there. Fade music. Fade music. Bad path. Fade music. Alarm 5. What is alarm 5? Huh. Huh. It's really interesting that my like stream lab or stream deck thing stops connecting to Spotify. If Spotify is like not interactive for a little bit of time, it's really weird. So this fades the music out, sets active music to zero, store music volume, fades the music. And then this actually does it's not okay. And then it's over. When do we do step fade music? When does this value get set? Where does music fade get set? Plus equal one. That's what it is. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to look into this. And 
look into the conversation, which is going to be this here. Nope, that's not it. So many windows. There we go. So step fade music is different. We're going to say alarm five. We'll go to the first one. We fade the music on Bad Path at the beginning. And that's it. Is that it? What is Sound Music Bridge? What is this song? We never faded this in. It's missing. That's the problem. That's the issue. That song is the one that's important. And it fades in on alarm six. Fade music in alarm six. This happens normally during the intro scene. But I don't know if it fades in any other time. Let's think about this. That's alarm six, fade music in. Which fade music in does it do? If instance exists, Obj Deer Bridge music, we fade in that music, we fade out sound music bridge. Where is sound music bridge even used? Fade in bridge music, here we go. It's only on the good path. There's the problem. And we do it at the moment that she throws At the moment she throws the crown, because it feels right there. So instead of this, instead of fading the music out, let's think about this. We fade the music out completely here. We start moving the camera and we fade the music out. That's alarm three. Alarm three is fade the music out here. This fades out the bridge music. The normal background sound forest music. When that happens, the camera slides over for the intro. Road is pretty nervous. Road moves down. Fern turns to look at Road. No, she doesn't. Yeah, Fern turns to look at Road as Road walks downwards and then follows along. That timing feels a little bit off, too. It really does. Deerbridge Road left. And when Deerbridge Road left goes on, road down, walk. It's after alarm zero. Walk down. We start moving. This is on move step equals one. So we say path ended move step equals one. Road moves down, and then this here. This is why this is too long feeling here. We're going to change this to one full second. Not not what it was. It was two full seconds, which felt super strange. So that got fixed. Burn turns to look at road. Was this good or bad? If it's the good storyline, it goes there. If it's the bad storyline, it goes there. Start talking. Everything's kind of tense. Good path goes on. Road slides to the right, and at that moment is when we fade in the bridge music. So I think what we should do... I'm thinking about fading in the bridge music before this scene happens. Right? Because right now, the way that this works is the bridge music comes in when 
road gives the flower crown to fern. If we can change this so that the bridge music, this that nice kind of bright music is playing the whole time for the bad scene. Because right here we could do it. We could start doing it there in the bad scene and then turn it off when Rhode loses her, her like, you know, ability to, to think. Actually, we've got to copy that, not delete it. So let's, let's think about this. We're going to go back into Alarm 5 inside of this, which is fade music and step, step fade music. And this is, with that, Obj Deerbridge music. Do we ever even use this? I think that was used only on the other side. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, because this, this is really nice music and it's a nice scene for this. So if we take that and we put it into the, into the other side of stuff, the conversation actually starts here, if it was good or bad, and that's line 47. She'd only be saying it for like one second. What if we do it when the, when the cam conversation slides over? So we start this music like up here. The music fades out. This fades back in, right? Sound, sound music bridge fades out. This fades in over the top of it. That's where we fade that. We don't do it here on this scene individually. I have an idea. Hey, Plush Pila, what's up? Let's see what this feels like just like this. Just fading the music in. I don't know if it's going to feel right, but we'll find out. I'm going to pause that out. Yeah, Spotify plays local files. I do all of these local files from directory. Everything, everything. Makes my life easy because then I can control all the audio for the stream through Spotify, which is like a pretty good, you know, pretty good tool for that, frankly. It's really not bad. Hmm. Hello back, you're Luigi. Unfortunate. Imagine being Luigi, unironically. That'd be rough, dude. Yeah, let's try this. Where's my music? I literally just put this in. Deerbridge Talker Road. What? Start moving camera. Fade music out. Fade in bridge music. What? <laughs> what? first. I forgot about that. I was like, dude, what's going on? Yeah, no, it wasn't even playing. It was supposed to play at zero first. I was like, where's my music? Where did it go? But yeah, no, I just forgot to play it. Easy peasy, man. Probably put a delay on that before it starts. Probably going to put a delay on that before it starts. Um, let's get back to that, and we're going to put an alarm for that, because that's, that's not right. Felt weird. Let's do... There we go. We're going to grab this. 
fade bridge music in. I'm going to make this alarm six, seven, alarm seven. Fade bridge music in. Very cool. Let's put it 10 miles to the right. My favorite. Very awesome. And we're going to say alarm 7 equals room speed. And we'll do that over probably 2,000 there. So it'll fade completely out of the other one mostly, and then we'll fade this in over, over two full seconds. So by the time the transition is completely done, we're good. And I think that'll look really nice. Um, then I can get rid of fade in bridge music here. And instead, what I can do is I can say fade out bridge music at that moment. Excuse me, Game Maker Studio, can you just... What are you doing? Control Z that, thank you. We'll fade out the bridge music on this other piece, which is the moment that her heart breaks and all the blood spills out. Let me see. Um... We're going to say 48. Where's 48? This is the moment where it fades music in the other way. So instead of doing fade music 5, which doesn't make sense because that's the sound music bridge being faded there. That's actually the one we're going to do it on. So we're going to say fade music 5, and it's going to be, it's not okay. And then we're going to go to the other one, which is going to be conversation bad. Road is having a breakdown. Turn to face road. That's line 51. This is going to be where it fades out completely. At the moment she says line 52. So that there is going to be fade music again. All right, let's try this out. I think it's going to be a lot more emotionally impactful with the music actually on it. Music that was meant to be there. And it'll be different from Fern's side because on Fern's side it'll be uh, when Road passes the Flower Crown, that's when the music kicks in, just like it was originally. And on this side, it'll be playing there the entire time uh, as it transitions over whenever Road is the one that you went to lunch with, which I think is interesting, and it, it kind of makes the scene work. So We can also try to do it at the time where they walk downwards, which I think also works. Which I'll probably do with, with that. We'll probably end up moving it to when, when she walks downwards, because I think that works better. Oh, I like this a lot, actually. No, I want to do it when they walk downwards. Let's do it when they walk downwards. It feels too rushed. It feels too rushed. Doesn't feel right. Friend turns to look at road. Was a good story or bad? Start talking. This is line 38 and 47. This is line 37. So what's on your mind? Turns to look at road is here. 36. 35 is this one. So this is going to be the one right here. And we're going to say room speed times 2. Just to see if that, that works right. Let's try that. Fastidious God? I'm not that fast. I'm just in the zone, man. Like, legitimately. <laughs> I need to make sure that this feels... Like, it's got to feel right, man. There's, there's like, an emotional impact that happens when it feels... When it's correct. And you can feel that. And if it doesn't have that, I have to keep fiddling with it until it does. Like, it's got to have it. If it doesn't, this whole scene is ruined, right? The whole... All the framing, everything is correct, but it's, it's the music has to hit at the right moment and it's not hitting right at the right moment right now it's the right music it's a lovely song it's perfect for this it's just not hitting the right time mm -hmm. 
Well, I guess that's true. Yes. That's what it was. That's what it was. You see that? As, as she was walking downwards. fall out wrong animation there turns downward is wrong what the hell really damn it dude obj deer bridge thank you um, the spur, uh, Sprite Fern Down Stand is going to be that one. And I used the wrong one for that. Sprite Fern Down Stand. Is it good or bad? I'm going to go to Bad Story. Like, God, this feels so much better. It's such a good moment now. Start having a breakdown. And then when we have the breakdown, it's going to be Alarm Face Downwards is that one. Burn faces down. That's the one with the flower crown. That's why it's like that. Okay. When we open this and we have this problem and we do animation end. Sprite road down stand disintegrate. Ob deer bridge talker road. Stand breakdown. Fern takes a step back. After Fern takes a step back, that's alarm nine. So we're going to go over to Fern real fast. And we're going to go to alarm nine. Alarm nine, alarm 9 does this, which is going to be animation step 4. So we go over to the animation step. Go to animation step 4, and then we're going to do fern left stand. And then after that, after a few seconds... Where does this happen? 53. When she says 54... I think that's the ch the time that it changes. When does this change? Turn fern downwards. Alarm five. Deerbridge fern right. Alarm five. That's going to be alarm alarm zero. Found it. That's going to be what it is. And then eight is going to be walk home. Sprite fern walk home. Okay. Now we try it. Oh, now we try it. Ah, your soul twisting away wasn't supposed to right there. And that's the importance, right? The buildup of the emotional sequence there, using the music to push that emotion, having it happen at the moment that Fern engages in the conversation. Because if you look at it, Rhodes kind of, you know, tentative about the whole thing, walks downwards to the edge of the bridge, then Fern waits a moment before walking downwards. In the middle of her walking downwards, that's when the music starts, which shows, okay, she's ready to engage in this and, like, see what's going to happen. She's emotionally invested, so the music becomes emotionally invested music. See, so we fade it out here so that there's nothing on the table yet. Because we don't know the scene yet. Down first. And there we go. And then the, the music of the emotional investment there lines up with the text that she says right afterwards. Kind of thing. So now what we have to do after this is we have to wait 
and we have to make it so that she stands back up. Or we have her disintegrate from this scene. Which I think disintegrating from here would be fine. Unfortunately, I'm using a stand-up stand version of the disintegrate there, which doesn't look right. And we need to get rid of the pocket watch, which is now laying on the ground. It shouldn't be there. Ah, it should be different. So, those are the last two things that really need to get fixed, but everything else is working. It's working perfectly. She was holding the crown for a split second there before road broke down, by the way. When she was facing the left. Let me go look at that. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. So that's Fern right. Turn Fern downwards. Fern leaves. Start having a breakdown. Turn Fern to face road. That's going to be alarm four. Fern faces road. You're right. It's this one right here. Uh, we're going to change this one to an alarm nine. No, alarm ten. Oh, we're running out of alarms. It's fine. We'll have enough. And um, we'll change that one to Fern faces road. No crown. Crown. Fern faces down. Crown. See, this scene was not made for this originally. So there's like a lot of stuff in here that's just wrong. Because there's two different Fern left stand. There we go. Fern left stand is the one that we actually want. And we're going to do alarm 10 for this instead of alarm 4. So the original cutscene will still remain the way it is. Why well, is there a limit to how many alarms you can have? There's only 11. Like, you don't really need that many, to be honest with you, and it's on an individual object basis. I have no idea why, but Game Maker, what are you going to do? Music's gone forever. Everything there is good. Now let's go look at the disintegration scene. Really? I really hate that I can't press this button if I've had Spotify off for too long. Come on. No? I have to start it up again, and now you can do it? Now it works perfectly. Weird. Okay, so... Deer Bridge Road left. This is when the tr the disintegration is actually going to happen. So let's take a look at this. Having a breakdown. Bad path. It's going to be road down to stands to disintegrate. So we need to go look at where this actually pops up. Which is going to be in Talker Road Alarm 4. Let's go open that real fast. And this is the moment in this Deer Bridge thing where we, we cause this disintegration. So I need to look at the other disintegration that, that Road actually has, because Road has two. She has this one. And we have this one here. The stand disintegrate. I'm going to change the stand disintegrate into one where she goes from the last animation frame of that. The, um, the breakdown animation. She'll go from this to disintegrate from there. And I think that'll be perfect. Yeah, the disintegration happens during the camera pan. Yes, it does. So... I need her to go from this animation frame to disintegrate it, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Shay know. We're going to change this from down, stand, disintegrate. We're going to say down, stand, breakdown, disintegrate. So it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to grab that. Close all this stuff out. And I'm going to put this up here. And then we're going to go back into this, and we're going to change that to there. Then I'm going to message Shay. I'm going to say change of plans. I need the... Actually, wait. Not, not change of plans, because that'll be another thing. I need a disintegrate from the final animation in Rhodes breakdown sequence. And then I'm going to take that breakdown sequence... I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab this one. And I'm apparently not going to copy-paste it. I'm going to put it into Notepad. Into MS Paint, rather. Because it won't copy-paste directly. Then I'm going to take it from there. And I'm going to put it this. This one. There we go. Now it's in Discord. Look how, look how weird Gamer Studio is, dude. Instead of just copy-pasting something now, it turns it into a brush. Which I just... I don't understand why it does that. It's like one of the most awkward things I've seen in like any type of image editing software. It just turns it into a brush for you for some reason. It's not a copy paste anymore. Normally it would copy that to the clipboard and like you could just have it, but now it turns it into a brush and it's super strange. 
Okay, so with that being done, we're going to take this. I'm going to edit this image and we're going to do one of these where we just delete everything in here. We're just going to, we're going to delete it because we don't actually need this. And we need to make it, actually, we're just going to do one of these. Just, and then we'll take a bunch of frames out of it. And we'll make this red because we know that this is missing. And we'll put some numbers on this so that we know what it is. Switch that. And we're good. I think that's it, man. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it. Kind of exciting. Yeah, programmer. No, that's not even programmer. That's placeholder. We put placeholder stuff in all the time. Um, specifically because we need... We need placeholder stuff to, like, not look like the real things you're going to use. You know? Let's go try it again. You do the belly first? That's funny. I don't think I could do it the six that way. Yeah, placeholder everything, dude. Placeholder everything. And make sure that your placeholder art looks like placeholder art. There's so many times, even in AAA, that I have to say, people put placeholder art down and it looked like real art and we missed it as a result. There was actually a ton of backdrops that went out in StarCraft II, Wings of Liberty, that were placeholder art. And we didn't know they were placeholder art because they didn't look like placeholder art. And they went live when the game launched and we had to patch them out later. Super weird, but like, that's how it is. Isn't art the first thing that's finished the game? That cap is the worst, dude. Okay, let's watch this. Instead of just don't worry about that there, I'm going to say seriously, don't worry about it. And we're going to put some dynamic pause on that, adding a little bit more. And then this will be that there. And she's going to drop the flower crown, just like would be normally dropped otherwise. And that pocket watch should not be on her. The pocket watch is on, on Fern. So as Fern walks away, we need Fern to drop the pocket watch on the edge of this bridge. That's how that's going to go. So let's go fix that now. Inappropriate music. Nice. pretty good okay so when we disintegrate why is this one dropping this let's think about this Where does that watch get created? I need to find the thing that's actually building the watch for that scene. Railing, Deer Bridge, where's the pocket watch here? Where?
Because this is the bad path there. But when does that actually create that? Let's go take a look. Create the crown. Does the crown actually create the, the pocket watch? Is that what it makes it? Maybe it's not. So that makes the crown at the moment that it happens, but what makes the pocket watch? Hmm. What are you talking about, Yoka? I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Hey, like you're streaming on this platform? How's the game coming on? Game's kind of looking great. We actually we updated the hell out of this cutscene today, so far, and I'm pretty happy with it. The platform is a little bit wonky, and the reason why I say that is because their their chat interface is bad. You know, they're really bad. You talking about API? Or are you talking about the IP address thing? The the peer to peer stuff that they killed? They killed the peer to peer thing, dude. That's not happening. Yeah, it was only South Korea, and they called it off. And I was vicious about that one, dude. That needs to not exist in the rest of the world. That is absolutely outrageous, to be honest with you. So something, something create, we create the crown in this, an alarm for. Road disintegrates. That creates the crown. What creates the pocket watch? It's really weird. Is it slide camera back? Let's go look at that. Alarm 2. No. My my thoughts on which? I gotta watch your stream on Delta Green Chapter 2? Yeah, watch it, dude. Watch that. It's up on here. It's up on YouTube, man. So the pocket watch is supposed to drop here. We have that item. And for some reason, it's not in my normal folder of Deerbridge. Which means I did something really stupid that I'm not supposed to do. Is it Obj Global Pocket Watch Small? Is that the name of this here? I did something dumb. I had to have. There's no other way. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's the pocket watch being run by the Deerbridge Crown floating. Did we abandon Emilio in the mines? We abandoned Emilio. We helped Emilio. So this is going to change the way that the pocket watch actually gets built. And changes the dialogue. Destroy the small pocket watch. Move the watch down. Slide watch down. Okay. So somewhere in here, we destroy the small pocket watch. Does that mean that this creates it? We're on the river and the watch is there. The pocket watch actually has to get created differently based on our storyline. Let's go fix that. Hmm. 
maybe it's in the other one. Let's close this. We're going to open this up real fast. Talker Fern. It's got to say, like, who did we go to lunch with kind of a thing. Actually, we don't have to do it there. We have to do it inside of the talker object that is leading up to the scene. And the talker object that leads up to the scene is right here. It's called Deerbridge Talker Road and Deerbridge Talker Fern. And I guess in this object, we check to see which one we did. We did. Did we go to lunch today? That's the one right there. Who do we go to lunch with? This needs to be checked inside of the pocket watch itself to determine where it's going to be created. So right here. Who do we go to lunch with? If we went to lunch with Fern and this is getting generated, that means that it gets created here in this location. At that spot. If it's road, we do nothing. And the reason why is because we actually need to generate the pocket watch in another location. Handle conversation. The conversation is actually being done from the crown floating thing. Oh, this is going to be complicated and stupid. <sighs> Let me think about this. I did this in the wrong way before. That's why. That's why it's dumb. Because Road wouldn't have this. Fern would, no matter what. When Road is walking away, she has to drop it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this object is the thing that's handling this. So we're checking this. If we move forward in the conversation, this check is actually being done by a collision check. And the collision check is being done based on if the player is to the left of this object or not. So we have to do a different check based on... Yeah, okay. We're going to do this check here based on which person we went to lunch with. This is going to do the check here. If it's Fern, this is how it goes. If it's Road... We're going to do it differently. If Lore is to the left of this object, we're not going to do it there. Instead, we're going to say, if Lore is to the left of the object that we're trying to make, which is Object Pocket Watch Small, say, if instance exists, And then to the left of that object, then we start talking. And that'll work. And I think that'll make the most sense. You want to give your game only two endings? Do it, man. You can give it as many endings as you want. One, two, fifty, who cares? That's up to you. Is this the weird round? No, it's not weird. It's devastating, dude. If Laura's to the left of the object, with Fern, or the road, if Laura's to the left of the pocket watch. So. Yeah. And it's going to be this. That's actually supposed to be Obj Player Parent. If Obj Player Parent is to the left of this. Now we're good. All right. That is correct. So, with that being done, this thing is going to handle all of it, and then it sinks under the water when it's finished. And then also, we need to create the pocket watch at the moment that Fern walks away. So on Fern right, when she walks away, 
Walk Home. This is the Walk Home Sad. Because it's Fern Right Walk. And we're going to say Start Moving. And we're going to say Alarm. Let me think about this. We're going to make another alarm. A million alarms. And it's going to be Alarm 11, the final alarm. Create Pocket Watch. And we're going to say this instance create. And we're going to say depth, I guess, because that's a thing now. Um, I need to determine where this is actually getting made on the other one. So when we create this, XY minus 55. Oh, God, it's going to be in the stupidest spot, isn't it? I need to determine the exact location. So what we'll do is we'll start doing a check. And the check is going to check to see if we're here. And if we're there, she's going to drop it. So at 1... No, at 9.05. It's going to be... Probably 200... 9.05, 200 is going to be what it is. At negative 1. So we're going to say 9.05... And 200 and it's going to be at negative one for the depth and then that's the object itself so that'll get created there now we don't want to do this just based on a timer what i need to do instead is i need to make a, a repetitive timer that's actually doing something over and over again and the reason why is because we need to start doing this walk home sad we're going to say start checking to drop watch and we're going to say alarm 11 equals 1. And this is going to say if x is equal to or above so above or equal to 905 I think it'll even be 903. Uh, you know, 905. That'll be fine. Then we're going to say do this and stop doing this alarm. Create the pocket watch and we're going to say else do this again alarm 11 equals 1 so what this will do is as she's walking by the position we actually want her to walk by uh, she'll drop the pocket watch otherwise she won't do it and it should sync up with the other items correctly and it shouldn't damage the other side of the cutscene we'll see if it does or not it may it may blow up everything. I have no idea. I can't wait to find out. Maybe there's the normal ending, the true ending, and the acceptance ending? No. There are four different outcomes in this encounter. So, in this cutscene, there's... You went to lunch with Road, and then that's positive or negative. And then there's, you went to lunch with Fern, and that's positive or negative. So there's four different ways this can go. <clears throat> you can break use without context. What? Oh, why does that have a break? <clears throat> We're going to say, who do we go to lunch with? Fern or Road? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, weird break in there, who knows? Yeah, remember to turn off Top Chat. Top Chat is worthless. I don't know why it's like that. I wonder if there's a way to, like, set that to default of not do Top Chat, because Top Chat is literally horrible. I'm adding that to my list of, like, please, God, stop it. It's so obnoxious. All right, let's see. What's the difference? Top Chat only shows, like, the top chats instead of everyone's chat. Like, that's... It doesn't... You don't read the entire chat. You're not seeing everybody's messages with Top Chat. <clears throat> it's really weird, dude. It tries to hide spam messages, but it actually just hi hides people in the community. So, like... Switch it. Yeah. <laughs> it's honestly the worst. I, I don't understand it at all. Let's see.
Yeah, what makes it top? No idea. There we go, look at that. Drop the pocket watch. Sadness. Comes back while it's panning. Drops the... <clears throat> the flower crown like she had it. Everything works. Everything works! It works exactly the way I wanted it to. And it's horrible. And it's horrible. Yeah, I'm not using the broken face anymore. And now the music in this environment is gone. Forever. It's gone forever. Looks like the text box shifted slightly on that second text. That's probably true. And that just stays there as a reminder of what you did. Forever. Alright, so... Now that we've done this, now we get to test the other side. So we're going to say, no, I don't want to reload this. I'm going to save it. And we're going to go back into our cutscene, and we're going to do the nice thing to road. We're going to treat her well. And then we're going to come back to this cutscene and make sure that I didn't blow it up. Then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it for, with Fern. And that'll be interesting as well. Yeah. You'll never see this when I play. Probably. All you have to do is break Rhodes' confidence. That's it, Maggie laughs. That's the only thing you have to do. You know? Just, uh, you know, tell her she's not good enough. A little bit. That's all. Or make her believe it. Alright. Got a lunch with Rhodes. How much of the game do you think your average player will experience? An average player experiences about three hours of gameplay. There are hundreds of hours of gameplay in the game. There are people that have played it over for over 100 hours and haven't found everything. What monitor res do you have? 1080p. You like when I occasionally talk insanely close to the mic like that? Is that what it is? All right. It's for emphasis. Emphasis. When you do it, you'll do it for the achievement. There's no achievement involved. There's no achievement for being a jerk. You didn't achieve anything. Yeah. No, Piker Z, no. Never again. Get hit with a chicken. Now we're going to do it well. I'm going to not fail the chickens. Let's see if I can do it perfectly, actually. I don't want to get that one. It's too, too dangerous. Too risky for that chicken egg. Huh? <clears throat> Delicious food pods. They're called eggs. Delicious egg pods. Yes. Yes is my favorite response. 
Unlucky chicken. Oh, I missed it. Got it. Victory is mine. Inflamed Glucky. Getting pretty tired. How many more do you need? Yes. Faster more. Speed up the music, speed up the scene, everything goes faster. Perfect. Incensed looking. The food bird is escaping. Not on my watch. I'm blind. I'm blind. But I've obtained the chicken. I've caught the food bird. I've caught it. You only ascend into owning a chicken if you do it perfectly and you never hit anything. Also, how many of you guys seen Ed, Ed, and Eddie? How many of you guys have actually watched Ed, Ed, and Eddie before? The cartoon, any time in your life. This... A text. I like Rolf. quotes and references to everything in this dude like everything everything let me tell you oh ed boy yeah exactly ed boy there's a lot of little shout outs like that to different media i like um i'll give you a really obscure one let's go to the tower real fast i'll give you a really obscure reference so let me just search for the word drama flicks Now to find some drama flakes. So, um, it's covered in spoons. Now to find some, who knows what drama flakes are. This is the probably most obscure reference in the entire game. Out of everything. I don't think, I, I feel like many of you don't know what this is. You're far too young. Uh, this is from, it's from the tick. And there was a breakfast cereal on the tick called Taste Me, Drama Flakes, Struggle is Beauty, and it like just fit the tower super well with like the theme of the cereal. <laughs> so it's a bunch of spoons and then drama. It's like, it is literally like the weirdest reference that I have in the whole game anywhere, but that's what it is. It's just hiding that. You caught the food bird. You're incredible. Yes. Uh, where is it then? I have no idea. Seriously? I passed out shortly after. It was amazing. You were amazing. Struggle is beauty, dude. Yeah. All right, so we can choose to hang out for a bit or not. And this is the really interesting part. Hang out with Rode. Yes. Now watch Rode's reaction. Rode doesn't believe in herself very well. She goes, ah, well, that's cool too. Wait, really? Doesn't believe in herself at all. So no matter which route you get, you get the hints of that kind of behavior and how she feels. Now we have to go through all the nice route stuff. What is it? Close your eyes. Oh, come on, do it. All right. Keeping an eye on you. With your eyes closed? There we go. Open your eyes again. Rhodes definitely one of your favorite characters in the game. You ever fought her? You ever fought Road before? You ever done that encounter?
Easy to beat yourself up. You know where all your weak points are. Now we're going to say Fern seems pretty okay. Which is the nicest thing we can do. Sweaty, dude. Imagine being sweaty. That's how it should, Alestra. I put a lot of effort into making it feel the right emotion, you know? Follow your heart. Mr. Krabs is getting all sweaty again. Gross, dude. Do mountain lions even have sweat glands? I don't know, man. This one does. Full of glands. Take take that knowledge as you will. Extra line of dialogue there that doesn't happen normally. Now we have to go through the garbage with misery and mania. This time we're gonna fight him. That's what we're gonna do. Oh. Oh. Waiting for it. Silence, misery and mania. With them, make them pay. Boom! Nothing happened. Nah, not a fight. Not yet. Okay, now I have to debug save it here so we can, you know, retry this if something goes terribly wrong. Oh, hey, I was hoping to run into you. What's on your mind? I'm not good at this kind of thing. What kind of thing? This kind of thing? Nothing happened. Bugged. All right, let's figure it out. Buggerino. She's supposed to slide to the side and give the thing over, and it's not working. So, when you go take a look at this, and find out what's going wrong. So, where is this? Road is pretty nervous, but agrees. Everything here is cool. We got the good path. Road slides to the right. Deer bridge road left. Deer bridge road left. Slide towards Fern. Down slide right. Why is this not happening? Dialogue here is set to O oh Man at 39. Is that the reason? That's what it is, isn't it? What kind of thing? And then Road says this kind of thing. This isn't supposed to go off here. Slide towards Fern. Start moving. When we slide towards Fern, we're doing the animation end of move step two. Move step two, we create the crown and throw it. Yeah, this is just the wrong moment. I don't know why that's there. We need to do this up here. So, let's take this. We'll put it there for the bad route, which we already know works. And we're going to take the good route. We're going to take road slides right. How did that get moved? I actually don't know how that got moved. That's really weird that they got moved. That must have been changed in a very strange way. Um, yeah, what the hell, man?
And this should just be a normal dialogue conversation. And this one down here should be moved as well. Okay, so we've got a lot to work on in this. Uh, 39 is oh man. This is going to be the one where this happens. Delete that. We'll come back down here. This isn't going to have a timer on it anymore. 41 to 42 is the only one that does. 40 to 41 is going to be a normal conversation now. So this is going to be next step equals 3. Current message equals 40. And that's going to be activate dialogue. And then it's 42 to 43 to 44 to 45 to 46. And we're done. Okay. Let's try that out. Yeah, somehow they all got jumbled, and I don't really know how. A little bit weird. Yeah, she's so not good at this thing that she forgot how to do the thing, because I programmed her wrong. <laughs> pretty good. I think it's, you know, pretty good, right? You're trying to fix what, Maggie Lass? On YouTube, I'm supposed to click the button once I have the clip done and a new window pops up, but for me, no window pops up. Do you have, like, like, anti-ad stuff turned on? Anything like that, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's try this. I have no idea, then. That's really weird, man. Framing is perfect. Timing is good. Not good at this kind of thing. What kind of thing? Crash! Alright, why'd you crash? Crown good dot obsh dear bridge talker. Hmm. That got changed. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about it. I know what's crashed. I know why it's done this. <sighs> we have to do a check on both. So. Boop. Let's go fix this. Where's my crown good? No. Out of road game. We're going to go to Deerbridge. And we're going to do crown good. And in crown good, when it cleans up at the end... It's going to say, with the end of it, Obsh Deerbridge Fern left or right. So, which way were we moving? This is fine. That'll give the right one there. Deerbridge Talker no longer exists. So, with this, we actually need to stop this right here. Stop that right there. And we need to put in the new Deerbridge Talkers that we created. Which is exactly why we tested this. And we need to make this talker and also this other talker, which is going to be road. It's kind of the quick and dirty way to do it. I probably could have created a parent object and just not had this problem, but I'm not going to. Does demo progress go over to the full game? I don't remember. I literally don't remember. Probably not. I'm going to guess no. The reason why is because demo progress is the save file structure is different, so I wouldn't be surprised if the answer was no, frankly. Because save file structure is completely different in the main game. There's all kinds of stuff that's different. Yeah. You allow pop-up windows for YouTube. That might be the problem. Could be pop-up windows for that, because it's not an ad block thing, it's a pop-up. You know, sort of a pop-up window thing that might be the issue. I'm not really sure. My hair is doing something weird. Look at this. It's like trying to come out on its own, like a wiggle. I'm going to be right back, actually. I need to use the bathroom real quick. So give me just a minute. I'm going to freeze this music. I'm going to turn on the OST. Give me just a minute. BRB. Oh, and I'm going to hit this add button that I never hit. BRB.
Alrighty, I have returned. I'm back. Yes. So, now let's find out if this works. We're going to pause our stream music. We're going to turn this back up. Lightning's going off. Would you recommend I play the demo first or just buy it outright? If you're planning on just buying it before you try it, just buy the game. But to be honest with you, I'd say play the demo first. Get a feel for what kind of thing I'm making. If you've gotten enough of an in, an idea of what I'm making through the stream, then yeah, just go buy it. You know, if, if you feel comfortable doing it, just do it. You're not going to miss anything by buying the game and not playing the demo, if that makes sense. The demo is literally the first chapter, so. All right, let's see this. timing on that I think is wrong yeah it's supposed to be this kind of thing and then the crown is given let's go take a look at that again so I guess it'll be here instead of there Okay, let's try this again. The timing is probably back to where it should be now. Um, basically, I wanted to do line 38. She says this kind of thing and then drops that, like throws the thing over. And then Road goes, oh, man. And then after Road says, oh, man, then it, it does a medium pause and then continues the storyline. So this is where the medium pause goes off. Yeah, it's 39. Road slides to the right. Oh, man. That happens. I think the timing's wrong on this again. Yeah, you know what? The timing's wrong on this again. We're going to switch these two. We're going to take this and we're going to put it up here. Now I understand. I understand what was going wrong before. We just had to move one line of dialogue. That was the only thing that was wrong. This should be 41, and this should be 4, and this should be 40, and this should be 3. And that's it. That's the only thing that needed to change. Okay, now we're back to where we should be. Let's try that out. I googled how YouTube clipping works. 
and could see no pop-up was coming up for me when I clicked the button. When I got to the settings, I saw the pop-ups were blocked via my Chrome preferences. Oh. That's interesting. I think I have to approve your guys' clips, so if I don't approve it, then it just disappears, if that makes sense, Maggie. Yeah, I think that's the thing. Yeah, there's a floating ferret above me. I'm gonna get it, dude. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that ferret. You ready? You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, there. 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 I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... There it goes. <laughs> Gone, dude. Gone. Gone into space. Probably the wrong direction. That's fine. Space ferret. It's true. My ferrets have gone to space. They're very sleepy right now. Yeah, let's try this. This is on the good route still. And then we have to go test Fern's good route. There's a lot more to test. All kinds of stuff to test. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I don't know what to say. What do you want to say? I'm sure you know the answer to that. Yeah? Yeah. Boop. <laughs> She's disappeared. She's like, all right. Uh, we just evaporate now. Is that what we do? Is that how we work? Fern cut puts on the crown. Road leaves. Road left. Where's road left? Road left? What's alarm four? Alarm four is shaking. Seems wrong. It's gotta be alarm three. Alright, let's do that. Clipping isn't working for you? Oh, no. Well, if you can't clip anything, how will you survive, Maggie? You see, clips are vitamins for Maggie. Vitamins. If, if, if Maggie doesn't get enough vitamins, Maggie disappears just like Road did. Yeah, that's how it works. Instant teleport. Exactly. Gone, dude. Deleted. Reduced to atoms. And then, like, maybe remade somewhere else. She got too excited and promptly teleported. That's the way, man. Hmm. Change geographical location.exe. Pretty much, dude. Alright, this should now be functioning. Timing is right. System here. And there's ants in the way. And ants are my favorite. What are you working on? Picketing. Picketing who? The game developer for making us block your path. That's fair. Better not break the picket line, dude. Whoop. And then the ants are gone. Okay, so that is fixed now. Now we have to go back to this. We do not want to reload this. We want to save my save file and then start it again. And we're going to start on Fern's path and we're going to do both sides. Oh, yeah, no, I destroy the fourth wall every once in a while. It's pretty rare, but it's funny when I do. So now we have to go see if Fern's side of stuff actually works because Road's side of stuff definitely does. <laughs> I love watching Oscar Bot just flail in chat, dude. The fourth wall was always just a suggestion. That's true.
Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go pull this up. Road storyline is now different when it all goes wrong. There we go. I can't say what I just thought, go pirate smug. So, when Oscar says that, it means that the bot got caught with a profanity filter on the inside that Tiago actually made. Because it was trying to say something that was not part of its original programming and said something bad. It's learning things. Too many things. Enough things where it has to say that. I actually need to message Tiago with that and be like, hey. Tiago. Yeah, I sent it to Tiago and I was like, hey, for timing, so you can see what it tried to say. Good. I'm actually a bot? No, I'm a human being. If you're talking about Oscar bot, that is actually a bot, yes. We do this the right way first. Oh god, I missed them. I'm bad at my own video game. We're doing it. We're catching it. Nice. This is my favorite thing in the whole game. Where she's just upside down in the text box. For this scene. Because it's really funny to me. Now this is in the way. doing it. Catching them all, dude. How many more of these do we need to fill? Another! Oh god, I just keep missing. I'm just missing everything now. I'm bad at my own game. Too many. It's too many things. Need more. Got it. We done? Yeah, pretty much. Finally. Who done? Knock that, dude. The Space Pirate Unicorn. Alrighty. So. Get through all of this. Now she asks us a serious question. She gives the best advice she can give. Stay out of it. This isn't our problem. 
You notice? I didn't notice anything. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, ordinary for this place, anyway. Ah, maybe I'm overthinking things then. Now we're going to head back, and now it's going to end sadly. How am I still up? You know I work like 16 hours a day, right? Just because I'm not on stream doesn't mean I'm not working. <laughs> no, my streams end usually at around 6, 7 a.m. every day. It's only 8 a.m. The average for my streams is about 6 hours, which means it goes from 1am to 7am, but today it's 7 hours so far. Because I gotta finish this first. If I don't finish this, then I have a bad time. How hard is it to make a maze game? Building a maze is pretty simple. Depending on, you know, all the crazy stuff you put into it. Do the walls move? Are there monsters in the maze? Is a maze light on fire? Is it timed? You know, I'm not pushing myself hard. I'm fine. I just need to, like I said, I work about 15, 16 hours a day, every day, whether I'm on stream and you can see me or not, and I have for five plus years. Nothing has changed. Look at this kind of thing. What kind of thing? This kind of thing? Timing on that's wrong. Let's go to the other one. And we're going to look at this. And we're going to go to Talker Road. Then we're going to go to the step event. Which gives road slides right. That's Talker Road. We need Talker Fern. And this is going to be road slides left. Time 0 0.5. Fixed. I don't know what to say. Well, what do you want to say? That's a really long time, you know? Yeah, we have. I just... You just what? I just don't want to mess that up. <laughs> Music dies. Infinite sadness. Oof. I need to get rid of the birds on the right side of this environment, I swear to god. That's what that noise was. There's road scared a bird. Oh. Oh, my bones! When you friend someone, friend zone someone so hard they die. And you do too. Feels heavier, but it weighs the same. Imagine friend zoning someone so hard that both you and they die. And that's what this is. That's what that just was. Okay, let's go back. And we're going to do it on the proper route this time. Also, I just opened it in debug mode, which I'm not going to do. What happened? Uh, we friend zoned a character so hard that they died and then we died. And that's, that's what it is. Maybe she tried to eat the bird, maybe. Maybe a little bit. There we go. We didn't... Uh, I blame you. King Luigi, you didn't do anything to stop Fern from doing that, so... That's on you, bud. I'm gonna, In fact, I don't even blame the rest of chat. I just blame you, King Luigi. Can't believe it, dude. Can't believe King Luigi would do this. Outrageous.
Text limit in YouTube chat isn't good for asking questions. It's 200 characters. You should be able to ask me something. Here. Lives. We knew her for all of 30 seconds. I didn't notice it. I knew. I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe it. I know. Can't believe you've done it. I'm going to eat the problems, dude. I like eating my problems, all right? You can't stop me, and you can't take that away from me. If I want to eat my problems, I'm going to. That's right. That's right. I declined the duel, apparently. see. I don't know, dude. I used to eat my problems. I gotta say. I did. I used to. I got fat. And then I stopped doing it. Good. How do you shift the color of everything on the screen in the mines? Like the blue and green things? It's literally an overlay. You're just looking through a semi-transparent green filter. That's it. That's all it is. And the one for the night is way more complicated than that. That one is based on timers and keyframe colors and shifting between them based on those times. That one is wickedly, wickedly complex, actually. Which we can go into, I can show it to you. But it's... It's wicked complex, dude. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to... I think I can just lose this and it'll be fine. I think I can just lose this. Yeah, I'm just gonna lose it. Has the code look for that? Kind of complex. It is integrated into like 15 different systems. Together. As like a giant meme. Ugh. Oh man. I accidentally succeeded. How cool that I want to do that in both my game projects? That's okay, you can do it. So... It is wickedly complex. It is. It doesn't mean you can't do it. So we're going to go into this. Where is it? That shadows. Leaves. Leaves. Lights. Music. Where's my time? Room dark. Room dark. See this? This thing is swapping colors based on the time. That's what it's doing. So I have all these different times with these different colors. And these are the blends for the screen in Windows Access color mode. So this is pure white, and these are all the colors for what it should be at the different times of day. And all I'm doing is as I'm accelerating time, which is an internal value that goes off, I morph the color between what it used to be and what it currently is based on how many minutes from that hour have passed. So over the course of an hour, it fades from one color to another as time progresses. I told you, it is wickedly complex. However, once that happens, time accelerates normally along the way, and it actually becomes night, becomes morning, becomes day, becomes evening, becomes night, becomes morning, becomes day. And this is where it's transitioning. It's actually doing that effect here. And it's obnoxious. Pretty good. And it only transitions at the hours of 7, 11, 17, and 21. That's it. I wonder how different that is to make in Godot. You could do the exact same thing I'm doing here in Godot. Nothing would change. Nothing. Bonk. Perfect. We're going to eat one. All right. I'm in. It tastes like sawdust and sadness. Look at that face, dude. It's the fart stink face. It's my favorite. More for me. That's life, you know. Wild, weird, and full of terrors. Every once in a while, you get a bit of time to yourself. 
maybe someone to share it with and think things over. And before you know it, bam. You're back out in the woods on your own again. I feel like Fern's been through some stuff, you know? Just a little bit. Does it have to be that way? Well, not always. It's actually kind of funny. Not sure if you noticed, but... Sit and tall drink at Nova's Wreck. There we go. Stay out of it. This isn't our problem. We're going... We're going into it this time. We're going deep in it. We're gonna pry. Maybe a little. Disgusting. You'll never learn. I knew it was onto something. What do you think I should do? Follow your heart. Because we're gonna be nice this time. Why not take the chance? Seems pretty risky. Life is risky sometimes. Life is always risky. You just have to do what you think is best and not worry so much. You know what? What? You're right. You are. Alright, good. Let's do it. Feelings and emotions. I feel like Fern would walk up to someone and be like, I think you're cool and your face is good. We're dating now. And like, that's how it would work. Like, that's, that's, I feel like that's probably like the, the way that would work with Fern. It's the right kind of, right kind of attitude. Always take the rest, dude. Tried to attack some gods. Not very working out for you, is it? There, Lore. It's not, it's not doing it. Alright, let's see. Will it work? Fern acts cool. But is she actually cool? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we're dating now. Uh, what? See you later. That's exactly what it is. Uh. So, what's on your mind? I'm good at this kind of thing. What kind of thing? This kind of thing? Whoop. Worked. Worked perfectly. I remember when I first made this scene, too. Go home, you big dork. Nice. Dork. I don't know about you, but I never died when I got friends in. I feel like you probably died when you got friends in. I feel like I feel like when you like you die inside when you get friends in. Like if you're really into someone, you got a crush, right? And then you're like, you're like, oh man, I want to date you. And then they're like, I'm really glad we're friends. And you're like. You feel it, you feel it like your heart, like does the shrivel, and the air comes out of it, you know? There shouldn't be air in it in the first place, but it feels like it goes away. Yeah, it just implodes, dude. You can't relate. F, dude. Have you just never been friends with Magical Star? Is that what it is? Couldn't be me. I think I've been friends with once in my life. I think it was in high school. I remember correctly. It wasn't even, you know what? No, it wasn't even friend zoning. I asked this girl out in high school, and she was, uh, you're not even gonna lie. You're not, you're not even, this is gonna be funny. I asked out literally, like, the cheerleader captain at our school, and I was a dork, man. Like, I was a, like, deeply seated dork, low status nerd in my high school. And, uh, I asked out. Like, the cheerleader. The cheerleader girl, right? She said yes. I went on a date with this girl, and we're walking through, like, this, uh, not a mall, but it's, like, a big commercial zone area to the, to the, um, to the movie that we're gonna go see. And this dude from the school drives up next to us and goes, Leave the Zero and come with the hero. And she just laughs and then, like, like drive away. And we just had, like, a normal date after that and everything was cool. And then we just never talked to each other again. Because <laughs> it was like, dude, we don't. Like, we're not on the same wave at all. And I was just like, this kind of sucks. And she was like, this kind of sucks. But we never said anything. We just had a date. Went out on a date. And they just never spoke to each other again. And that was kind of like, it was like a mutually understood thing that like, this is weird. 
<laughs> it's really funny though. That dude yelling at him, I was like, what the hell, man? Oh. It's like, she's going on a date with a nerd. It says more about you than it does about me. You know, like... <laughs> made me laugh. But that was, that was probably the weirdest thing. That was probably the weirdest, like, dating experience I ever had. Was that. The single date, never, never again. In high school. Like, meme date. And that was it. Wait, was that the time? No, I wasn't fat then. I got fat way later, man. I got fat way later. I became large lad later in life, dude. I've been like thin fat, thin fat multiple times in my life, and I'm thin now, and I'm just going to stay this way. We're still streaming usually that long? Pigger did not happen when I was fat? I think there's pics of me fat on the internet. Let me see if we can find this. Let me see if I can find a fat pic of me. A deeply fat photo of Thor. I'm gonna see if I can find a fat photo before. Oh wow, there's a there's a picture of me in a banana suit, but I'm not fat there. I look deeply unpleased. Oh wow, I look really weird in this photo, but I'm not fat. I'm not fat enough in this photo. You want to see young Thor, where I'm also eating a bread and also look really weird. I look like a like a weird. I look like a goblin here. Look at that. Yeah, I'm a goblin in that photo, dude. Oh, here we go. This is kind of fat Thor. This is chubby Thor. There you go. Chubby and young. Not fat, but kind of chubby. Chubby young Thor. That was that was me a long time ago, too. God, when was that? 2011, dude. 2011, dude. Um, I used to wear these goggles everywhere, man. Like, legit. Look at this. I used, I used to wear these goggles everywhere that I went, and I made faces like that all the time. And that was just, that was my life. That's all it was. Oh my god. What is that photo? 2010. I don't know, dude. I got lots of weird photos of me. I can't find one where I was fat, but I was definitely fat for a long time. I got like mad fat. Like five, six years ago, something like that. I was definitely mad fat then. I'm not fat anymore. I lost 60 pounds then. You love those goggles? Yeah, I used to wear them all the time. I used to wear them every day. People made fun of me for them all the time, and I was like, you're just jealous, dude. I was a fan of Naruto? Not really. I didn't really like Naruto. I, I like Baruto even less, to be honest with you. Gone from being mad fat to an atom. It's true. No, I, I went from 250 pounds down to 185. And I'm at about a 185 now. And um, it happened because I just stopped drinking soda. That's it. It's, that's literally all I did. And I'm six foot two, so like I'm pretty tall. So I went from 250 down to 185. And I'm just sitting at, I'm just sitting at 185 for like this last six months, year, or something like that. And it's just, I just, I don't know, man. I just don't drink soda anymore. That's it. That's all. You know, that's that's the all I changed. You have a tip for everybody? I have a tip. Don't drink soda. It's literally poison. <laughs> you know, like, uh, the tip is to stop consuming sugar in amounts of like 30 grams plus in every drink, you know. I did. I had a soda in, in my hand in that picture and that was back, I don't know, 15 years ago. Something like that. You were 285, now you're down to 265? Yeah, dude. Just... Don't drink soda. It's like a super... If you're drinking soda and you're fat, like, just don't. Stop drinking soda. Don't have diet. Don't drink... Diet soda is bullshit. It's a lie. It's not a thing. You know, just drink water and you're good. Drink a lot of water and don't drink soda. It... Even if you don't do anything else, even if you do nothing else, it's going to help immensely. You know? Water and occasional tea. I don't drink tea very often, to be honest with you. How is diet alive? Because it's still sugar. It's still sugar. It still, still activates the same exact response in your body in terms of uh, insulin response. Diet, diet soda is like, oh, it's sugarless. Like, no, dude, you're still getting an insulin response from that. You're still absolutely having the same problems. Diet soda is a meme. It's 100% a meme. Don't believe that. Plus, I'm going to be with you. What diet have you ever heard of includes diet soda? 
It doesn't. It doesn't, because it's bullshit. It's always been bullshit. Don't drink diet soda. Don't drink soda. Don't. If you want to lose weight, don't drink soda. That's the advice, 100%. You don't have to do anything else. If you're doing, if you're doing other things, great. But if you do just one thing in your life, stop drinking soda and drink water instead. That's it. That's it, man. There's no trick to it. There's no magic anything. It's just don't consume vast quantities of sugar and sugar substitutes. You know? I drink two of these a day filled with water. Nothing else. Sometimes orange juice. Like them. Don't eat too much bread. Yeah, I get fat when I eat too much bread. That's true. <laughs> I love bread, dude. I bake bread all the time and I have to, I don't, I have to cut, I had to cut back on it. I was eating too much. Bread is just sugar at the end of the day, so. Water is great, dude. Water is great. But no, seriously, just don't, don't drink soda. Don't drink diet soda. Don't drink normal soda. Don't drink soda. Cut back on your sugar. Sugar is needless anyway. It's outrageous. Bread's... Do you not know how bread works? My dude. So I want you to look something up. Type in bread breaks down into into Google. And you'll see bread is high in carbs. What does a carbohydrate turn into once your body breaks it down? Sugar. <laughs> it turns into sugar. It turns into sugar. Bread is just sugar. Bread is a meme. Bread is a giant sugar sponge. That's true. It's actually true. Yeah. I just cut down on sugar, man. That was it. I stopped eating so much bread, because I ate bread constantly. And I stopped drinking soda. And I just lost a crap little weight. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be super real with you, I was a grumpy bastard. Like, as I was losing weight, like when I first started that, I got grumpy as hell. I was so angry all the time for like the first two weeks of that. It was like going through withdrawals, man. I was pissed. I was light sensitive and mad. And then I stopped, like maybe a week later, it was like, okay, I'm back to normal. Yeah, it was like sugar addiction, man. And I, I was like, dude, is this even real? Like, why am I so angry? I just stayed in bed and I was like, argh, argh, you know, like just like turning into a goblin and freaking out. But that's all I changed in my life. I just stopped drinking sugar and I stopped eating sugar. That was it. One that hard, you know. You want to know the weirdest thing that changed, though? This is actually going to kind of blow your mind. Now, I don't know what it was. I don't know when it happened, but I ate a cucumber. And before, when I was fatter, I would eat cucumbers sometimes in, like, tzatziki and stuff like that. And it tasted like nothing. It would taste like a like a texture, right? Like a cardboard texture. It would be, it would be like a texture. That's all it was. It wasn't a, f a flavor. Now when I have a cucumber, it tastes sweet. Like a candy. And I, I don't know how to describe that to you, but I like eating vegetables now. I don't force myself to eat them. I like eating them now because they taste like a treat, which is weird. It's very strange. And that's something that changed when I stopped drinking soda and I had not as much sugar in my system. So your tastes change. It's really neat. I think sugar is even more addictive. Sugar is incredibly addictive. But like the thing is, is like, I by cutting it out, I just lost weight, man. And it's not like some insane diet like people are like go on paleo go on whatever like no dude just stop drinking soda stop stop drinking soda how, how do you stop caffeine with sugar i don't drink caffeine i don't drink coffee i rarely have tea like maybe once a month and when i do it's usually it's usually like reishi mushroom tea because we grow reishi mushrooms they're super tasty that's it yeah. Coke uses as much sugar as possible. It's like a syrup, dude. That's why they call it syrup. It's gross. I don't like that stuff. I can't do it, man. Like, to, to be real with you, anything that can dissolve your teeth when you put it in there as like a science experiment is probably not something you should be drinking, right? Like, that's just... If you put a tooth, like a baby tooth in Coca-Cola, it eats it. Like, why do you drink that? That's... <laughs> it's really not good, dude. <laughs> oh... I should ask suggestions on how to stop soda with caffeine. Here's how you do it. You just stop drinking soda. That's it. That's one. Here's my one step program to living a healthier life. Stop drinking soda. That's the whole step. That's there's no other. There's no other steps.
the whole step is stop drinking soda ever no other steps just stop entirely just do it 12 head dude so what I've gathered is that I should stop eating bread as much no soda at all and drink water and I'll lose weight yeah dude 100% I lost 60 pounds in like 5 months man legitimately and the reason why is because I was eating bread like I was it was going out of style dude I was dual fisting loaves of bread because I love baking and I was uh I was drinking soda all I did was cut out the majority of bread I still eat bagels once in a while but not for every meal right and um and I stopped drinking soda entirely and I just drink water and I lost a crap load of weight and that's it I don't even work out that's the shame of it dude I don't work out I sit at my desk all day I'm like one of the most sedentary human beings you would ever know in your life I don't go outside I don't see the sun <laughs> I literally just stopped drinking soda like that's it so stop it it's bad for you it takes almost three weeks 21 days to come into a habit so it's so much easier for me to drink more water over other stuff yeah it makes sense yeah I could see that I feel like some people that that number is going to be a little bit different but like legit dude I forgot to eat no I still eat I eat bro I eat you know what I eat every day food lots of it I love food you kidding me I eat so much like I am a ravenous human dude definitely I eat the hell out of food I just don't eat any I don't drink any soda man I usually eat until my body's like stop it <laughs> dihydrogen monoxide leads to death due to accidental inhalation that's true that's true it's also delicious yeah my tasteful nudes dude tasteful nudes do you guys want to see them I don't think YouTube YouTube will ban me for this right YouTube you're not going to ban me for my tasteful nudes are you there they are look how tasteful they are look at that look how taste I eat this all the time dude mushrooms so I have oyster mushrooms in there bok choy from the garden kimchi that I grow uh ham and noodles and like all kinds of stuff that I put into this I love love making ramen so I'll make two of these a day with different ingredients and I'll usually make something else you know what I ate yesterday four hamburgers and they were all homemade and I put cumin and paprika and garlic in them like and then I put a big slice of sharp cheddar cheese on it and I just made four of them and I ate them like the fattest human being I could possibly do why because I love homemade burgers and I'll eat the hell out of them I ate two in the morning I ate two of them at night but you know what I didn't do drink soda because I never will again that's something else you need to not do eat out a lot dude eating out is so bad for you man like legitimately it's super bad for you it really is did you eat your ferret constantly why do you think I have five of them they're all the backup food supply yeah one for every business day of the week just in case how about corn I don't like corn it's <laughs> gonna be honest I don't like corn very much man like corn's all right but eh, eh, kind of boring you know what I actually like though even though it's not good for you cream corn I actually like creamed corn I don't know why peas are superior I'd eat I'd eat peas dude peas are good I, I'm down with that yeah no eating out is super bad for you I'm a hermit no I super am magical star I am straight up a hermit and I'm not above going to like Wendy's and getting a square hamburger just gonna be real I go to Wendy's and get a square hamburger with the best of them dude but it's not good for you so I I limit it man I try to limit it as much as I can like if I'm if I'm going out to eat I'm like okay I haven't had crap garbage food for the last I don't know month I'm gonna go get crap garbage food today so I do and I don't get a soda with it I just get the burger and it's funny too because they always try to upsell you they're like do you want the combo and I'm like no I don't want the combo and they're like it's only a dollar and I'm like cool it's only five pounds dude like just give me the burger leave me alone and then I get the crappy hamburger and then I leave <laughs> you gotta have a, that that little bit of willpower to say stop trying to sell me crap is it that's it that's all you need just say no to it man you don't need the soda you just don't Are peas made out of corn? No, dude. What do you mean peas are made out of corn? What? Peas is a different thing. Peas are a different thing. It's not the same thing at all. 
Stop telling me what I want. I refuse. Carrot and peas, potatoes, and a nice meatloaf. I love me a meatloaf. So if you get a meatloaf, my grandma used to make meatloaf all the time. I got to get her recipe. She takes a big, giant, long thing of bacon, just one of them, and puts it over the top. And she puts this glaze on it. And she cooks it into the glaze is like sticky. And it's just the best meatloaf I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot of meatloaf in my life. But that's the kind of meatloaf that you like. You slice it, you put it between two hamburger buns, and you can eat it like a sandwich. Or you take it and you grind it up. And you... Actually, this is going to blow your mind. Take a meatloaf, take a, sli a big thing of the meatloaf off, put it in a pan, start cooking it up, make hamburger helper out of it. You will not be disappointed. It is the most ridiculous, delicious thing you could possibly do is take a meatloaf and turn it into hamburger help. It has no business being that good, but it is incredibly delicious. And that's it. Thoughts on quinoa? I eat quinoa all the time. I actually really like it. Tiny little grains. I like the big, um, like quinoa is good, and I also like couscous. Couscous is good. Those are very tasty. I like them a lot. Yeah, very good. I actually have a whole bunch of different colors of it upstairs. It's very nice. Yeah, I like mixing it with stuff, too. Uh, quinoa with, like, fish. You put, like, a fish on it and bread, a, you know, a base of quinoa, and you put fish on it. Really good. Couscous works for that, too. It's very nice. Yeah, it's just good, man. It's tasty stuff. I don't know, dude. Like, the thing is, is the way that I approach health is, like, pretty basic, right? I'm not doing any, like, fancy diets. I'm not doing, like, workout regimens or any kind of stuff. The way I approach is, is this. <clears throat> Do you really think that you need to drink 40 grams of sugar. Do you? Because if the answer is yes, you should really rethink that. And if the answer is no, then it's why are you doing it? And that's it. Is kebab trash food? I love kebab, dude. I love kebab, dude. Oh my god. If, if we had a good kebab place around here, I would be 10,000 pounds. That's, that's the truth, to be honest with you. That is 100% the truth. You know what I'm actually gonna go to soon? I think I'm gonna go this weekend. Shay doesn't know yet. I think, I think I'm gonna go to Brazilian Portuguese or Brazilian Brazilian steakhouse kind of thing. Maybe Brazilian Portuguese steakhouse kind of thing. Because um, I don't know if they have a Portuguese one near here, but like a like they're they're like barbecue places, Brazilian barbecue kind of place or Portuguese barbecue kind of place. Because they have both. I'm pretty sure they have both in our area. You know what? I know which one I'm gonna go to. How many of you guys have ever heard of Fogo de Chao? Brazilian steakhouse. Not a Portuguese one, it's a Brazilian one. Fogo de Chao is delicious, dude. They bring out stuff like this. Look at this thing, man. Look at this thing. What is this, dude? And they're like, would you like a piece of this? And it's not like insanely expensive either. It's expensive, but it's not insanely expensive. So they come by and they're like, would you like this? And you're like, yes. Yes. And you just get as many of them as you want. And uh, it, you ca it costs, because it's like a like a buffet. So you pay to get in and you just sit down and you eat as much as you want. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let them know. Don't let them know, dude. There's one in San Antonio where you live? Hell yeah. How much? Yes. Yeah, there's the other thing for it too is like you, they do a thing like this but they also do this is the part that kills me. They have these little bread balls that's like a Brazilian food that has cheese inside and I don't remember what it's called but this is like an appetizer thing. And they'll bring you unlimited cheese bread ball things. I can't handle it, man. Like the cheese bread ball thing ruins my life. One hundred, like 1000% ruins me. I will eat a hundred pounds of those little cheese bread balls. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Omega Leo. I don't know how to say it. Cheese bread. I, oh God, I will, I will eat that into the end of time. Let me actually look this up so I can I can show you guys a picture of this. It's so good. Oh, why is it so? Look at this. I'm gonna show you this. It's just a ball of bread, but look at the inside, dude. Look at the inside of this. And they come out to you in just this pile of these cheese bread balls that are like this big. Oh, they're so good. You love the grilled bananas? Yeah, the plantains? Oh man, grilled plantains are the, the big ones, the big banana. Those are tasty. See, now I'm hungry. This is what happens to me. Why do you think I talk about food all the time, man? After after the stream, I eat. 
I eat like the fattest. You don't like grilled plantains? I love them. They come out as like an appetizer at Fogo del Chao. Super nice. But yeah, man, I guess that's my that's my health advice for the day is uh, stop drinking soda. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole thing dude that's it that's the whole one. Oh man in any case uh, I have been streaming now for 7 hours and I don't know 41 minutes 7 hours 41 minutes something like that so we're going to end the stream but had a lot of fun today so thank you very much and this stream got 559 unique viewers over the course of the stream because we can see that on these analytics which is really interesting so that's kind of cool even though we averaged about 50 people the whole time it was 559 total people over the course of the stream and neat i love having the data i love having the data youtube is better at data twitch is better at being a website <laughs> I can't, I honestly can't wait for Twitch to catch up, man. Like, Twitch has got to catch up on the, on the, on their infrastructure side and then they can stop being stupid. Or YouTube's got to catch up on their, their front end side and like make a website that's human usable, you know, and that's really it. Your five memes, Magical Star. You guys have a wonderful night. I will see you all later. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. I will be, um, I don't know how to use live redirects yet. I don't know how they work. Also, point of advice for YouTube, live to redirect is like the most sterile clean room environment way that I can, any human could say raid. I don't like saying live redirect. I don't think anyone else likes saying live redirect. We say raid. We say, I don't know, host. Like, come, that name is bad. Anyway, I'm going to be on Discord after this. I'll see you dudes later. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.